Florida, but here in Florida, the last oh week and a half, it has literally rained every single day and it won't stop raining. So it's going to be very hard this coming week for me to get YouTube videos out for you guys. I apologize. I'm going to dig through some of my stuff that I've recorded in the past. I will get it out. I promise you I'll get something out, but it's raining right now. It rained all yesterday. I've been home alone the entire weekend. Every day this week, it has rained. The only time it didn't rain, I ran out there to get that tire comparison uh, video done. And within 30 minutes after, it started raining again. And you guys got to see the Foam Friday video that was recorded on Thursday. It began raining as soon as I ran out there within that like 30 minute gap, it began raining again. I don't know what to do. This is going to, I feel like it's going to hurt my channel uh, next week because the views are going to be really pissed poor because I'm not going to have any videos for you guys. I'll do what I can. I'm going to dig through some of my old footage that I have that I haven't uploaded some of those videos yet. I'll get those out. Um, Dude, it's going to be hard, guys. I, I don't know what to tell you. I'm really cons honestly concerned. And uh, before, I wouldn't care too much. But now the channel is literally doing like this in the last month and a half, two months, three months now. And it's just I, I'm worried now. Now I have to feel like I have to put out a certain amount of videos per week in order for my YouTube subscribers to keep growing as well as the views to keep going up. So it, these are the things you worry about as a YouTuber. So uh, anyways, welcome to the channel here. I uh, thank you so much for stopping by. I'm doing it a little bit earlier today. It's 8 p.m. here Eastern time here in Florida. Uh, my wife is out of town. She'll be in here tonight, late at night. So uh, please understand I will be probably getting off here in a couple hours because, of course, I'll be wanting to talk to them and hang out with them for a little bit. And then, obviously, I got myself a new little uh, PlayStation 4 here. As you guys probably know, um, it was either earlier this week. Yeah, it was earlier this week. We got hit by lightning. And uh, it blew out one of the search protectors. It knocked out one of the things. Anyways, my PS4 got knocked out. I didn't realize until yesterday when I tried to turn it on. So I was like, damn. So I decided uh, I'll probably send that one away. And I figured it's time to go ahead and upgrade to a pro version. Now, I still have my Xbox. If you guys see my Instagram, I haven't been playing it. But I decided to buy myself a little toy today. So I went all the way an hour away to Leesburg, Florida to buy a white one because they're so hard to find. So it was worth the drive. I took the GTR all the way out there in the rain and came back. So it was a nice little cruise. So welcome, welcome, welcome. I did pick up some more stuff yesterday. I'll let you guys see it now. Let me uh, try and reach over there and grab them for you guys. The first one I want to show you guys is this. A lot of you guys kept asking me and asking me and asking me. It's got a lot of glare on it, so I apologize. There you go. Um, you guys kept asking about the uh, Eagle One Tire Shine Swipes. You guys kept asking me about this, saying, please review it. I couldn't find it. My Walmart finally had it in stock. I was there last night. So, of course, I went ahead and picked it up. It was only $2 and change. These things are dirt cheap. The cool thing is... I guess there's a um, a tire shine a capsule inside there, and you kind of like pop it, and then it makes the shine. I don't know, you know, for two dollars, what do you? That's how much those little uh, ones I bought, anyways, that you see in most of my videos. So that is one you guys kept asking for and asking for. By the way, update for the stuff that I tested out. When was it? Um, uh, so you got to see the head-to-head -head competition yesterday with all the rain. Literally a day day later, with all the rain. All the shine is gone after one day. I'll post pictures on Instagram. So uh, you get you'll so you saw how shiny it was, and then after one day of rain, every bit of it's gone. It's back down to normal blah again. So it's pretty crazy. The other one I picked up, I noticed is from West Coast Customs. It's new for 2018. It was not, I've looked it up, I made sure I didn't have already tried, and I was like, I don't think I already tried this. West Coast Customs, uh, tire gloss. I know it's another tire shine, but the fact is I've had a lot of people asking me about more products. And these were two of the products that I kept getting asked about. So it's West Coast Customs Tire Gloss. I want to say this was around $5.50 here, so I can't wait to try it out. So the bad thing is West Coast Customs contacted me sometime about six months ago asking me they wanted me to try out their products. And uh, for some reason, I was deleting some spam things. It was in my spam folder. And uh, YouTube was doing this, you know, as it, like, keeps scrolling up and everything. So I hit delete, and I hit delete on theirs. As it scrolled up, I accidentally hit delete. And uh, so if anybody has any uh, contact with West Coast Customs, feel free to have them reach out for me because I, I would have uh, actually tried more of their stuff. Well, Grand, I've tried a lot of their stuff, but I want to let you guys know that I, they did try and contact me. And uh, for some reason, I was like just going through really fast, delete, delete, delete. And it was my spam folder. And uh, every time you delete one YouTube, you're like, you like push, keeps pushing it up. And I accidentally hit delete on it. I was like, you've got to be kidding me. So it was gone. So it sucked. Anywho, I hope everybody had a great week. Hopefully, everybody's enjoying the videos. I um, uh, noticed it slowed down a little bit uh, this week, but I'm trying to get out some head-to-head -head videos, get a lot more stuff done for you all, and um, just trying to get more stuff done. But with the rain, literally since last Saturday, it's rained every single day, like a, a slow, steady rain, and you'll have really heavy rain, and then back to slow, steady rain, and it just never stops. Uh, it's been nuts here. So uh, I will do my best for you guys. I love you all so much, and uh, we'll do it. Yeah, you can have every bit of it. 
over there in California you want. Garrett, what up, buddy? How you doing? Uh, uh, Christopher, Maria War, rain in the Memorial Day weekend, my friend. Dude, all it does is rain, man. So what I try and do here on my YouTube channel, guys, is many days I'll, I'll record two or three videos in one top shot. So a lot of times you'll see me in the exact same outfit, but it's just I'm trying out different products for different areas of the vehicle and stuff like that, and I'll do it on the same day which helps me out later on, especially when these times hit. Like yesterday, I had that video done from the other day, and thankfully it was done. So I have another tire shine comparison that will be out. I might end up having to upload it for tomorrow. It'll be, it's, uh, it's what the hell did I put? I put Griot's Garage against Meguiar's NXT, and I did that on the back tires. Same kind of thing, 50-50, so you guys can see it right down the line. And um, that's about the only footage I have. I do have some wheel cleaner from Voodoo I tested out about a month or two ago. I never, never uploaded it. It's not really that good of a product, but I can upload it for this week if I have to. But again, that's how I normally do it. I get two or three videos done per day. So I start stacking up for the days that it's uh, weather, rain, or let's say I'm on vacation that you guys get videos and it's really no big deal. It doesn't affect you one way or another. Hey, three, I live in California. Hey, I focus on the best combination of all the products. Which ones do you prefer? Um, can you focus on? Um, I do a lot of the stuff. The, some of the better companies I've tried. Uh, a lot of the smaller company brands, uh, your Wax Gods, your Limitless Car Care, have had a, excellent results with. Um, Meguiar's over the counter is good. Mother's over the counter is great. Um, these are some that you're not really going to have any issues with it. Uh, Adams has been very good for me so far. No complaints. I heard they're a little bit more expensive, though. Uh, I didn't pay attention to it because I just bought them because everybody kept asking me about it. Um, those are ones that you can probably safely bet on. They'd be really good. But I'd say some of the top ones are going to be your Wax Gods and Limitless Car Care if you really want to try those suckers out. What's up, Chandra? How you doing? Um, I see that you play Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Uh, I, have, I haven't, it, it's not out yet, Aaron. I've been playing Black Ops 3 because I had it on my Xbox. I, I literally had to bring my Xbox One upstairs. It was downstairs. We just used it for a DVD player. I hadn't played it in forever. And because um, when I played Black Ops 3, I played it on my PS4. And um, I was like, wow, we were like just tearing it up. So if you guys don't know, um, I used to play video games hardcore back in the day, like very hardcore. Like I'd spend hours on end on it. And that was what I did just to relax and stuff like that. And I had a lot of fun and kept me out of uh, trouble. Let's put it that way. So um, I got pretty good, damn good at some of those games. And uh, if you guys saw my Instagram, that was after like just two or three games. I was just destroying kids. And I'm like, wow, I haven't lost it. And I haven't played, really been playing hardcore in about two years because of my son. Uh, Aaron, your birthday's coming up. I'll give you a shout out, buddy. Happy birthday. Um, Anybody have any idea on the foam can? It isn't sucking up any of the soap. Uh, cleaning completely out. He's in the plane. I wonder, Dunzor, if you have a problem with your um, uh, the actual suction hose. Like if it's if it's leaking or there's or there's a crack in it, something like that. That's what I'm thinking about. It has rained 12 inches in the last seven days. I can I can concur on that. It's pretty amazing. I'm in part of the Walt Disney World Pass holders group, and somebody posted up yesterday or earlier today. Uh, a part of near Fantasyland had literally this much water standing in it in Disney World today, or it was was there yesterday. It's just just crazy, man. What's up, Scott? How you doing, buddy? Uh, Maguire's fast finish. It's very good, but again, I I've uh, I got rid of it because I was using different products along the way. But it is a solid product if you can pick it up. Well worth it, buddy. North Star, how you doing, man? It's been a while since seeing you. Just popping in to say hello. Hope all is good with you. Talking there. Yes, GTR detail. Um, I totally understand North Star. Don't even worry about it, buddy. Thanks so much for stopping by. How's the white prelude doing? Okay, Nick, I don't have it yet, but the blue prelude is basically done. He showed me the last pictures of it today. He had to make a he had to custom make a bracket because I didn't. Uh, when I bought my five speed transmission swap, um, I bought it straight from a guy that had a, a wrecked one in the South Florida. He was rear end totaled, so they bought the car as a parts car and they took the engine out for themselves and they sold me the transmission swap. But it didn't have the bracket that you know holds your uh, clutch pedal, pedal because obviously my car was an automatic, and so he had to custom fabricate one of those. And you know the guy's a master like technician and mechanic is pretty cool. So he showed me the last things. He's he's buttoning it all up. It's basically all done. I just have to go over there. I'm going to pick it up next week. But while I'm there, I'm actually going to rent like a U-Haul truck and a flatbed, and I'm going to go pick up my white car from these sorry suckers over here in Kissimmee that don't want to work on it. And I'm just going to tow it over to his house in Wesley Chapel, Florida and uh, drop it off and say have fun with it because the guy literally has a custom third gen prelude like the 91 i have i think it's his is like 89 everything is customized it's sick inside of it he does everything fabricates everything himself and so now that i've seen the work he does in the blue prelude i'm definitely bringing the white one over there and being like hey fix whatever the hell you want in there i don't care at this point just make it uh really good and running and uh, clean up some of the issues or anything like that you know if it needs uh, new engine seals or anything go ahead and do it 
that kind of thing. So it's in spot, spit spot shape. Um, wish me luck. Uh, finals. Ooh, yeah, I remember those days, dude. Uh, what's up, Viper? I'm here. What's up, Sean? How's the uh, recent tire gel? Uh, it's all gone, Scott. If you didn't hear me, it's all gone. Literally within a day, because of all the heavy rains. Uh, within one day, all the tire shine was gone. Uh, you just get your uh, yeah, poop hand. I got it, and um, my PS4 got hit by when it, our house got hit by lightning. I guess it surged out the PS4 and smacked it. It hit at one of our uh, cable boxes as well. Um, it blew out. There's a giant surge protector like uh, plugged into the box outside, so to you know prevent that stuff. But we lost a few things along the way that I'm finding out now. Obviously, I knew about the cable box. It didn't charge us anything. But with the PS4, oh, it's like, damn it. So I'm going to send it back in, try and get it fixed, and we'll just use it as a secondary PS4. But I figured I'd pick up the PS4 Pro, and that's what I did. I went to Leesburg, Florida today, which is north of Orlando. It took me about an hour, hour and ten minutes to get there. Uh, Black Magic car soap in the foam can sucks. It really does suck. It was not that good. But it was funny. You know, I, I didn't mind doing it. It started raining on me. The only thing I was concerned about with the rain was the camera because the camera obviously is $1,300. So I was like, crap, get it out of there. So as soon as I wrapped it up, I like ran and put it back in the garage because I was like, oh, my God, I can't afford this kind of stuff to go bad. Um, Christian, yeah, it's been horrible, especially for us. And you don't have a garage. Uh, but I machine wax my car. So yeah, dude, I Christian, this is the time to get it waxed, man. Right before it really, really gets hot. This is the time to wax and seal your car or whatever you're going to partially do. Xbox one X. Um, I actually have the Xbox one over here. Uh, here, I'll show you to you thing here. I don't know if you guys are going to see that in there, but you see, it says day one edition, 2013. Like I, I pre-order every system that comes out, whether I play it much or not anymore. I play, I still have my gaming. You're on my gaming PC right now is what you're on. But um, like I ordered everything like as soon as they announced it, at E3. So I, I pre-purchased everything on day one. So that's a day one PS4. It's a day one Xbox One over here. But you know, with the lightning hit, it was like screw it. So I went ahead and figured an upgrade to the 4K system. You know, um, what's up, Gage? How you doing, buddy? Uh, any way to get the water uh, a spot, please? I'm so tired of the single time that I uh, appears discussing. You probably need to use either. I've I've heard you can use carnivore wax on it, but I've, uh, you can always use a polish. Just in like a Meguiar's ultimate call should be able to get your water spots out. Did your house insurance cover the new? Uh, no, I just bought it on my own. Um, it, our deductible was to be something like $1,000. And, you know, at this point, it really wouldn't be worth it, to tell you the truth. Because uh, the cable box obviously was covered. Um, so we swapped that out. The cable guy came out. He's the one downstairs. Um, this, obviously, these things are only like $250 now, brand new. And then there's a surge protector. The one that connects, uh, we have the power company or whatever coming to replace it, and it's like four hundred dollars for that. So, you know, in the end, it wouldn't be worth uh, claiming a, a deductible on that. Now, if it would have blown out thousands of dollars worth of stuff, then I understand. But that four hundred dollars search protector out there uh, ate a lot of the power. So, thankfully, it's worth every penny of four hundred bucks. That's the way I see it. Because summer school, uh, summer school. What the hell? Do you not do good in school, man? Like I, I never struggle in school. I usually got A's and you know, almost all A's every time. I get like a B and I'll be in English class, you know, because uh, that was about it. But everything else was always straight A's for me. Any tire gel that holds up well? Uh, mm, some of the creams, like your uh, VRP for chemical guys, your Masterson's trim and tire shine, your Adams uh, tire shine, those tend to last through the rain a little bit better. But uh, the gels didn't last at all through the rain, obviously. Aerosol never lasts through the rain. It's just that's the way it goes. Um, so Greg is on a marketing spree. I have no idea. I got Xbox One, two, Robo to play Microsoft Minecraft. Well, that's because you're young. <laughs> uh, like Minecraft to me is just like crazy man stuff. I've been playing Call of Duty since Call of Duty 1 on uh, PC days, you know, way back, you know, like 12, 13, 14, oh, shoot, like about 14 years ago now. I've been playing Call of Duty so I just the last two years. I just haven't had much time to do anything anymore. When you come home at night, you just want to kind of relax. You check your YouTube. You respond to all the comments during the day, and you just kind of, you know, chill out, uh, catch up on all the subscriptions, uh, videos that I wanted to watch, and then you just kind of eat some food, maybe watch some Netflix or Hulu or Amazon Prime, something like that, just to kill some time. And then you just kind of relax. That's just generally been me because during the day I watch my son, obviously, and then he's wide awake at night. Like tonight he'll stay up late with me. And it's just the way it goes. So I can't really play. I can't wait till he's old enough where he can play some video games because I have a Nintendo Switch, so he can play on that. But that's the kind of thing it is. Best detailer spray for 2018. Hmm. I don't know. There's a lot of good ones. Some of the ones I like are the ones that have like additives in them. So you're, you're like carnival wax or it's got synthetic hydro uh, polymer, like the, the 
it's called Swift Shine from Limitless Car Care. It has a carnivorous carnivore wax in it, which is great. Um, obviously, I liked um, Mind Fart here. Uh, uh, Master, uh, not more Masters, McGuire's Ultimate because it has a hydrophobic technology in it. Um, I like the uh, Adams a lot as well. I love Masterson's um, Detailer Spray. That stuff is awesome. Uh, what else have I tried that I really, really like? A Turtle Wax. Uh, ice, the Ice Detailer is really good. I have the Car California Carnival Wax from more Carnival Car California Gold from Mothers, a decent one as well. So there's a lot of good stuff there. Um, Pooh, that thanks a lot, man. Yeah, uh, Pooh, Pooh like donated here like ten dollars uh, privately later on, like uh, into my uh, which we call it PayPal later. So he didn't get to do it, but a big shout out to Pooh Panda because you know uh, he went out there and donated ten dollars to help out pay. Again, like I said, you guys see how much stuff I just keep buying every time I go to Walmart. It's like I have to go through the car section. I'm like, oh my god, they finally have the Eagle One that you guys asked for. So I ripped it out off the shelf immediately and I picked it up. Because I remember what you guys usually ask for. And if, so if I see it, I always pick it up. And that's generally the way I do things. Um, definitely, Omar, I have definitely tried the Fast Finish. And it is excellent. Definitely go pick up, uh, pick yourself up some. It's worth the 11 to $14 because it's like a, a spray-on sealant. It's really stinking good. What's up, Fortis? How you doing, buddy? What's up, Cody? How you doing? I've got everybody writing me right now. Like uh, the guy that's been working on it, uh, my car. He just keeps sending pictures and stuff like that. Do you conceal carry? Um, I, I I am legally allowed to. Yes, um, that's all I'll say on that, Lex man. Um, did you did you ship the giveaway yet? Uh, I Aaron, what I was told to do was I was told to just give the address for the, of the winner to Peter. So as soon as the guy sent me that um, his uh, address, he's actually in South Florida and highly by Miami. Uh, I immediately forwarded it on to uh, Peter up there. So hopefully he has shipped it out to him um, again. I don't know because he said he was just going to ship it straight from Stoner Car Care. So hopefully I got to him. Um, you know, I'll as long as these companies want to keep giving me stuff out, I'll do more. I plan on doing another really big giveaway around uh, twenty five thousand subscribers. I'll do another big giveaway at thirty thousand. Uh, just to say thank you so much for being part of the crew. You know, like when uh, Peter reached out to me and said, "Hey, would you want to give one of these away?" And, and you know, uh, it's one hundred nineteen dollar value. And I was like, "Of course." You know, I'm sure my subscribers would love it. You know, it's these things that I, uh, which is what I appreciate uh, from these big companies. They take the time saying, hey, well, I'll donate everything. So I'm like, cool, that's fine. And then, of course, I got these great subscribers like you all that take a few minutes of your day to watch my videos. And uh, the channel has just been booming, so I'm totally okay with it. What's up, Daniel? How you doing, buddy? Um, are you going to dive into professional detailing products? Um, I usually, Cody, I usually stay with more of the over-the-counter stuff. Once in a while, I'll, I will order stuff online. But the one thing I try to do, Cody, is always concentrate on your consumer grade stuff, the stuff that you're going to get over the counter, just because of the fact that the average Joe, especially when I started this channel was or started the detailing part of the channel, um, they weren't nobody was doing it. Absolutely nobody. Now it just seems like everybody's trying to compete with me, and there's uh, a million Joes out there trying to do the same thing. I see it, but it, you know, at this point, it's it's really hard. One thing you learn about YouTube, it's like let's say you're going to go make a video game channel. Well, there's already, you know, 100,000 video game channels. It's very hard to get your foot in the market anymore. Uh, it's just it's just flooded, and uh, unless you have something that sticks out, damn, it's hard to get into. So uh, I just say good luck to all of them, man. But I'm not worried that if a channel gets bigger than mine or is smaller than mine, none of that stuff matters. All we're doing is hanging out. Thankfully, I don't have to rely on this YouTube channel to pay my bills. <laughs> so if it, if it does good, it's great. If it doesn't do good, then who cares one way or another? And that's the way I do it. But I do like to try and keep you guys happy with like three videos a week and then a live stream. I really do my best to get those out for you guys. Um, you want to know how to get more foam, Chad? I've got plenty of foam. Unless you're bringing bubble bath out. What's up, Racer Red? Uh, Javi, what's up, guys? Javi, what's you doing, buddy? Uh, what type of paint is on your motorcycle? Is it same? Um, I don't know. Most of the motorcycle is plastics. If you guys don't know, motorcycles are mostly all your fairings are plastics. It's only usually your gas tank that's actually um, uh, painted metal. So... It's not too bad. It just rained. All it does is rain. It's still raining here. Nathan, it's been raining a lot in California. Two, 10 inches in the mountains since you're in Florida. Started rain dancing. That's all it does, man. I, I can tell. Here's how it does in Florida. Once you hit the summer, it, you can have a beautiful blue skies day, right? By about 2 or 3 o'clock, the, the heat from, you know, is built up. And then, boom, the thunderclouds come in. You go from blue skies, complete black thunderstorms, and then lightning everywhere. It's the craziest thing every single day in the summer. You really just get used to it here. Uh, when, will, when will you stream in 4K? Um, I don't know. 
I don't know. Uh, I was streaming. If you guys don't know, I have a small Twitch channel. I don't use it that much. I was just using it earlier. Um, it's Twitch. It's it, it's it's Accord seventy nine exactly the way it's spelled. ACC zero RD seven nine. Um, I don't get to play it as much. Again, I will try and play it more. If you guys would like, if you're interested, you guys can hang out with me. I don't care. I had some people saying that they want to add me to PS4. They want to add me to Xbox One and play with me. That's fine. We can hang out some time. It's really no big deal. I just can't promise you when I'm able to play because of my uh, work plus having my son. So it's a lot harder for me. South Carolina being getting drenched for sure, Joe. For sure. I feel you, brother. Grizz Garage is the best. Love their Oh, dude. Grizz Garage is awesome. You are right about that, brother. Uh, I thought you said you were going to do giveaways because you're the only one here. Uh, if... If the companies give me stuff to give away, I have no problem with that. But you will notice, Cody, that in any of my videos that I do giveaways, I will not uh, put it in the title that it's a giveaway. You'll notice that. So if for the people who are interested in the video or whatever, they would never know. Or the people who don't watch it until the end, a lot of times don't know. Because some, a lot of times I'll announce the uh, the giveaway at the end of the video. So if somebody is here with like ADD and that only watches something for a minute or 30 seconds and then leaves the video, that they'll never know and they never have the chance to uh, uh, subscribe, you know, um, enter to win the subscription. That's what I normally do it as because I, you're right. I don't want to push it out there that I do giveaways. You guys personally know now that I'll do giveaways, but you know how I do my giveaway. So if you don't watch the entire video, then you you probably won't know. So I usually put it at like the last minute or two. I'll be like, hey, I'm, this is what I'm doing. I'm giving all this stuff away. And uh, you're more than welcome to uh, think. And when I see Soulman, I will be definitely doing that later on this year. Um, I'm just finishing up a few of the 2018 products, and I will gladly order a bunch of that stuff. So uh, stay, stay tuned for that. You, know, you want a, you want triple X webcam of me? Sweet, Omar. I better see a lot of donations down below, buddy. Uh, after a car wash, do you uh, apply wax or dry the car? Um, Normally, I just dry the car, and then I would apply the wax then if I needed to. Or I would probably um, uh, decontaminate the paint with your um, clay bars or clay blocks first before I would apply the wax. Um, if it needed a polish or compound, I would do that because you usually don't wax every month. You usually do it once every few months. So, um, you know, for like a compound of polish, you might do it only once a year. But I would might – I personally tend to like – Putting the getting any contaminants off the paint by actually using a clay bar before every time I wax or seal my cars. Um, Hilton Hotels and Marriott. We are actually staying at the Marriott here in a few weeks. When we go to, uh, we're flying into Jersey. So anybody here from Jersey, I'll be flying into Jersey, and we'll be staying in Secaucus, New Jersey, uh, the two nights before our vacation cruise. We're going out of New York City to Bermuda for an entire week. Uh, so we're taking the Norwegian Escape on a cruise uh, for seven nights. But for two nights before, we're going to go and uh, tr go go through New York City and uh, do a little bit of like, you know, just tourist stuff. And so we're staying in Secaucus, New Jersey, right across the water from it. Uh, what polisher did you buy? Would you buy next? Uh, probably be a big, like a big long throw one, either like a, um, a flex polisher or like a roops polisher. Uh, but they're very expensive. We're talking like $350, $400. And so I don't know when I'll buy that just because of the fact that I don't polish and compound as much. Usually only do it about once a year if you do it right and you use the right procedures like grit guards, two bucket method, methods, and swapping out your mitts every like five, six months, switch, switch out your mitts. So that way you don't get any like contaminants in there and cause any swirls. Uh, and it usually takes about a year before you really start to see a couple of swirls popping up again. Uh, first, okay, the best, you know, something better. Uh, I haven't tried anything better. That stuff is outstanding. It's still on my blue car. It still beads up like a champ every time it's washed. Good stuff, man. What's up, Vincente, uh, Tiger? Do your neighbors, uh, friends ask you to wash your car? No, but they, they have, what they'll do is they'll slow roll by the house and then they'll stop. And it's funny because they, they won't get out of the car. They just sit there and stop and look at me like this. And, uh, sometimes they'll come up on their golf carts. I live in a golf court, golf cart community or how do you want to say it? it's, we live in a country club, okay? Right behind my house is the first hole. So I, uh, everybody, half the people here, especially these retired people, have golf carts. So they, like, they'll come into my driveway and they'll watch me for a minute or two. And then when I stop, they might talk to me. Now, the Asian guy, he doesn't stop. Like, if I'm in the middle of making a presentation on it, he'll come right up in the middle of the video and start talking to me. And it's like, who did you think I was talking to? Did you think I was literally talking to you? Like, you see the camera and I'm talking about a product. He'll go, hey, what are you doing there, buddy? And I'm like, oh, my God, dude, have common courtesy. Wait till I give you the go ahead. But, uh, yeah, you'll have a lot of that. I'll ask you about it. But I've 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 offered to do their cars because that way I have more cars to test on. But uh, nobody has yet let me borrow their cars. 
Uh, Landscape Mania LLC. What do you prefer, a uh, son or a daughter? What? It, it honestly wouldn't matter to me. It wouldn't matter to me. Uh, just hopped on giving you. Uh, oh yeah, for sure, Vincent. Say for sure. If you donate four hundred dollars, I will send this to you right now. Um, Nick Tech Talk. Yeah, I have a question. Do the chemical guys air fresheners linger as a stripper? Um, most of mine that I sprayed, like this one right here, I have on the floor, brother. Um, about the air fresheners comment, they only last me a couple days to a week before it's gone. The good thing about it, obviously, is I've been squirting this thing all over upstairs. I love the smell of the JDM smell. So I, I like shoot it in the carpets and everything. And um, the good thing about this spray bottles is it will last you a very long time. These are about nine or ten dollars. So you can just keep spraying it once a week, and you're, you're probably going to last almost an entire year on a bottle that big. So, but no, it doesn't last more than a week tops before it's gone. Would you get a Subaru Legacy against your next car? No way, buddy. The only Subaru I would even consider would be an STI. After driving eight hours and watching this stream, oh man, Joanna, where are you heading? I was actually, I took the Florida Turnpike today up to Leesburg, Florida. So I was, it took me about an hour to get there. Um, good to see you online though. Uh, I hope you're dodging all this heavy rain that we're getting. It's nonstop, Joanna. It's terrible down here. I don't know about Miami where she's at or not. I think you're, she's in Coral Gables, I think she said, but still, I don't know about how it is down there, but God, it's central Florida is nothing but rain. Anyone trying to race you? Uh, oh yeah. You'll have a bunch of stupid riced out civic civics and stuff. They'll do it. They'll pull up next to you and go, wah, 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 and you're like, what the hell man? Like I, I, I've actually had it on video. I had a car, uh, a girl in an SUV pull out right in front of me yesterday, and I had to slam on the brakes. I got it on my dash cam. I might upload it to my YouTube channel. I have a different YouTube channel just for dash cam clips that I put up there. It's it's the little woman was not wanting paying attention. I was like laying on the horn, and it wasn't even a wave like, oh, crap, I'm so sorry. Nothing. She just like, and then just kept going, and I'm like, how did you not see me? You know, I have headlights on and everything. And in Florida, why is it raining? I don't know, Mike. Welcome to the summer, buddy. Welcome to the summer. Did you get a message brand from uh, – no, I've never, Omar, I've never gotten messages from any company saying that I've given them bad reviews. Never once. Um, most companies want me to tell them if they're going to get, if, if the quality product needs to be changed, but never, ever have I been told that I shouldn't say that a product is uh, good or bad or no, no companies ever paid me for their product reviews. Um, and nobody's uh, bitched at me for even giving them a negative re review ever. Um, please do a live stream in the cruise ship. Um, the, the problem with that, Aaron, is the internet connection. When you're on a cruise ship, you have to pay for the internet, and I'm not going to pay for the internet. You know what I mean, brother? Um, I might do a live stream from up in New York New York, while I'm up there, but uh, you guys will have to check that out and go from there. Yeah, my family's, my mom and them are coming here, so they get to stay in a house the entire week right up with a pool and everything. Well, we go to New York. That's the way we normally do it. So we have somebody who watches the house and gets to enjoy the house as kind of a vacation home while we're actually on vacation. We do that all the time. So it's like they have a house to themselves. They can do what they want, come and go as they want. And then we go on vacation. So they get a vacation. We get a vacation. We know the house is okay. So it works out really good. Uh, anytime, Nick, anytime. Uh, chemical guys, most chemical guys stuff is watered down. A lot of their, some of their stuff is good, but some of their stuff is watered down. Well, what's up, Matthew? How you doing, man? Uh, long time no see. Did you get in the rain? Uh, you, yeah, I'm telling you, man. I look at the, the map and I'm like, I woke up. Okay, okay, I had a really late night gaming binge last night, like really late night, guys. I stayed up till 6.30 playing Call of Duty again. <laughs> Before I knew it, it was 6.30, I was like, oh. And um, I, I could still hear the rain coming off the roof. And I was like, oh, my God. And it's just, it, won't, it wouldn't stop. It hasn't stopped all day long. I drove through the light rain the entire time. Uh, I don't know if the Camry is fast or not, but I, I'm pretty sure it has a decent engine. I want to say it's like 300 horsepower, so it should be able to scoot along pretty fast. Champagne in the house, send the rain my way. Uh, yeah, you can have all of it, man. The funny thing is, Sharpster, you guys know that it's nothing but corn up there in Champagne. And uh, my dad would say, man, it's not enough of rain. They're losing all their corn and all that stuff because of all too much rain and it's flooded the fields. It's crazy. But here it's like, pfft. what's up? Hi from California. Alex, what's up, Cord? It's Angry Next. Dude, I remember you, buddy. Um, Alex, feel free to private message me if you want to. Uh, and, uh, it's been a long time. Me and him used to just tear people up in call of duty, like way back in the day. We're talking way back in the day. We're old men now. Um, yeah, dude, same handle. Uh, we'll game it up against, uh, yeah, dude, for sure, man. Uh, uh we'll get on. 
Uh, just make sure you, um, uh, like I said, Alex, message me on uh, PS4. It's the same screen name as well. I think it is. Either way, you, you can't miss it. Um, how many children would you like to have in the future? I'd like to have two more, but I don't think my wife wants to have any more. I think uh, the stress of having one child alone has really stressed her out a lot. And it's definitely changed her since we've had a kid. Um, do you play PUBG? I played a lot of PUBG when I could, but it has definitely been hard for me. Uh, I've seen a lot of that kind of stuff, Cody, but I don't drive the GTR enough that I catch a lot of the stuff. And remember, I usually take my preludes or my motorcycles during the weekdays to work. And, uh, so I don't have a dash cam in the prelude yet, but I'm planning on upgrading the dash cam and the GTR to a 4k camera. So I'll move my dash cam from uh, GTR, which is, uh, at, it runs at a uh, 2k full 2k. And I'll put that probably in my prelude. Would you ever consider making your own car product? I don't know, man. There's just so many, there's too many people out there right now trying to play that game. And right now, I don't know if I would ever want that stress. You know what I mean? I like what I do. I like being able to have fun. And I see what my friends like Greg Masters are going through, Wax Gods, Limitless Car Care. I personally talk to these guys. And, you know, like Greg says, he's working 15 to 18 hours a day having to push his product, contact other companies to try and carry his product, get his name out, get his stuff out overseas. For a while there, he was he was doing all the shipping himself, and he had to hire a couple of people to help him do all the shipping and bo boxes and stuff and get out stuff. And he said he's working just ridiculous long hours. He's having to be at every single car show in Southern California. He has to set up a booth every single Saturday, every single Sunday. He literally is like having to be a drug dealer, and I don't know if I would really want that kind of lifestyle. You know what I mean? Uh, so you're tired of raining, just wanted to wash my car already for sure, man. It's, it, you should see how much dirt is on the, the GTR, like the back wheel wells and the back, you know, fenders. It just like had a nice, nice, like sandy effect to it. It's really dirty. Um, going to Atlanta for a convention, pilot, super sports, ABS, terrible. I'm like, um, I haven't, I didn't have any problem doing it. I drove, like I said, from Kissimmee all the way to, uh, Leesburg today and it was raining on the turnpike and I had no issues whatsoever. Um, I don't know. I should have brought a rental car, honestly, Joanna. That way you just could have, like, dogged it out and really who cared. You know what I mean? What kind of convention is going on in Atlanta right now? I don't know what would go on there. I'd have to hit, you have to hit up Six Flags when you go there. We used to have season passes for Six Flags. It was great. Do you like a sleeper car? Um, I don't know. I, I like I, – I am – I've – how do I want to say this properly? I like a car with a lot of power, and if it's, like, a luxury car, like a four-door luxury car, but it has, like, four or 500 horsepower – all power to it. You know, I think Joanna's got one of those kind of cars right now. I think she has an AMG Mercedes. So, um, hers could be that way where it's a family vehicle, but at the same time, she hit, hit the gas and go. Cause as you have Verizon, you won't have a perfect signal. Um, at, when you're on the ship, you definitely don't want to play with that. My buyers, you tailor mirror bright, which uh, white bottle good tell you, uh, do you support medical marijuana? It doesn't bother me one way or another. AJ Bentley, uh, keep up the good work. Thanks so much, brother. I really do appreciate it. What happens if you don't apply a car sealant? Um, you're just not going to have any protection on your car. There's always a wax. Wax was a traditional. Sealant is the newer technology. So sealant is the newer technology. It's polymer, synthetic, made in a factory. And then it lasts a lot longer, a lot longer. That's why sealants are awesome. They cost more money. But if you're only having to use a little bit every time you're sealing your car and you have to put no like shoulder grease into it to take it off, I mean, it just wipes off. Um, it's just so much better. It's sealant is the future. It is honestly the way to go. It's about $30 a bottle, but damn, it's worth it. Oh my God. It's so much better. What's up from Indiana? How you doing, Jared? Puerto Rico in the house. Same here, Juan. Puerto Rico in the house. When are you going to, when are you going to come up and visit us? Juan, when are you going to come visit us? You know, you want to, I uh, will do brother catch up soon. Yeah. Alex, uh, reach out to me anytime you want, man. Uh, if you haven't already added me on PS4, uh, you know what to do. It's the same as my thing. And then I'll see you, Alex, and then we can uh, catch up and play a lot more. I'll probably play later on tonight after my parents, my family gets home. So I have to go back and do, um, um, I have to also have to set up the PS4 too. Uh, would you get a third motorcycle to a sport? Uh, here's the deal, Aaron. When my son is old enough to ride on his own, we're going to get him a little PV50 bike, like a little Yamaha PV50, probably in the next year or two. When that happens, I will buy a little off-road bike. Like a used, a used 250 dual sport that I can go out in the woods with him. So, yeah, I would definitely do it. But uh, we need more uh, garage space. That's the problem. Otherwise, you know, you're having to leave cars out in the, the driveway or you're having to rent uh, a place. And then you're spending money every month. And I really don't want to do that. Uh, I wonder how much do you like CVT? Uh, 
I, I don't I personally don't have an issue with it. Obviously, I'm I'm swapping out my uh, old my blue prelude from automatic to five speed swap. So it, it'll be five speed again. So I, I enjoy that. It's fun shifting gears once in a while. Uh, even most of the trucks at my work now, I'd say about 80 to 90 percent of the trucks at my work now are all automatics. They're getting rid of the stick shifts left and right because most kids today can't drive stick shift. And it's just uh, I guess it's cheaper for them to even buy automatics now. It's crazy. If you ever played uh, Mad Scientist and combined products, like to see what happened. Not yet, Sharpster, but that is a game plan for this summer, buddy. Uh, keep an eye out for that. So a lot of people have been asking me would I try out some different car washes together, stuff like that. I mean, the worst could happen is it just didn't work. I mean, imagine you putting Meguiar's Gold Class with Black Magic. <laughs> it's either going to bring up the Black Magic or it's going to bring down the Gold Class. One of the two. You know what I mean? Greg needs to make gallon. He keeps saying he's going to do it, so we'll see. Uh, is there a way to know if my pressure washer will fit a foam cannon? As long as you have um, the, uh, what's it called? The quick retract, quick disconnect on it, it'll work. That's all it takes. There, It's a, it's like a universal connection because I have a sidewalk cleaner as well. It's one of those little round sidewalk cleaners that has a quick disc. So it, it looks like this, the top of the sidewalk cleaner. So you pull the thing back and just locks on like this. It's, but So it's a universal thing. As long as it has, has that quick disconnect, which your pressure washer should have on it, then it will fit. No problem whatsoever. Um, what kind of protection do you have on GTR wheels? Um, uh, nothing really. I've put sealant on the stuff before, but nothing really, buddy. Uh, I just clean my stuff, uh, regular. Do I spend two hours cleaning my car, vacuum, wash, cleaning, wax, uh, rim, shine, Safeway? <laughs> I'm telling you, man, I've had that happen so much and I come out of work and I see it the next morning or when I get home and there's bird crap on my car. I'm like, dude, really? So I, I I rush and get a detailer or a, or a waterless wash out immediately, soak it down, let it sit for about 20 seconds, and then I easily wipe it off. I mean, I, I know the feeling. I know it, but you've got to get that stuff off, and that's why it's good to have good sealant or wax on your car to help protect from the, the bird poop. Um, what's the best over-the-counter paste wax? Paste wax. Probably something like a Meguiar's Ultimate. What I, why I recommend that is because it's synthetic, so it's going to last you about four to five months, probably about maybe in six months. Uh it, depending if, if you're in your garage or not. And uh, it's not hard to apply. It comes off relatively easy. So Meguiar's uh, Ultimate, um, even the synthetic made by Mothers would be over the counter. A little bit harder to find, but you have to go to like an auto parts store, but you'll be fine there. But Meguiar's Ultimate, uh, you're going to do fine with that and you're going to easily find it. If you can find turtle wax, ice wax, ice wax, you'll be great there as well. Uh yeah, you got to watch yourself, Aaron. In Central Florida, I've even, I've personally seen a Nissan Quest minivan was an undercover cop. He passed me going after something. His lights were on. It was a minivan. It was undercover cop. I, they have all kinds of trucks here. They have like Nissan Tundra or like Titans and stuff like that that are actually uh, undercover cops here. Uh, oh, hold on. Uh, before. You met your wife. Will you prefer dating a Latina and white girl? Uh, I probably just, uh, uh, I, just I guess white. I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I guess it never really uh, came into my mind, but I don't know. Uh, have you uh, tried the Wolfgang Uber once swash? No, I haven't, Lewis. I'm sorry. I haven't tried any of Wolfgang's stuff. Um, what's a better spray sealant or cream seal? Uh, uh, actual cream sealant is going to be better than uh, spray-on sealant. Uh, just the properties. It, now, spray sealants are great. Um, like, um, the Rev Automotive, um, what's it called? Uber. It's called guys. It's, it's, a, he's a small company. It's called, it's Rev Automotive's Uber Armor or Neo Armor. It's called Neo Armor. It's a spray sealant. Good stuff, guys. I highly recommend that. Uh, if you were looking for a good spray sealant, if he sells it with the clay block, so you're actually claying your car while you're applying, applying the spray sealant, really top notch product. If you're looking for an easy spray on sealant, that is the way to go. And it will last outlast those waxes for sure. Uh, what are your thoughts on black magic products? Uh, pretty cheap. Hello and stuff. Yo, Venom. What are you doing, buddy? Carlos, uh, most maize will rain. Yeah, I, I, for sure. In the summer, though, in Florida, we get rain almost every afternoon. Almost every afternoon. Uh, I don't even have Fortnite, buddy. I'm sorry about that, buddy. Um, Super Dave. Evening. What are you doing, buddy? Thoughts on a Nismo GTR. One of the guys in the Central Florida GTR Club has a Nismo GTR. I think it's very overpriced at 150, 160,000. Most dealerships are asking like 175. I'm like, no. Um, honestly, I'd rather have a second house than I'd rather have a Nismo GTR, to tell you the truth. 
I didn't have a problem paying 64,000 for my GTR, but I have a damn sure big problem spending $160,000 on our GTR. I just don't think that's, that's way too much money. I really personally do, but you know, the guy has the money and he wants it and more power to him, but it's just a personal thing. I'd rather have a second house, second small house out West in the Rocky mountains. And that would be me personally. I would rather spend $160,000 as a fat ass down payment on a, on a house. You know what I mean? Uh, what up? Or TR Atlanta, big, big booty Latinas. Sorry about all the rain. I live in Jackson, washed my car yesterday. Dude, all it does is rain, man. I don't know about Jacksonville. My wife's actually in Jacksonville right now. She went back because she didn't get to go there for Mother's Day. She had to work on the weekend. One one weekend every six weeks, she has to work, and they stuck her with that weekend. She had to work, so she had to go into the clinic uh, last weekend, so she didn't get to go home for Mother's Day, so she went home to Jacksonville this weekend, so I'm home alone. That's why I was like, we'll do the live stream now. And then I'm going to probably play Call of Duty or something later. I don't know what I'll play. And you guys are more than welcome to join me or at least watch on Twitch if you guys want. After you wash your car and it rains, what's the best way to get rid of the water spots? Um, you can use a either a, a wax or like you can see, probably use a polish if they're if the water spots are bad where you need it. Um, what do you think of black ice trees? I don't know. I've never used them before, so I don't know. What do you think about BO4? Um, the cool thing I like about that Venom, uh, when we're talking about video games here, is that they're them and everybody else now has is going to have a battle royale. And I I like PUBG. I thought it was a lot of fun, but they're it's so buggy. The hit detection is so far off. Uh, it's just it's it needs a lot of work. So I'm glad that um, you know they're going to have a battle royale in it. You know what I mean? And no more running on the walls. I'm I'm fine with running on the wals, but there's going to be no more, which will be nice. What do you uh, want to do my first paint correction, but even after a lot of research, I'm scared. You're not going to have a problem with it. Get yourself a good DA polisher. The good thing about a DA polisher is uh, if you put too much pressure down on the paint, so you're pushing down like you're, you're pushing down too much, it will actually stop the pad from rotating, which means it's not going to tear into your paint and ruin it. Okay. So the good thing is a good DA polisher, like a Gr Griot's Garage 6-inch DA polisher will is a perfect beginner noob to intermediate uh, polisher. And I even see pros still using this, their, them, you know what I mean, with a different backing plate on it for smaller pads. They use it all the time. and uh, But you won't have any problems. So if you get at an angle that it's, it, you know that the machine knows it's not going to work, it just won't spin for you anymore. So it will not grind into your paint. You cannot mess it up. You start out with a little test area with just a polish, a little like, you know, let's say two by two foot section. Do uh, Test it with just a polish. If it looks great, then you just go to the next section. If you still have swirls, then you upgrade it and go to the compound. And that's that's the way you do it. It's so easy, brother. You will don't let it scare you. Um, I've been there. I remember doing mine back in the day, and uh, it's not that hard, honestly. Go buy yourself a hundred fifty dollar Grills Garage polisher, and that thing will last you a lifetime. Literally has a lifetime warranty. M4 GTS. Um, I, are we talking about like the BMWs? I'm sorry if I'm on the wrong thing. Do you watch Long Care Nut in YouTube? Uh, no, I don't, man. Somebody else asked me that. I don't know. <laughs> my grass is like this high right now because uh, my lawnmower is uh, acting up. So I'm going to have to get it fixed this week and drop it off at a little uh, repair shop. Uh, the spring where it like turns the throttle open to close is uh, it broke, I guess, or it's like completely stressed out. It's an older mo uh, uh, thing and it won't, it won't. Leave it wide. Either stays wide open or shut. So I have to manually open it like this. So I'm just like, eh, it needs to probably get cleaned up and everything anyways. I'm planning a game 2003 Camry for my first car. Uh, it's a hand down. Maybe uh, get through college. You know, it, it really should. It's a 2000 something. It should last you. As long as you change, change the oil, change all the fluids immediately. Spend the money. It'll be worth it. Uh, Manchester is the same. We are a city of rain. Yeah, I, I figured all of um, uh, all of England gets rain. That's all we know about that. And like sipping your tea. You know, that's the kind of England thing. Uh, hello, Chad from Lubbock, Texas. First time on chat. Jay, we welcome to the party, buddy. You're more than welcome to stop by anytime. And I thank you so much for taking a few minutes out of your day to come hang out with us because that's a lot of fun. I like it to chat with my subscribers. Um, that is one of the funnest things I get to do is just talk for a few minutes with my subscribers. You know, uh, I, I always respond to my comments. I, every, every night or every morning when I first get up, I'll respond to all my comments. And uh, I, I try and answer every single one of them. And, uh, but then getting to hang out with you guys for even, you know, a few minutes here and there on a Sunday night is a good way to just chill out, relax. And I get to know people that way. And I get to re really start remembering the people who I deal with. It's a lot of fun. 
Uh, why do why why do we want to say bonjour for? Uh, what's your thoughts on the VO7 from um, the car wash was a little watered down, but it, it, it did okay. I'm sure it would do great out of a phone camera, but I've never tested it out before. Um, I, I, I don't know about Fortnite. Uh, I don't know, man. I, I kind of like more realistic fighting things. That's just me personally, but I, I know where you're, you're coming from. Fortnite is such a huge game right now. What do you recommend for chrome wheels? Uh, cleaning, you want to get something that's specifically made for Eagle One. As a matter of fact, Eagle One, so does McGuire's. They have chrome cleaner only. You do not want to mess up those chrome wheels, so make sure you only buy chrome wheels. Eagle One has a very good one, and so does McGuire's. Definitely check those two out. Uh, what do I say? You should play Earth Defense 4, 4.1. Nice, uh, nice bug killing game with split screen. I haven't played the, like literally the the last game I bought was probably Call of Duty World War II, and that was last Christmas sometime. Where's it at? Here it is. Yeah, I might have a drawer full of uh, Call of Duty or games right here. But um, that was the last game I think I actually bought. And like I said, it's been months. Ever since having my son, I just don't have near as much time anymore, and that really just sucks a lot of time out. I'm happy with you with the white prelude is finally getting worked on. Uh, the white prelude is not getting worked on. I'm going to tow it over to get it worked on outside of Tampa. The blue one is almost done. He said he was wrapping it up today. Um, he said he was putting uh, – because he had to put all the wiring and stuff through and for the master cylinder and all stuff like that, the clutch master cylinder. And um, so he said he was uh, applying the epoxy around it to make sure it wouldn't leak or anything like that to go into the firewall. And he said the rain's hampering him right now, but he said it's basically all done. So I'll be able to pick it up next weekend. And so I'm really, really excited. But I am going to rent a U-Haul and a U-Haul flatbed. And I'm going to tow my white car away from these losers over here that don't want to do any work with it and just tow it over there to him. So that's my game plan. Uh, what do you use to clean your steel wheels? Uh, just get yourself a proper all-wheel cleaner, man. Just make sure that you test it. If you're worried about any wheels, just check, test it. Test a small section. Make sure your wheel cleaner isn't going to screw it up. Shout out here in the Philippines. This is my birthday. Well, have a happy birthday, Stanley. Here. Here you go, Stanley. Damn. Side's too small. Hold on, Stanley. I'm with you, buddy. I'm with you. All right, Stanley. I'm representing Stanley. What's up, man? What's up? What are your thoughts on Grills products? Excellent, Jay. Excellent. You shouldn't have any problem with Grills Garage. They are a solid, solid company. Uh, just a content idea. Would you do a wash in my ride series, like washing and detailing subscriber rides? I've had a couple say they would be willing to swing by. I have a couple people from work that found out I have a YouTube channel, and they said they would let me borrow their car, and uh, so we'll see what happens. I own them both, Gustavo. I own them both. There's no things. I have a, a Nintendo Switch, Xbox One. I have PS4, and I have uh, my gaming PC right here. Um, uh, Super Dave, considering how long you've been with – Without your white prey, it's more likely you'll be going uh, very ready for your uh, new product. Dude, I'm telling you, Super Dave, my game plan is to drop it off to him because it was starting to slip a little bit in the second gear. It was starting to slip, so I want him to uh, redo the transmission, you know, put the new stuff in it, and then, you know, pa I, you go through the whole car and, like, fix anything that he sees that needs to be fixed. And then I would, I, since it's actually in good shape and doesn't have the rust on it, has a little bit of surface rust, minor things like that, but not the rust like the blue prelude had from being up north. Because the white prelude, I tracked it all the way back. It was originally sold in Jacksonville, Florida. I bought it when it was in Pensacola, Florida from a Navy guy. So it's it's uh, always been a Florida car, so it doesn't have the rust. So my game plan is to have it in mint condition again and then take it to a body shop, uh, whoever, I, whoever I get the blue car from to do it, and then have them just strip off, strip off the white stuff and repaint it uh, original white again. But it should be a lot cheaper because they're not going to have to cut out any rust, which would be nice. And then it'll be good to go. And I can have – because essentially that car is a uh, brain fart here, guys. I don't know why I'm not thinking today. Um, it's 26 years – it's 26, right? Yeah, it's 26 years old. That white prelude is 26 years old. So having it back in mint condition again, and I know he knows that these preludes, and then I'll just have it repainted properly, like strip all the old paint off and then you know prime it up and paint it right for like $1,000, $1,500. That would be fine for me. And you just have a, a classic car, a, you know, just to drive around in once in a while. You just rarely see them on the road anymore. Remember uh, to put a review on the shop so other people know about. Oh, dude, poo. One of the things about me, buddy, if you treat me bad or give me terrible business, I destroy you on Google. I will destroy you on Google reviews. 
I will just make you look terrible. I'll even show the picture. I'll put pictures up because picture comments get pushed, pushed to the top versus uh, non-picture comments on reviews. And I'll tell you how bad these are when these when these people come around the house and then they don't show up or whatever, or they say they're not going to do the job when they get out here. I'll take I'll put pictures of it, show them that they won't do the work and all this stuff. And I'll say, do not go. And I'll even recommend another company to put it there. So because they can't remove that. And so it's pretty funny. Hey, Alex, what's going on? Hey, I have a, I did clean my car in land. It's been raining way too much. I'm sure they're saying, dude, all it does is rain. I, I thought I was going to get out like three or four videos this weekend. I thought I was going to polish compound the GTR for you guys, uh, put the ceramic coating on it, but I can't do anything. I'm absolutely screwed right now. I'm just, ugh, you know what I mean? It, it might be another week or two before all this rain finally starts clearing out again, but I'm more worried about getting videos out for you guys. Yeah, Stanley, I figured you'd like it, buddy. I figured you'd like that, Stanley. Um, Chad, I'm heading down to Florida for vacation right now. Not ready for more rain. All it has done is rain and rain and rain, Parker. Um, if you're coming to go to Disney or Universal, all you're going to see is rain. Uh, all the rides that are outside are shut down right now. I see it all the time. It sucks. Matthew, thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate you swinging by for a few minutes. Big, big shout out, man. Uh, if I'm, if I'm a mechanic, I'm in Florida. I can fix your Toyota Sienna. Um, yeah, the Sienna's in good shape right now. No, no issues with it yet. Well, what's up, Dawson? How you doing, buddy? Uh, would you sell your prelude for 20,000 cash? What prelude? What are you talking about? Uh, what's up, NS? How you doing, buddy? Uh, that reminds me of putting reviews on the restaurant. Oh, dude, I, I'm telling you, buddy, I don't play around. You dick me over once. You completely screw me over. I will go on there and review it because I don't want anybody else to get try and get business from you and then them get burned. And I, I don't. I hope, hope you lose sales because of my review because you burned me. That's the way I see it. So many times I will destroy you. But if you're a great thing, I will also go back and leave you a five star review and uh, go from there. I'll give you one example, guys. When I went to buy my Honda Grom, little yellow motorcycle, I went to my local uh, Honda dealer. Literally, is ten minutes from my house over there on uh, Main Street in Kissimmee. They literally told me they didn't believe that I could get it in uh, Winter Haven, Florida, about 45 minutes away where I did get it for $3,800. I said, they're showing. He said, no, you, there's no way you can get it that cheap, $4,200 out the door. And I said, no. They're, I was like, do you seriously not believe me? And he said, the manager doesn't believe you. And I'm like, well, you have a good day. So I went on their site. I'm not lying. I went on their site. I gave him a three-star review. I said, your salesman was the nicest guy in the world, very polite, willing to make the sale. But your, your uh, manager needs to be fired for thinking that you people lie. I said, and I, so what I did is I actually had the pictures from my little Honda Grom outside the motorcycle dealership there in, uh, at McKibben Honda in Winter Haven, took pictures of it. And I said, you guys lost out on a sale. And I actually put the picture of the invoice that how much I paid for it and uploaded it just to just put them in their place. I said, if I give your manager a one-star review, that's all he would have. But your salesman has pulled you guys up from a one-star review to a three star just because of that. Cause I proved them that they were wrong. And then I got a message later on, like uh, on uh, as a reply message saying that we were very sorry about that. Uh, we, we'll, we're going to discuss this with the manager there, the sales manager. And at the time I was like, it doesn't matter. You still lost out. So it's pretty funny. Um, <sighs> take your time with ceramic. Haven't got into polishing. I can't do anything, man. Um, if you're getting ceramic coating, when are you going to do videos on it? As soon as it stops raining, Dawson, that's the whole point, man. I'm screwed with the rain right now. I thought this weekend was going to be perfect weekend. I didn't have to watch my son. My wife was going to be in Jacksonville. I could do whatever I want, and um, I wasn't going to be stressed. But literally since last Saturday, it has rained and rained and rained. And rain every single day. It's all it's do is it's just a steady rain all day long, and then it'll come into heavy rain, and then it'll back to a steady light rain again. And it's all it does. So I can't get anything done, and that's what's hurting me right now. Aren't you swapping the five speed? Yes, Cody. That's what we're talking about, Cody. It is basically done. He was he was putting a, a few mat last touches on it today. What he had to do is, of course, the automatic prelude didn't come with a, a clutch plate. What it is is the plate that holds the clutch pedal. So when you push on it, it's not just going to fall out of the, the, <laughs> the thing. So he had to actually custom fabricate one because my prelude was an automatic and never came with one. So he actually copied one from a previous one. He has a blueprint for it, and he copied it, and he he's already installed it, and he showed me the pictures today. So he said it's done. I could probably pick it up tomorrow if I wanted to, but I have no ride to get over to Tampa tomorrow. My wife obviously has to work, so I'm kind of screwed there. But the five-speed basically is done. So the next step will be – Obviously, I'm going to tow the white one over there to um, let him work on it. 
And then I got to start finding a body shop around here that would be willing to cut out the rust and repaint it, uh, make it look uh, brand new like it came out of the showroom in 2001. Uh it's just business. Oh no, that no, it, it's fine, Cody. They lost business. That's what I'm trying to say, Cody. Um, but when you called me a liar, that's when you crossed the line. You you know, I have I contacted 14 different Honda dealerships in the state of Florida, and uh, I just said, give me your best price. Well, when I got out of there, I said, hey man, you have a yellow one on the, the lot. Let me do it right now, 3800. I said, McKibben over there in Winter Haven wants to do 3800 right now out the door. Would you do 3800? And that's when the manager said, I don't believe you. That's when we have a problem. It's not that they don't want to go that low and maybe they were just like, we're not going to sell it for that cheap and maybe they're more, they need sales more over there. That's fine. I don't care. But when you told me you I that I lied and that I wasn't telling the truth, I could get it that cheap. I was like, see ya, deuces, I'm out. That's where it comes to the problem with Cody. I had dealers in Jacksonville saying $4,700 out the door and I was like, no, no, you're out of your damn mind. The MSRP is $3,300. How do you get to $4,700? So that's that's fine. But when you tell me I'm a liar, then we have problems. So that's why I walked away. Uh, Rob, I'm sorry if I didn't see it, buddy. Everything is just like going up and I'm trying to answer questions one by one. Do you think camel guys are overpriced? Uh, uh, their soaps are, yes. Their soaps are overpriced for sure. Um, also, any shops at camel guys in Florida? Yes, there's one in Sarasota or Bradenton, Florida. I think it's Sarasota. And then there's one in Jacksonville, Florida as well which is, is both of them are about two hours drive, two and a half hours drive from me. Uh, Matthew 175, dude, thank you so much, sir. I really do appreciate that. It almost pays enough for these because these were like, I think $2.74 that I bought yesterday. You guys kept asking about them. I went ahead and picked them up. So thank you so much, Matthew. I really do appreciate that. Um, you could do all your videos in the garage while it rains outside, uh, but it has to be washed. Uh, it has to be washed, Aaron. Uh, don't laugh. It's what I had. To, don't, don't. God. Don't go broke trying to donate to me, guys. I, I've had great donations over the you know last couple of months. Don't ever feel like you got to go broke just donating to my channel. But I really do appreciate it. It means a lot because it does help offset the cost of buying all the stuff. I don't mind spending it, but it does help offset it. So thank you so much, Matthew. I really do appreciate it. Uh, any plans to do modify in the car or remap, Turo? Um, not right now. The, the GTR is more of a paid off really fast. Get it out of, get out of debt with the GTR. I owe 26,000 left on it. I have to pay this month's payment. So it'll be down to like 25 or 24 this month. I'm going to make another double payment. So I'll be making like a $1,500 payment on GTR. So it should knock it down to about 24,000 left. As you guys can see, I, I don't play around with debt. I got into heavy debt when I was young, I had about $9,000 in credit card debt and I said, I'll never do it again. So any payment now scares me, so I never make minimum payments on anything. Uh, every penny I have, if I have an extra five or ten dollars, I will automatically pay five or ten dollars extra on my car payment or whatever I have. I just don't mess around with it anymore. Uh, what I was trying to say is, are you going to want to do? Uh, are you going to want to ceramic? Yes, yes, I'm going to be ceramic in the GTR. That's what it, that's what I bought this stuff for. Oh, you messed up calling out there. Now you understand what I mean, Cody. You know, I don't, I don't have a problem. If you don't think you can sell it to me for that cheap or whatever, that's fine. I have no problem with that. You know, I'm, I'm more than willing to drive hours away. If I can, if I save myself 500 or a thousand dollars, if it's three hours away, I'm gone. I bought the GTR in Palm beach. You guys know that that was about, I think it took two and a half hours to get to West Palm beach. And, uh, but you know, the dealer, there was a dealer in uh, Tampa that had a blue GTR and I really liked the blue. They wouldn't, there was a 2013, but they wouldn't come off of $72,000. I'm like, but the red one is 60. They were asking 68 or six. No, they were asking 67, somewhere around there. And uh, they came down to 64. And uh, so I, $8,000 difference. So that's why I took the red one and I went down to Palm Beach and I saved myself $8,000. So you bet your tail, I'm willing to drive wherever it's going to go. And that's how I do with anything. Anytime we buy vehicles, I email them all the dealers in the area. And then I go from there. Uh, Pooh, um, thank you so much again uh, for swinging by. I know Pooh is a donator here. He's donated $10. I think it was last week. Pooh, you did on pay my PayPal. He donated, he donated $10 and I really do appreciate that. Uh, hey, Jack, can you add food color into the liquid waxes to make them more livable? I don't know about that, Rob. That might be a little bit dicey. I don't want to like stain any color or anything like that. It might be a little bit weird. Uh, that PS4 box is looking good. It does look good, Josh. It does. And the, th the thing is, I was like, you know, I could have just got the black one because I have my, the standard black one over here from the launch edition. And I was thinking this time, you know, um, where are they at? Here they are. 
So I have my uh, PlayStation 4 headset over here. Uh, they're the Arctic White headset. And um, yeah, I had them on the charger over there. So, um, But I was like, you know what? The white the white is right. Let's go ahead and get the white one this time. Like I saw some of those other ones like um, uh, Battlefront 2 and something. And I was like, you know, the white is just a nice pretty look to it. So I'm going to pick up the white one. And so I had to go drive an hour away because uh, only some, some game stops even had any left. Um, what's up, Dalton? How you doing, buddy? Should have got an Xbox. I already own an Xbox, Jared. It's literally here. So, yeah. Day one edition, buddy. Day one. Day one. I was the first person in line at my local GameStop for the Xbox One and the PS4. Uh, PS4. I literally I, I stayed up all night long, and then I, I drove over there about 6 o'clock in the morning, and I parked my car out right outside the GameStop door. It's when I had my 370Z, and I just sat there in my car and kind of closed my eyes. And then once I saw cars starting to pull up, it was like 6.30, 7 o'clock, I started starting to see other cars pulling up because, you know, there's such such a, a short uh, run on them that I, I immediately got up and went out and sat outside the door, sat right next to the door. And that's what I did until uh, 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock when they opened. And then I put my money down immediately on it, and I put down like, you know, $200 instantly. And that's how I bought all my stuff. I a matter of fact, I bought four PlayStation 4s and three Xbox Ones, and I sold the rest of them to uh, friends, and then I sold them to some on uh, uh, eBay, and they actually paid for all my stuff. So I made enough profit to pay for all my systems. So technically, this is the first system I've actually had to pay out of pocket, which uh, I'm not going to get money back for. Uh, White doesn't collect dust. Oh, dude, the black ones, is my Xbox One over here is covered in dust because I rarely used it. Uh... No, I'm not going to wrap my cars. Uh, how much did you pay for the PlayStation 4? That was $399. Uh, waited in line for PS4 2 to resell it. Yeah, I think I sold five PlayStation 3s. I sold four Wii's. I mean, I, I really, really made out like a bandit when I uh, sold those. But the PlayStation 3s and the Wii's and stuff, I made a lot of money on back then. Uh there's a rumor that new PlayStation 5. I, th there is a rumor, but I think it got squashed, and they, it's going to be pushed back till uh, next fall, like around like fall of 2019 is when it's more realistic right now coming out. Dude, they uh, tried to scam me on eBay, though. Uh, no, I don't have any problems with eBay. You know, I've never had any issues with it. I've sold a bunch of stuff. I remember even – you guys remember – you might guys remember the Nintendo Wii little Wiimotes. Well, back when they first came out, you couldn't find them anywhere. So what I would do is literally I would drive in uh, about 45 minutes across the border into Alabama, little small Walmarts, and I'd buy like 10 of them at a time, and then I'd come back and put them all in Walmart, on, all on eBay that night. And not lying, guys, I was selling those suckers for $100 a pop. <laughs> I was just making out like bandits because I think they're like you know 30 or $40. And when the, when the system first came out, nobody could find extra remotes because it came with one. So I was selling them left and right. I would just drive the one hour, put them up on a one-day auction, sell them for 100 bucks turn around and go back the next day and go get more of them. And I literally wiped out the store. It was crazy. Adams is good, but I really like lean towards limitless a bit more, buddy. I like limitless a bit more. They're a smaller company. So he really concentrates on making the best products he can. Adams is such a big company that, it, you know, I feel like sometimes with the bigger companies quality starts to slip. They have to start downgrading their product a little bit, water it down just a little bit to make that extra little couple of pennies. And I think that chemical guys have to do that, especially with their soaps. They've watered down a lot of their stuff just to make an extra couple bucks. And that sucks. Thoughts on G37 Coop? Uh, they're very nice, but um, I don't know. I uh, Now you got the new ones. What is it? The the red versions that have 400 horsepower? That's pretty cool. Do you, think, do you use any fall remover? Don't do any reviews. Any uh, Rob, you can actually use Meguiar's Ultimate Wheel Cleaner uh, because it actually removes – Excuse me. It removes iron particles. The wheel cleaner, you can definitely spray it on your car, and it'll turn red, and it gets rid of the iron. So you can definitely do that, man. Uh, what was your biggest? I think I – okay, you want to know a big one right here, Cody? Okay, so uh, you know where – you guys know where I work. That Our company ships out all the Xboxes and PlayStation 4s. And so I saw them come through, and I went to my local Best Buy, and because I knew they were coming in, I, I actually was uh, working. I was doubling shifting on the morning shift that day where they loaded all the stuff in the trucks. So I knew they were going going in that day. So I made uh, an effort to go over there right afterwards, took a shower, went over to Best Buy. And within 30 minutes after they opened, I knew the, the delivery had already been made. <laughs> well, here comes the manager with his associates, like with the PlayStation 3s in his hand. As soon as he dropped it down, he, like they only got like six of them in. It was, this was like the second shipment they had. I picked up one immediately off the thing and I walked to paid off. I was literally, I'm not lying guys. 
I walked out of the Best Buy and some lady goes, where did you get that? And I said, it's in there. She's like, I got to go get one for my, uh, my neighbor. She really wants one for her son. Rich kids, really rich kids. And I said, there's none left, ma'am. They only had six and they were bought immediately. And uh, she's like, would you be willing to sell it? I'm like, yeah, how, you know, how much? And I, I gave her a price. I sold her $500 over a sticker. She, but she calls the lady, come over here. If you're willing to drive all the way to the other side of town, we'll pay it right now. She met me in her Lexus, $500 on top. She's like, you're gouging me for this. She's like, well, my son has to have it. I'm like, well, I was going to have it for myself, but you know, your, your, your friend stopped me. So I really wasn't paying attention. I said, so if you really want it off of me, this is what's going to cost you. And she paid it immediately cash $500 on top of the Bexel PlayStation's price. So I was like, cool. So within 10 minutes, I'd already sold it and made $500. But these are old school days. The PlayStation 4s and Xbox Ones, they didn't make that much profit. So I didn't do it. Even the X Switch has only sold like $40, $50 over sticker. Push spot spray wax for the first time. How long is normal wax? Uh, only about a month. Uh, seen. It's about a month, three weeks to a month before it's gone, buddy. Um, so I've owned my car for a couple of years today. The previous owner kept it parked outside the exterior black trim is sun faded. Any work? Uh, yeah, super Dave. Have you tried, uh, McGuire's? Have you tried, uh, McGuire's back to black mothers has a back to black turtle wax is one. It's really oily, but damn, that stuff was good when I used it. If you got to see it, if you're willing to deal with the oily fingers, it is amazing. But yeah, any one of those two, any one of those three will treat you really good, man. And they'll, they'll last three to four months before you'll start seeing any bit of it starting to fade back again. PS3 was a beast for the money maker. Yeah, for sure, man. Uh, must be Sunday night. You're right about that, Bob. Um, have you ever got your uh, own order at your work? Yes, I have. Yeah, when I knew it was coming in, I just went to the truck where I knew it was gonna. It was getting loaded onto, and I picked it up and I signed for it right there uh, from the driver. Uh, he was about to leave for his route that day, and he signed it off to me right there, and that's the way it went down. Uh, what do you think of the, uh, purple power? I've seen it before, but I've never tried it before, Rob. I've seen it, but I've definitely never tried it. I remember the old days, Xbox for the PS2. I so think, I think, I think I sold three PS2s. Uh, my dad was a school principal, a high school principal. And I took his, uh, literally said, dad, can I use your uh, assistant? He had like a, a 11th grade assistant. I said, can I use your assistant? I want to go buy down to Best Buy. It was literally right down the street and buy some playstations. I know they have them in stock. And he said, sure. So I, I grabbed him. He was like, he was a couple years younger than me. I grabbed him. We literally went down to Best Buy and uh, I gave him cash money for it. And then I gave him $50 tip for coming with me uh, to, for his time, even though he's technically supposed to be in school that day. And um, we bought out a couple a couple of PlayStation 4s right there. And then I, I gave him a $50 tip for his time so he could go out and buy whatever the hell he wanted. And then I returned back to school again. And then I took those PlayStation 4s and then turned around and flipped them for like, I don't know, $300 above sticker. Yeah, those were good old days, man. That's a long time ago, man. What's up, Chad? Was this Central Florida rain? Only thing I did interior cleaning on all my cars. I can't wait to wash them as soon as I can. Do the rain if it stops, Garcia. That would be a blessing. I figure we got another couple of days to a week before it'll finally start passing over. That's the way it is, man. That summertime is hitting us. Have you ever tried a white diamond products? I have not. I've heard about them, but I've never tried them. I have a PlayStation Two and a Play and Jack Dex. I remember when that was a little. I. I had a PlayStation 2, but I sold it. I ended up selling it for more. I used it for literally a month or two. ended up selling it for more than I paid for it because I was like, I just don't use it. By then, I was so hardcore into PC gaming that I just I wasn't using it anymore. But you're looking forward to playing video games with Nathan. Uh, yeah, eventually, you know, give him a little bit more time, Ranger, and then I'll definitely uh, uh, play the games with him. But uh, he's he can hold the controller. Like, the controller sits there. He actually holds it properly. He actually does this. He puts his hands on it properly. And I'm like, whoa, dude, you know how to use it. So that's actually really cool. He's held my uh, Nintendo Switch, and he's held it correctly. So it's really cool to see that he's going to be quick to pick it up. I've never used Colonites. Never used Colonite, man. I'll take a rainy day over the fires here in BC. We we're lucky by far this year. Um, I've We've had really bad fires in Florida before. In the years in the past where they've actually had it shut down, like Interstate 95 was shut down. I remember that happening a few times. Interstate 10 was shut down that runs across North Florida. Because of the forest fires, I still remember that where the fire literally went over uh, the interstate, and so they actually shut down. It was ridiculous, man. By the time Chad's little kids are growing, they're going to be insane. Uh, probably, but we, me and my wife joke about it all the time because this will be my son's fifth cruise. I think, yeah, this will be his fifth cruise. I think. Let's see. Hold on, he's done. 
One, two, three, four. Yeah, this will be his fifth cruise. He he turned two in March, and he'll be on his fifth cruise here. And we we joke about that he'll be a platinum diamond cruiser by the time uh, he's eighteen years old because you get like uh, perks every time you start sailing a certain amount of days at sea with a, a cruise line. You get another set of perks, and you go up and up and up. So he'll actually be having more. It's pretty crazy. The rain and pointing at drivers. Oh Jesus! I, I don't know how you live down there. That that's a garbage crap hole down there. I just mm -mm. Kissimmee is terrible, but Point Siena is awful. It's Ponce Anna because Ponce Puerto Rico. It, that is a hundred percent Puerto Rico down there in uh, Point Siena. That's why they call it Ponce Anna. Oh, it's it's really bad down there. I wouldn't live there. Uh, what's the best way to remove water spots? Probably a polish. Just a polish will remove all that stuff. Just wanted to say I only watch you. Your auto watch you and auto fanatic. I don't even know who auto fanatic is, Rob, but thanks so much for watching my videos. I really do appreciate that. Uh, yeah, I know. And I work in St. Cloud. You really should move. We live, we live right near the St. Cloud line. Uh, we live very close to St. Cloud. We live uh, right off East Lake Toho. Uh, what's happening, Brian? How you doing, buddy? I bet you're going to nuts not being able to clean the car. Um, it's just, you just kind of get used to it, Matthew. The, what I'm more worried about is for you guys not having videos out for this week. I am so worried. YouTube is, how do I want to say it? It can be a two edged sword guys as a YouTube creator. If you put out a lot of videos, YouTube keeps recommending your stuff. So then you get pushed farther and further up the search videos and the more views you get, of course, also helps you out. And so they want, they essentially want you to put out like four or five, six videos a week. And that's what kind of what YouTube wants from you. And they'll keep recommending your videos. And that means, of course, you're going to get way more views, which then leads to more subscribers. Now that I don't have any videos, I have two older videos I'm going to go ahead and upload. Those are the ones that I'm going to be kind of worried about, to tell you the truth. Um, because now I'm kind of, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. You know what I mean? It's just like, how, how am I going to do it? You know what I mean? It's just. Like, how, what am I going to do for you guys? Because you don't have anything. Now I'm starting to get in that stress. Not a lot of stress, but just a little bit, you know, knowing that I, I've, come on, stop raining for five minutes so I can do another review on a product, you know, that kind of thing. California drivers are the worst uh, in the rain, uh, I guess, because California doesn't have any rain. In Florida, they drive with their hazards on, and it's illegal to drive with their hazards on in Florida, and they'll drive with no, no lights on. In the state of Florida, if it's raining and your windshield wipers are on, you have to have your headlights on. And you have to have your hazard lights turned off. It is the state law. It's all over the big uh, LED screens as you're driving underneath them on the interstate and stuff. They like the whole way up the Florida Turnpike today for an hour drive to go get that PlayStation. Every LED screen up there said uh, lights on in the rain, flashes off. Every single one of them because these people, especially Northerners, I don't know why they have they turn their flashes on, drive with their flashes the entire time, and then they'll and then they don't turn their headlights on. Or they say, well, it's automatic headlights. Moron, if it's still light outside, they're not going to turn on. It has to be dark, so you have to turn your headlights on. And um, But so all the signs were saying that because you see it all the time. It'll be pouring down rain, and you'll see there's no headlights on somebody, and but they'll have their flashers on, and you're like, you got to turn your headlights on, moron. It's raining. I know you learned this in your, your state. Uh, I see. Hopefully by next year I am gone and graduated for sure, man. I, that means you probably go down there to Point Siena High School down there if you're still in school. People driving headlights need to be smacked. It's bad, man. It's so bad. And then they have no headlights on. That's the ones that kill me. Where did you get your grid your traps? I got mine from AutoGeek. AutoGeek.com is where I got my grid cards from. They're like, I want to say they're $9, but they're made of hard plastic. They're going to last you for your whole life, so they're not going to go bad. You know, I buy two of them, so I have one for your clean water bucket and one for your soapy water bucket. Anything to help prevent swirls, and uh, they're worth it. Again, you buy it once, you spend 20 bucks, and you'll never have to buy them again. Seriously, it's just that good. Uh, oh, you go to UCF? Jeez Louise, man. I'm, I know they're building a new UCF campus near me somewhere, right off 192. What's your favorite wheel and tire cleaner? Probably Eagle 1 A to Z. It's probably my favorite one. Uh, know any good companies uh, that do uh, sh short term car leases in Florida? Oh, I, I don't know, man. I don't, I really don't know. Will you ever stop detailing? No, because uh, Jared, uh, I heard this from a pro dealer, broke a pro detailer once. The most, exp the most, uh, how do I say this? The biggest investment in your life that your purchase that you paid for is going to be your house. The second most expensive purchase in your house is going to be your cars. By far, there's nothing else you're going to spend more money on besides your house than your cars. So I am a big.
big person on wanting to keep those things clean. But it, when the pro detailer said that, he, that rings true. Uh, I think it was Mike Phillips that said that. It is so true. You know, I spent $64,000 on GTR. When am I going to purchase something that's more than $64,000? <laughs> never, never. I mean, the house, this house was $330,000. It's worth way more now, but we bought it at three hundred thirty. dollars and I mean, what else is going to be? Um, I mean, even my wife's diamond ring six years ago was $6,000. I paid for it. So it's like nothing out there is going to touch it. So no, I won't stop it. I'll always clean my cars. Would you recommend just using uh, mini mitts and stuff? Uh, grit, guard, grit guard is honestly easier and it's the way to go. It really is, Pupanda. Again, $9 is the way to go. When's your next GTR meet? Um, I, they do it every other month, Matthew. So I, I want to say it's... G I don't know if it's June or July. It's one of those. It's down there at, uh, whatchamacallit, um, Ace Cafe. Uh, Alex is better than UNF. UNF stood for You Never Finish. My wife went to UNF. Um, their classes were always so full that basically seniors had priority, and then it would go to juniors, and then it would go to uh, sophomores and freshmen. So if you absolutely needed that class, it always went to the seniors first, and so – Many times it would back you up by a semester or two if you could even get into the class. So it was pretty hard. Now, I never had problems at the University of West Florida over in Pensacola. Uh, it was a, it was a sm much smaller uh, college. It, it's growing fast, but, I mean, it was much smaller compared to the UNF or UCF, obviously. So I never had the problems as long as there were spots. And even if there wasn't, you just go up there and be like, hey, can I be put on the standby list? And they're like, just show up to the – you talk to the teacher, and they would just say, show up to the class. I guarantee you we're going to drop two or three the first week, so you'll be in but just start showing up every day to the class. And that's the way they treated you there. They were very down to earth, very polite, very cool, highly recommended small college. There's just not much to do in Pensacola unless you're all about that beach life. And so if you're not about like being at the beach all day long, then it's not a, there's nothing to do there. Um, have you ever met a priest driver that acts like uh, you see a lady yelling at a guy with his truck? No. Or a gallon of Grills garage interior cleaner, but received the interior detailer. I used it cleaner. What's the difference? Uh, I think the cleaner is just, uh, it's more like, um, uh, like a, more cleaning properties and a detailer is just a light cleaner. You know what I mean? Let me scroll through. Do you ever think you would uh, run out of products? I don't think I'm going to run out of products. I have ran out of a couple of bottles that I really like a lot. When I use a product that I really like, I use it a lot and then I run out of them and that's about the only time. Uh, Rainex is a one-step headlight restoration wipes. Saw it at Pet Boys. Yeah, I saw your picture, Dalton, but obviously I don't have any problems with anything right now, so there's really no need for it. Uh, yeah, the heavy-duty one works good, and it gives you a little bit of a shine, too, as well. Rob, buy every one of those cans you can. Uh, you can't find them in Walmart. Well, they pulled them off the Walmart shelves here. Now, I, I think I you can still find them at, like uh, – your advanced auto parts, AutoZone, O'Reilly's and stuff, but you can't find them at Walmart anymore. Though you're paying with the rain, Gainesville, Florida here is insane. Haven't seen any crystals, uh, products, you use the tire shine and black tire. I will definitely get to that, Terry. I have seen it before, but I have not tried it. Again, crystal products, I don't I don't know if they're an American company or they're a foreign company. I just don't know. I, I, I don't know why I have a feeling that they're from the island somewhere down there, like Puerto Rico or something, but I don't ask me why, but I feel like they it's, that's where they're from. Do you guys have a lot of rules you need to follow for living in gated communities? Um, they want the yards mode at a certain time, and my yard's getting very tall now because I haven't had my mower has been messed up. Uh, the palm trees have to be cut back. The roofs have to be cleaned. Um, you you can't have anything other than like white uh, white things over your windows, like white shades. It has to be white shades, um, stuff like that. You know what I mean? Just basic stuff. You have to keep the driveways cleaned and. Um, no cars can be parked out in the street overnight. Otherwise, they will tow them. They literally tow people's cars. It's great. I love it. Like, they'll park them overnight, and they'll be like, ah, it'll be fine. The car's gone in the morning. They literally tow it in the middle of the night. It's awesome. Because they have signs everywhere when you drive in. Don't do not do it. You're going to get towed. And people that do it, I just think it's funny. Um, I'm going to Walmart to spend my money. Uh, I was just at Walmart, actually, uh, Matthew. I picked up this last night. West Coast Custom Tire Gloss. It must be a new product from them. And I picked up Eagle One's uh, tire swine shine swipes that everybody kept asking me for that I couldn't find. My Walmart finally had them, so I went ahead and picked them up. So, again, this was like $5.50, and the tire swipes were only like $2.70. Really good deal here. So, you know, even when the gel runs out and the little pod inside runs out, you can still use it like this and spray it in here inside it. So it's, it's a great two-for-one is what I figure. 
100 likes and Chad will shave his head. No, no. Uh, hey, buddy, finally able to come home and join. Just saying, hey, what's up, JR? Good to have you swinging by here. Uh, where's your wife for action in the garage closet? She doesn't really care, Aaron. Uh, her shoes closet is worse. Like, she also likes to buy like a million nail polishes and everything. I'm not, and makeup. God, she, you could put trash bag of all the makeup she has in there. And I'm like, why do you keep buying this stuff? Well, you keep buying detailer stuff. I say, are you getting paid? Are, are you making YouTube reviews for it or something? Uh, she's like, meh, you know, just makes her really mad when you do that stuff. The movie fan, how you doing, buddy? Uh, Russell S. Affiliate, Head of the Rain. Every day gets old. Have you ever got in a wreck? Yes, I have. I've been, I got T-boned in my one car. I was uh, living in Clearwater, Florida, and I was on my way to work. And I pulled out of my um, apartment complex and the traffic was stopped. So I went through the traffic and one guy decided he was going to, he wanted to get all the way to the uh, green light versus having to wait in all the traffic. So he went into oncoming traffic. So I'm doing this and I got waved on by the cars that were stopped. So I got waved on. So I'm doing this. I'm looking to my right to make sure, obviously it's clear from the cars coming from this direction. And the car goes, boom, and hits me and spins me around and totaled out my Chevy Beretta. I had a Chevy Beretta. It was my first car that I personally bought. And then I'll see, I've been, I was rear-ended my dad's Ford Taurus. I was at a stoplight. I saw these young kids in this old ghetto bomb car. They hit me. Uh, they, I could see they weren't paying attention. I was at a dead stop. I'm like, oh shit, they're not going to stop. I've been rear-ended by uh, a couple girls. They hit me at like 10 or 15 miles an hour in my blue prelude. They had to repaint the back bumper on the blue prelude because it was scratched up. Just scratches all over it from her. They hit, she hit me at like 10 miles an hour. Uh, Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what it is, especially with uh, like and these is before, and this is the days before texting was any anything. I mean, people had cell phones, but nobody was really texting or anything. Um, that was rare because texting cost money back then, so everybody would just call on the phone. And these people still hit me, so I can't only imagine the the texting and driving hits now. Two brothers racing. Uh, yes, Rob, I used it on my uh, uh, little Honda Grom. Great quality, great stuff. I called them personally on the phone and talked to them what I wanted with the customized Baker X Derrick uh, thing on the side. And it looks great. And it sounds great too. It's full carbon fiber. Have you ever used the scratch repair pens? No, I don't know if they work or not, but I've never used them, buddy. Ben's, hey dude, I'm going to South my Beach, Miami for Memorial Day weekend. If the weekend is really going to be uh, bad weather. I don't know. You just it, think of it like this, Ben's. In the summer in Florida, Every afternoon, you're going to get bad thunderstorms. Every afternoon. Right now, we're in like a tropical type of wave that's coming through or whatever. So the last week and a half, it's been nothing but raining all day and all night long. Uh, any break in rain is, is over within an hour and it's back to rain again. But in the summer, you can kind of expect, even in Miami, you're going to have bad thunderstorms in the afternoon. So get all your fun fun stuff during the day out of the way as fast as you can. Because about you know 1, 2, or 3 o'clock, you're going to see some heavy, heavy thunderstorms going to come through. Random question. What do you think about um, uh, my wife's trying to call me? I put her on block. A random question. What do you think about all the four cylinder sports cars? Uh, I wouldn't buy one, JR. I'd rather spend the money and get the car I really wanted. Uh, is Grip Gloss Tire Shine any good? It's good, but it doesn't last very long. I'll tell you that, Jared. It, uh, it's water based, so it, uh, it, it goes off a lot faster. I'll tell you that. Uh, when you guys getting the Groms for ride again, I remember you shared a video on Facebook and the guy was doing a willy and wrecking. That was about, uh, th that's on my niche riding motorcycle channel. You can go over to that channel right now. It's up for, it's from Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, you can go over to the other channel and you can actually check it out. Um, and I have the, so I have a video of just riding through it. And then I have video of like just nothing but wheelies on it. Does not really care about the common muscle cars? Yeah. I'm not a big muscle car guy myself. What do you think about the new Honda Civic type R styling? Um, I went and looked at one, Rob. One thing I can't stand is these dealers are asking ten or $15,000 over sticker price. My local dealer had a blue one I thought was really pretty. They wanted $47,000 for it. $47,000 for a Civic. <laughs> what? Now, though, I'm starting to get calls because I was looking for possibly buying one of those as a four-door get-me-around-town car. You know, because I figured the payments would be like 500 something bucks. Okay, we can do that, obviously. I'm paying double payments on a GTR. I can obviously afford a Civic Type R. That's fine. And um, so I, I, I emailed a couple of dealers and now they're all starting to email me like, Hey buddy, we, we got some in. Do you want to come get it? We can make you a deal. And I was looking it up on auto trader. Now people are dealers are really starting to get down right at almost MSRP price because now they're starting to sit on their lot. So the people that really, really wanted the civic type R's now have already got them all. 
And the people that were scared off by the price are now starting to jump back in the market and like, hey, I'll pay MSRP or $1,000 over MSRP for it, but I'm not paying $45,000, $47,000 for a damn Civic. And so now that the dealers are starting to realize they're starting to sit on their lot now that they're, hey, buddy, like Tampa just wrote me today. Tampa contacted me and emailed me saying, hey, we have a Civic Type R. When can you come over here and check it out? Um, Wednesday or Tuesday, or the Cog and Honda guy contacted me and he said, we got a red Civic Type R. You want to come check it out and buy it? And I'm like, not right now, man, not right now. So I can tell now the dealers are starting to get desperate. They are not desperate, but they're definitely looking to move it more. They're not trying to get $10,000 or MSRP anymore. Um, I was looking at them on Auto Trader, and there was at least two, 200, maybe 100, 200 now for sale around the country. And uh, uh, many of them are down to like 35, 34,000 is all they're asking for them because they're starting to sit on the lots now. 34,000 is fair for a Civic Type R, not 45,000. Cadillac DTS. Uh, Cadillacs, I mean, the quality isn't really there, buddy. It might be a hit or miss. I would have you checked in like Acuras or Infinities from like the mid 2000s. They're probably going to last you a lot better. Even a Lexus is going to last you a lot better because they're Japanese brands. I just, uh, Cadillacs don't have the quality reputation. Uh, 2018 Acura SX, uh, too much money. Way too much money for what it does. It just doesn't do enough. It's It doesn't have the good looks like the original NSX did. Um, it's all this hybrid stuff. It's way too much money. That's why they don't sell. Check the weather in Florida. You guys are getting, uh, uh, yep, it's raining right now. It's raining for sure. Have you decided on your last video of McGuire's Gel thing, how smell outweigh the Grios? Um, the, the Grios, um, I, I had a nice, decent smell to it. Obviously, uh, McGuire's Endurance smells better. It smells like grape. Both of them got washed off in the rain quickly. They didn't last. Um, just the way it goes. Yes, I uh, yes, Jared, about ammo. Yes. Um, I really hope the guys that are working on the blue prelude make it look like new again. Uh, the inside is looks amazing. He showed he literally sends me picture after picture after picture of all the parts that are done. He's cleaning up the original parts I brought him. If they were a little bit rusty, he was like, uh, you know, getting the rust off of them. And then he was like repainting it with like a, a, a an automotive paint. So that way they won't rust again. I mean, the guy is like the things that this guy is going to for step by step is unlike anybody I've ever met before. Like he was wait, he was waiting for uh, the bracket for the foot thing, the clutch pedal. And he was noticing some things that like held up like the radiator stuff was having some like corrosion rust around it. He took those things off shaved it down and then resprayed them again and then it reinstalled them again. And I'm like the bolts, the head, the bolt heads, he literally would take out the bolts, take off the, uh, the rust off the bolts and uh, put new uh, coating on them and then screw it back in. And the guy is just like old school that you'd want. It, it's worth every penny because of all the steps he's doing. It's unbelievable. The stuff I've seen. 34000 in New York. Yeah, definitely, bro. They're coming down in price big time. Um, I have no problem with it. My wife did, thought they were decent. Um, a lot of leg room. I was actually very surprised. They're the size of an older Honda Accord, like a, an Accord from 10 years ago. They're so roomy inside for a Civic. And obviously, it's going to be numbered. They're rare, so they're going to hold their value very good. So I don't mind. I don't need a, a fast Civic. I just would like something that's unique, something that, uh, you know, it's going to keep its value really good. And it's going to be reliable. Obviously, a Honda is going to have that. And I have my GTR, I have my motorcycles if I really want to go fast. So it's really a big deal to me. Ooh, PS4, getting back into gaming again. Good buddy, an Xbox One fan. Um, no, no bundle. The white the white people weren't privileged with a bundle package. You notice that? Yeah, it's funny because I was uh, he's talking about the bundle. Did they come with any video games? And some of the PS4 Pros had bundles. Like the Star Wars one, it was a black one. There was another one that was uh, bundled that you could get a video game with for free. But I wanted the white one. Of course, the white one didn't come with anything. Go figure. You know? Uh, they're hating on us, man. Uh, hold on. Uh, Frozen, your thing got – your thing got uh, – thing, man. I'll, uh, I'll unblock it. Just letting you know. Anybody, anytime somebody tries to say buy my stuff or look here, look there, and the other, it usually gets blocked. Uh, should I buy the Zymo car wash soap? Uh, dude, if it's a thing, give it a shot, man. I'll definitely go check it out myself, man. How many miles in the Honda? The blue one has about 196,000 miles and the white one has around 197,000 miles on it. Again, 
Um, I've always treated my cars with highest respect. Anything goes bad. I just tell people it doesn't matter what it needs. If you think it's going to need it here in the future, replace it now while you're in there and doing the work. And that's the way I do things. <clears throat> At 110,000 miles of my blue prelude, I did all the seals and all that stuff, the water pump and everything on the side leg was recommended. I had it fully redone and serviced. I don't have any leaking problems on my Blue Prelude's engine. I had a little bit of a leaking problem on my uh, white one, and it was the seals around the oil pan. It literally rotted out, so I had the guy redo it all. The head gasket needed to be redone on it. I had everything redone on that. I has has new alternator on, new starter. Everything got redone on that as well. And new belts are on that. New spark plugs are on it. I do everything at once because I want my vehicles to last a very long time. If you're going to spend that much money on it, I want it to last. So if I have to spend a thousand dollars every couple of years in maintenance. It's worth a thousand dollars. Would you uh, uh, products about diluting them? Um, uh, some of the products for like wheel cleaners are, are already dilutable, and they actually have like it'll be like a, a one to ten ounces of water uh, thing, or maybe two ounces of product to ten ounces of water. You can you can, some of those definitely have that. Your chemical guys for sure has that. Masterson's has that. Uh, is it Adams that has it? Adams or Grios also has that as well. Um, a super Dave. Yeah, dude, I'm, I'm super stoked about it. I got it. He's a recommendation from another guy that has a prelude in South Florida and Palm beach. And, uh, he said, this guy is like amazing. And I've seen his car before. I just didn't know who he was. And he just it completely, he gutted out his third generation prelude, like my white one completely gutted it, redid everything inside redid. I mean, literally everything has been redone. The wheels are different. The brakes are different. He's put on bigger brakes on. He swapped out the engine from the old engine in his like 89 to like a, a newer engine from like a 97, 98 with H22 VTEC in it. Uh, he literally, he has, he's moved all the stuff from like uh, relocated most of the stuff to make the engine bay look as clean as possible. I mean, literally this guy is one of those type of people that is so in-depth into his car mechanic stuff. It's really good. So even like I said, even if he says, look, buddy, it's a thousand dollars for all the work I did for you, because obviously I brought in the transmission. I gave him $550 already to buy all the parts that he needed to get it all done with. So even if he said, Chad, I, you owe me $1,000 for all the work I did, I would not even bat an eye at that because I figured he's done so much extra above and beyond that was actually asked of him. And I'm, I've seen the results now. I wouldn't bat an eye at $1,000. Uh, uh, would you consider a Kia Stinger? My wife actually brought that up. As a matter of fact, my wife is not into cars at all. And she said the Kia Stinger looked cool. She saw one and she found out that they're fast cars, you know, 360 horsepower. And uh, she was like, those are really nice. So, you know, that's why, that's why I'm holding out hope that Honda gets off of their ass. <clears throat> and they're finally waking up out of their 15 year slumber of making boring dull mobiles. And that they'll make a Type R Accord, like they're like they, there's rumors of making a Type Type R Honda Fit or a Type R Accord. There's a lot of rumors about that right now. In the next, let's say, two years, is what they're saying, because I see how well the Honda Civic Type R is selling. So you know, sales push them these people to say, hey, maybe we should make some more models of this. So we'll see. But they already are rumors are flying that they Honda is really happy about the sales numbers of the Civic Type Rs. So they're thinking about bringing two more models over, and those are two models that have been uh, spoken about. So again, if you have a Kier Stinger doing good and Honda says, well, then let's make a Type R Accord for America, then I don't, we're done. I'm buying that sucker. That You know that's my next car, guys. I'll be like, day one, here's a down payment. Call me when it comes in. That would be me, be me guys. 2018 Stinger, uh, and I would consider it really nice. Very nice. And it really is, Alex. And the, the problem is, I think the price point is which is going to hurt Kia. Kia needs to make a luxury line where like Hyundai, their parent company, Hyundai, has the Genesis line. They have got to do it. Like this, it, the same engine is in the, the G80 sedan. It's the exact same engine. So I know and I've driven that car. Those things are fast. So being a luxury car, you can get up and do zero to 60 in five seconds or less. That's, that's cool with me. What's the video for tomorrow? Aaron, it's probably going to be another comparison tire sun video because I didn't have any. It's rained last week. I haven't got any videos done, and I'm kind of worried about that. Best bang for your buck soap to use on the phone cannon. OxyClean was actually really good, buddy. I, I'm honestly shocked how well it did in the phone cannon. It's very good in the two-bucket method. It uses a crap ton of soap, but it comes in a 100-gallon bucket thing. A one, or, I'm sorry, 100-ounce bucket thingy. So, dude, it's amazing. Great stuff. 
Um, and it's like six dollars and change. If you're only using four ounces every time using the foam can, well, think how many times can you use that? And you may, it might be four ounces per gallon of water, but pff, it's a hundred ounces. Again, who cares? Great stuff. What's up, Pi Ryu? Uh, type R Honda Fit. Now, that's honestly what they're saying, movie fan. They actually uh, uh, brought up that as a possibility, as rumors. Uh, and you know how rumors usually start, and then they finally happen. It was rumors for years. They were bringing the Civic Type R over to America, and obviously they just did. They did, what, two year, what a year ago? And they, you can't even keep them in the dealerships. Now things are starting to cool down now, but you got to think if they can bring a, a Honda Fit Type R, let's say 210, 220 horsepower, and a little Honda Fit, okay, and they sell it for, let's say, uh, twenty-five dollars or $24,000. That'll be an amazing hot hatch. And they could sell it worldwide, too, because the Honda Fit is sold worldwide. I think they call it the Honda Jazz overseas. But still, 220 horsepower and a little hot hatch, that'd be a fast little sucker right there. It won't be as fast as the Type R, but at 220 horsepower, that's still a huge difference between that and the Civic Type R. Lord, that's why I'm saying that core type R would have to have like 370, 360 in order to be far, farther enough away from the civic type R to make it worth it. Uh, Aaron, I think Chad's video is tomorrow. The weather, dude, the weather is kicking my ass right now, man. It's so hard. Your tire shine is probably clean. Oh, it wore off, Johnny, in the first day, brother. The first day I have pictures of it, and I'll, I'll put it up on my Instagram. One day, the, the it was done. Done. <sighs> Oh, dude, it was so bad, Matthew. You should have seen it. It was just like the, the little, little nozzle was like, Ooh. look, it literally was pathetic. And then it would just completely clog up, and it wouldn't even spray anymore. So then I had to clean it off, dunk it in some water, and it would spray again. And then i go to the next wheel, i go, Ooh. and then it would stop and then bog down again. And I'm like, what the crap, man? If you're going to sell this garbage, don't. Just don't sell it. You know what I mean? New PS4. Yeah, GTTLR. I had to buy one. Uh, if you guys, if you know, uh, our house got hit by lightning earlier this week. It blew one of the main search protectors out there. It saved almost everything, but I went to turn on my PS4 yesterday. It wouldn't turn on. It's gone. It was toast. So I tried it in a couple of different ones, and I was like, it's done. So I figured in order for me to play, I mean, I brought my Xbox one upstairs here, and I was playing last night. I was like, you know, having a lot of fun on Twitch, streaming and beating kids down. But um, just the fact is that I was like, well, if I'm going to get a new PS4, I might as well get the PS4 Pro, obviously. I have a, This is a 4K monitor. The, what I'm, I'm talking to you guys right now is on a 4K monitor, a gaming monitor. So I can always go connect it to here and go from there. It's really no big deal. So I figured, why not upgrade? What's your personal favorite tire dressing? Ooh, that's hard because I like a lot of them. Like the Griot's Garage tire dressing in the can is amazing. Uh, I, if I would say it's a gel, it could be either Griot's Garage or McGuire's Endurance gel. I like Meguiar's NXT in a spray can or Dub Tire Shine spray can, if you can even find that. Um, for the creams that last the longest, um, the milky white cream stuff that you put on a uh, applicator pad, that is usually Chemical Guys VRP, Masterson's Trim and Tire Shine, as well as uh, Adam's Tire Shine. Those last about two to three weeks. Solid, solid pickup there with those. Um, why is that should be getting... I think people just want to act like they have more room and they're higher on the road. Like they can go off the road and like do something, even though 90% of even 90% of Jeeps that are bought today aren't even driven off road. Seriously. They're, they're trail capable. And yet the biggest trail they're ever going to see is parking in the parking lot at the mall. Seriously. Uh, I don't know. And you obviously you guys know that Ford is bringing the Bronco back, which is cool. I, I, I thought the Bronco was always pretty cool. And, but you can see the trend is nothing towards SUVs. SUV, SUV, SUV. Uh, I think Hyundai is making a or Hyundai is making a bigger SUV now. They said, uh, obviously Genesis, their Genesis luxury brand is making two SUVs. They're gonna have a mid-size SUV plus a full-size one. Lincoln just brought the Aviator back. I mean, everybody, it's all SUVs now. I personally, I don't need one, so I won't be buying one and in a couple of years. But in a couple of years, I say about two years, I'll probably buy a four-door sedan. I'm just torn. Do I want a sporty, sporty car like more of like a Civic Type R for some fun? Or do I want a, like a more luxury line car? I don't know. We'll see what happens when we get there. Um, will you try Voodoo Wheel Cleaner? I have already tried it before. That might be a video coming out this week. I have it recorded. I just haven't edited the video. It was not that good. It was not that good. Any aftermarket parts on your uh, Hondas? Um, no. The Honda Prelude only has uh, aftermarket stereo in it. The white Prelude is completely stock. 100% stock. 
Uh, Angel Wax Elixir type. I've never tried Angel Wax at all, Rick. Rick, I've never tried it, buddy. Uh, holy crap, lightning hit your house. Uh, yeah, dude, uh, the, the house across the street. So it's either us or them. The house across the street, their whole power box literally blew off the side of the house. It was nuts, man. It was literally laying on the ground. So I don't know if it was our house or their house got hit. We uh, we have a couple, you know, with typical like barrel tile uh, uh, roof shingles up there. And uh, like three of them fell off the house and they were over there. So I don't know if that took the direct hit or what happened. But, dude, it was bad. I figured the palm trees is what took the hit because the palm trees are way taller than our house. And they'd be like a lightning rod. But I don't know, man. I didn't see any black or anything on the, the, uh, the palm trees at all. 100% soap. The problem is I'm worried about that GTTL. I don't want to bog it down. I, mean, I don't want to have too much soap in it that it might possibly bog it down. Killy Sedan Sales. Yep, for sure. You're right about that, Aaron. Uh, BMW M4. I don't see BMWs as a car that I've ever been interested in, Johnny. I see them as really overpriced cars for what they are. I've been to Germany seven times. And you go to Germany and BMWs and Mercedes are literally a dime a dozen. They are absolutely everywhere. You got to, just got to understand that taxi cabs use Mercedes. And uh, so they've never been that big for me. I've never really thought of it like, Oh my God, I want a Mercedes. I got to all look cool in a Mercedes or a BMW. It just never done it for me. Um, so I probably wouldn't also repairs are very expensive on those. And they, their resale value is horrible on German cars. Terrible. Kia Optima too boring. I'd rather have a Hyundai Sonata. Uh, here is Greer's garage. Well, I used one of their original ones, and it really wasn't that good. I haven't used their new stuff yet, though. How would you rate Grizz Tire Gel against Sonex Tire Gel? Very close. Very close in comparison on that one. Leather conditioner you use now. Right now, I have uh, Masterson's leather conditioner in my GTR. I've also used the uh, – I have Stonar Car Care leather conditioner and cleaner in my wife's minivan. Uh, how much is a Masterson's microfiber towel uh, so that it's 9 or $10? Now, I did pick up the chemical guys one to test, um, but I haven't uh, tried it yet, though. So I can't recommend that to you yet. But the Masterson's ones actually did really good. Uh, solid product. I want to say it's right around $12. But he has the code Accord79, and it saves you like 15 or 20%. So it's a good way to make it the same price as chemical guys. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, Matthew. I, I like to pick on some of these people. I see a lot of these comments sometimes, Matthew, about people, uh, oh, my God, what are you doing? You know, that kind of stuff. I just laugh so hard when I see that stuff because I'm like, it's not going to hurt it. Do, do you ever have you ever touched your car? Oh, my God. You know, it's not going to hurt it at all. So I think it's pretty funny when people are when people mention it like, oh, my God, you're hurting your car by touching it. I'm like, what? And like there's nothing on my hand that's going to uh, cause it to have any swirls or scratches on my car's paint especially when all i'm doing is for the most part is just touching the suds on the car just to show you how thick it really was uh have you ever used mcguire's ultimate interior detailer i think i have rob you might want to search my past videos but i'm pretty sure i have um but it's been a while i will tell you that buddy for sure movie i'll let you know for sure i did pick it up when i picked up that big purchase of the microfiber towels the box is still over here shit you not guys the box is still here, but the fact is that I can't – I'm not going to use them for anything other than waxing. I mean the polishing and then obviously going from there. So I will not be using for anything else, just letting you know. Your go-to wax. Um, honestly, I've kind of gotten away from waxes to be fair with you, Ricky. I've gotten into sealants. I like sealants a lot more, and obviously now I'm, I bought the ceramic coating. Ceramic coating costs a lot more money though. A lot more work. But sealant is honestly the way to go. Yeah, you don't have it doesn't hurt your shoulder taking it off. It literally is like wiping it off like this. I'm serious. I could we could talk like this and I'd be like it wiping it off. It's just so much easier to apply. It's so much easier to remove. And it lasts about 10 to 12 months. Uh, depending if you're like my my wife's minivan was out in the sun every day of the year. And it had Masterson Shield sealant on it. Okay. Uh, that lasted about solid 10 months before it really started fading off. 10 months of protection. For a $30 bottle and only use this much of the product and I only have to do it once every 10 months or maybe every year if it's in the if it's in the garage that to me is a winner all day long over wax winner all day long that's why I like sealants now so much perfect compound and the dia polisher works great uh you restore headlights yeah that's that's one way honestly if you want like an all-in-one kit I found the Meguiar's is usually the best 
I personally have the Meguiar's Heavy Duty, and I love the stuff. It comes with everything you need, the grit sandpaper, everything you need, the sealant, hold on yards. It made the headlights perfectly clear. Highly recommended product. Team Meguiar's Car Soap. Every, it, it's not at Sam's Club. I haven't seen it. It's only at Costco. It's a Costco exclusive, Johnny, and I don't have a Costco card. Everybody asks me about it. If anybody has a Costco card and can go buy it for me and ship it to my PO box, I'll be glad to try it out. But I don't have a Costco card and I don't want to go buy a Costco card just for one product. You know what I mean? I have a Sam's Club card and that's it. Waxes and sealants. Uh, uh, waxes sometimes can be carnivore waste based, more of a natural, where sealant is completely synthetic made. It's made to last a long time. And it's so it's it's completely made in a factory. And, uh, you know, just like, whoa, what's going to work? What's going to work? And they figured out the great thing was, you know, a wax is going to have like a true carnival wax, waste based waxes and stuff like that. And that's not going to last near as long. Have you ever thought about doing interior detail video? Um, maybe, but I mean, most of that's, I don't really have any more interior detailing products right now. Great channel. I love the wax and the product show. Thank you so much, Jordan. I appreciate you stopping by for a few minutes of your time. I really appreciate that. Uh, favorite uh, retail uh, sealants that I've used personally that I've had amazing luck with would either be Chemical Guys Jet Seal, obviously Masterson's Shield Sealant, or Stoner Car Care Sealant. All three of those you can rely on a good 10 to 12 months and you won't have any problem at all. They're about $30 a pop for the bottles, but let me tell you, when you only use about that much of it and the bottle's this tall, you can use many cars on it and it lasts you a long time. So much easier, too. When you guys know the wax, when you're waxing it on, like let's say original turtle wax hard shell, you're like, get off the paint, you know, that kind of thing. With a sealant, it's literally just like, all right, I'm done. Let's go to the next section. I mean, it's just, it's a different world when you don't have to try to actually buff it off. It's so nice. Uh, I've never ever considered buying any of the car things there. <laughs> uh, I just picked up Chemical Guys Quick Leather uh, Cleaner. It should work decent for you there, Jordan. How long do synthetic waxes last? About four to five months is a solid day. Um, sometimes six months, depending on if you uh, keep them uh, up. Maybe you want to put on some spray waxes once in a while on to help boost it a little bit. But you can usually last four to five months as a solid number without having to stretch it too much and lie to you guys. One thing I don't like to do is I don't like to lie to you guys. I don't want to BS you and say that it's going to be a miracle when it's not. Uh, I'll just give you the I'll give you the results I have had, and then I just pass it on to you guys and let you go from there. Just checked out your Black Ops scores, legend. Yes, I know. It's, it's been a while, but I'm still – this old man can still get it going, you know. I didn't need the Viagra yesterday. I still tore it up like a day. You know, it's just the way it goes. Dude, I played Call of Duty for years, guys. I can literally – I have – I quite literally have Call of Duty, the original PC boxes, when they used to come in boxes for Call of Duty 1 and 2. I still have those. I play Call of Duty 1, Call of Duty 2, Call of Duty 4. That's when I started going over to Xbox, play more Xbox a little bit with my friends from my real life friends. Uh, and then I played, uh, obviously, Modern Warfare 2. I played the living shit out of that game. The shit out of that game. I think I have like 36 or 40 something days played on Modern Warfare 2. I, I ran it back then, not to my own horn, but I ran into a lot of pro MLG players and I would just wipe the floor with them. Now, and these are public matches, obviously. So these weren't real, but these were uh, these were the known real life guys. And uh, we have video footage of it, and then it, we just destroy them. And I just literally wax the floor with them. But uh, I wasn't that rich kid that, you know, got his mommy and daddy paid for him to travel around the world and play. I just played way too much, and I got good at a game. So, yeah, I still love video games. I hope my son likes video games. So, yeah, we'll, we'll be that parent, though. If he's really good at it, we'll go travel to those things, competitions for him. I'll definitely uh, promote it for him. If he really likes it, more power to him. He could be one of those future kids that makes money playing video games, you know, and I, I don't have any issues with that at all. Uh, if you were only use some brand company, uh, what company would you use for the rest of your life? <sighs> Online company, probably be somewhere like a wax gauze and limitless car care, uh, over the counter retail, probably like a Maguire's or mother's, uh, I live in BC though. It would be good. Oh yeah. British Columbia to there. Yeah. That would probably be expensive. I've been there before. I've been there twice now. I've been to, I've flown up to Vancouver to go to uh, a cruise to Alaska, and then we flew to Seattle one time, went up to a cruise to Alaska, and then we came back. It stopped in Victoria. Uh, so, yeah, I've been up to BC twice now. Uh, it's up to McGuire's Fast Finish. It's great, man. It's great, Matthew. You will not go wrong with it. It's a great spray sealant. Excellent, excellent product. A little bit expensive. It's like $11 or $14 a can, 
But dude, it's so easy to use. I'm like, God, it's so fast. Which is Sam's Club and Costco detailing products? Well, yeah, um, maybe. It's something you could probably ask for. But again, I would recommend just going to like AutoGeek. Buy everything from AutoGeek when they have like 25% off and buy a crap load of stuff then. Or buy your uh, polishing tools, like your DA polishers stuff when it's 25% off. Really save a lot of money. That's over 100 bucks on some of those. Ooh. Rain today and there's uh, no ice left in my car, so I haven't washed it yet. I've been only busy uh, doing yard work in spring. Definitely, Matthew, go pick up some of that uh, stuff. You will really have a good time with that uh, McGuire Ultimate uh, finish. Jared, uh, have you heard about Adam's ceramic paste wax? Yeah, that's way too much, buddy. Just the way I see it, just go get yourself a true ceramic coating, like a Car Pro or C Quartz or whatever. Just get one of those that are reliable. You know they work, and they're going to last for a year or two all day long. That's the way to go. I don't know about ceramic wax. It's like just, just, just do the right thing. Polish it, compound it, get all the swirls out you possibly can, and then slap it down there with the stuff. That's all you really need. Today was the first day that we had, had sunlight since Sunday last week. It's the monsoon. Oh, geez, Johnny, I wish, man. I wish you. I haven't seen the sun in days. Days. I feel like I'm living up north with you guys. It gets snow all the time. I don't even know what the sun looks like anymore. What wax did you find yourself using the most? Uh, back in the day, it was probably more like the, either the Meguiar's Gold Class Turtle wax, ice wax, or the Meguiar's Ultimate Sealant, I, or the Ultimate Paste wax. I use those probably the most. Is the vast finish the same as Ultimate wax? Um, it's more of a sealant, Aaron. More of a sealant. Uh, Costco has a great deal on a chemical guy's bucket with Diablo cleaner, foam soap. Yeah, see, I've heard about that a lot, Jordan, but then again, I don't have a Costco card, and it would just be, to me, it would be uh, a waste to buy it, spend that kind of money for it, because I think. I, I, I'm under my mother's a card though, but even though I just re-upped it for her for this year, and I think it was like another $50. But again, we use the, we go to Sam's club at once a month. Um, that's what we normally do. Um, usually it's the quality of the product, Aaron. I have pinnacle sovereign, which is a pure white carnauba wax. It's not like, okay. Maguire's gold class. He'll have a little bit of polishers, a lot of, bit of polishing agents in it. It's not a pure carnauba based wax where like the pinnacle sovereign is literally white car pure carnauba there's no additives in it it's nothing it is the best you can get and that's why it's so damn expensive like a big jar is 200 dollars. with a small jar that i get is like 59 dollars. i think it's about four or five cars done but damn it smells great it lasts a very long time well not a long time but it just the looks it gives you lasts a long time god when you do it it's just it's some of the best look i've ever had from a carnauba wax but you get what you pay for uh, have you checked out the instructions for that yet? Uh, how long do you think it's going to prep? Okay. Prepping the car takes longer than applying it. Prepping it is about getting the polishes and compound to get the swirls out. That's going to take me the longest. Probably I, I, I bank a couple hours to get all that stuff done uh, and then go from there. Uh, just for other people to know, I know you already have a all. Yeah, no, 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 no. Jordan, you're more than welcome to share share everything you need, buddy. Go for it. I don't have a problem with it. I know you're not. I know you're not owning. I know you're not owning Costco, so you're not trying to sell your stuff. Because I have a bucket of deal as well. This is the McGuire's on shelves too. See, I've never been to Costco, so I don't know. Uh, the only Costco I know of is all the way up there in Orlando near my job. So I just we never go over that side of town. It's up there near the dealerships, going that way. It's like it's near Honda, Toyota, and stuff back there. Uh, if I buy limitless leather, should I buy the gallon size? Whatever you want, buddy, you're never going to have a bad issue with it. I've had countless people tell me that they have tried Limitless now after I bought it, um, and they are blown away at the quality of it. Um, you probably get about four or five washes out of the typical regular uh, bottle, like about this size, a 16-ounce bottle. Um, so you can try that for you, and then if you want, you can buy the gallon bucket. But either way, you're not going to lose. It's just that good. Is Zyno still available in stores? Um, I haven't seen any in a long time. I think I saw it at an auto parts store the other day, but I can't remember what store I was at. Stoner Car Care, yes. Stoner Car Care sealant is amazing. I had it on my white car. Uh, their Tarminator gets rid of tar and bugs is amazing. Uh, their glass cleaner, invisible glass, is stellar out of this world. Uh, leather cleaner did great on my wife's minivan. Uh, what else have I used to their stuff already? And I've actually tried out. Their tire shine is very nice. It's a medium shine. But it's, it's, so it'll give you a nice medium shine. It's good quality. 
Uh, the wheel cleaner is okay. It could be a little more aggressive. The, the car wash is a little bit watered down, but they just sent me a new test bottle. And that's the cool thing. These companies that say, okay, we hear you don't like it. I'm going to ship you a small container. It'll be like this. It's just a small container of, of our new of a new product, like a car wash or something. And I want you to try it now. And uh, let, let us know if we need to change anything. I love companies like that that are that want to take what the customers are suggesting and then put out a couple tester products out there and see, hey, is, would you like this better? Do we need to tweak it some more? I love that stuff, and I think it's great. Um, would you do Chemical Guys or Adams Bucket? I would probably buy Adams over Chemical Guys. Are you planning to use the Wax Scotts Polymer? I want to for sure, buddy. I just need a car to try it out on. I got the gallon size of Limitless and was very solid. There you go, Dr. Sudsy. Uh, there is again, I like to hear when other people have used the same products I've tested at, later on and then give me the results in the comments below. I love hearing that. And for Dr. Sudsy now bought the Limitless Lather and he got to tell you it's a solid product. Well, there you go. It's not just coming from me. And that's what I like to see. I like to have other people either tell me I'm lying, which I don't really ever get. You'll have your couple of haters once in a while. It's typical YouTube life, or they'll have the ones that'll say, yeah, I 100% agree. This stuff is amazing. One way or another, it's nice to hear. Yes, it all sells at Pep Boys. Uh, used to use McGuire's Wax and Shield. Uh, Master's Wax just worked out great. Good to hear, Victor. Great to hear. Um, that stuff should last you about 10 solid months before it'll start fading off. Now, if, it was in, if you keep your vehicle in your garage, it might even last you 12 months or longer. That's what I've learned from sealants. Um, I like them both. Uh, Masterson's Masterson soap is okay. It's a solid B soap. I wish it was a little thicker and a little bit richer. Um, I wish his wheel clean gel was a little bit more, but I don't have a problem with his wheel clean gel at all. It's just that maybe my personal thing is a little bit different, but the cool thing about the gel is it comes in a concentrate. So you just dilute it down to whatever uh, you want. So I might have had it at too low of a setting where if I would just add a little bit more product and then add less water into it, you know, the ratio, then it would probably might be more to my standards. But yeah, other than that, I love his detail spray. I love his carnival wax. I love his uh, glass cleaner. Glass cleaner has hydrophobic technology in it to help uh, repel water. I love his waterless wash. His uh, detail spray is amazing. Uh, yeah, it, he has a really good all around just one or two of the products I'd like to see him uh, just tweak a little bit personally. Uh, fastest you've gone in the GTR, about 140 miles an hour. Uh, how's it going, Ryan? What are you doing, buddy? What's your opinion on the Meguiar's Ultimate Liquid Wax? Solid product, solid product. It lasts you about four to five months, maybe six months, depending on if it's in the garage or not. Solid product, though, all around. Uh, it's synthetic wax. Uh, do you know uh, Matt Moran, a.k.a. The Obsessed Garage? He's a YouTuber. I, I know him. I think he was Subaru WRX fan at one time. I don't I don't know. I don't like – I think that's the guy who changed it. To me, it's like I don't care if you don't own a Subaru anymore. Don't change your name because everybody knows you from, Hi, it's Subaru WRX fan. You know how he talks. That's his purposely thing. Hi, this is Subaru WRX fan. He was so fast when he talked. But every time it was just so funny because that is him. And for years you had leave the title of Super WRX fan and now you change your name to your real name. It's just not as catchy. Super WRX fan is really, really catchy. And that's what really, you know, you're like, boom, I know who you are then. And I think that's what uh, he does. But I've only watched a couple of his reviews when I was interested in a couple of cars, but that's all I did it for. Again, I don't subscribe to channels unless I watch a lot of their car, a lot of their videos. I don't waste my time. I don't want my subscription box completely swamped full of uh, sub boxes of things I'm not interested in. I just want stuff that I'm interested in right here, right now. Got to get to work 6 a.m. Take it easy. Brian, thanks so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it, man. What do you use to de uh, detect cops? Uh, I use the Waze app on my phone. It's an app, app application. And uh, hold on a second. Um trying to like scroll through. I've got so many messages, guys, so I apologize. Um, so I use the Waze app, W-A-Z-E. It's free. It doesn't cost a dime, so it's a little navigation app, and people can report police. <laughs> they can report if there's accidents there, if there's heavy traffic, if there's objects in the road, whatever. It doesn't cost a dime. So other people are, that have already gone ahead of you have already gone by there and see there's no cops, and they, they don't report cops. Or if they've gone ahead and they see a state trooper parked in the middle of the highway, 
they hit that report button. So now you know when you're coming up on it, oh, there's a police ahead. I better slow down. I also use radar detectors. I have three different high-end detectors, but the number one radar detector I recommend right now is the Uniden R3. It's $399. It has red light camera things in its database. It has speed camera things in its database. It will automatically warn you. It will tell you how fast you're going according to GPS. You can lock out the annoying buzzing ones like the uh, garage doors or let's just say like CVS Walgreens that keep setting it off. You would just hit the mute button twice. It automatically GPS locks it out. So it'll never warn you about that again in that area. It, it detects uh, radar signals farther than any detector right now on the market by almost double. Some of the some of the numbers that they've showed from these independent agencies testing them are mind blowing. Highly, highly, highly recommend it. But that's what I use to uh, worry about when the police. I always have my Waze app on whenever I'm driving and I always have my radar detectors in my car. Uh, that's not the same guy. Okay, sorry. Um, I thought it was. It's going to get to uh, just get to work and rain over here and Texas power went out back on. Whoa. Ugh. Would you consider doing publishing and accompanying tutorials? Uh, Austin, I have a, a video about how I polish if you want to look it up. Again, I'm not a professional on it. I So my, my technique might not be a uh, pro-level technique, but it will give you a good idea of what you need to do. Feel free to search my videos. You can see them there. Um, if you have one, any good suggestions, your ammo guy who has a good – I like Mike Phillips from Auto Geek. He will give you – they give a lot of high-end uh, – uh, how to's on how to use it, but they use a lot of their own products and that's the thing. So learn the techniques from these guys, as I always say, then take them and go buy your McGuire's or whatever, and then do the techniques that they taught you to do and save your money. Do it that way. Joe consider he is rich and has a Porsche two Ford wrapped two Ford captors, man, they, they capture people and hot SD thousand reviews products in his detailer. Again, I, I don't know, buddy. I just don't know. A lot of big YouTubers, once you get big, you can make a lot of money. Um, guys, those big YouTubers are buying houses and high-end cars. So think about it. Let's say my channel was 100,000 subscribers and I was getting a crap load of views. I could probably go and buy uh, a couple of cars. What I, you know, by then you're making, you know, three, four, five thousand, six thousand dollars a month off of YouTube income. It's like, okay, that's a lot of money. Well, if you still have a regular job, well, now that's all play money. So what do you do? Maybe half of it you put into a retirement account so you get to save your money. The other half, maybe you buy cars with. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff. And so I would definitely, uh, I'd be all about that too. I'd be doing the same thing. I'd probably buy Toyota Supras. I'd probably buy um, Mazda uh, FDs from the RX-7. I'd probably buy Acura NSX. I would buy R32 GTRs. Uh, man, I'd be going crazy with 90s JDM cars. I would be, that would be me, guys. Uh, Matt Moran is the blandest dude. <laughs> So some some of these guys are, are fun to watch. Some of them are boring. Some are they'll give you all the technical things, and that's great. Uh, there's that engineering explained. He's really technical, I guess. I don't watch it. I've watched a couple of his videos, but he's he's into the high end technical side of the cars. It's a good way. Everybody has their own personalities, and some people like it, some people don't. I some of those giant YouTubers with millions of subscribers, they're very annoying to me. I can't watch them. I guess their average fan base is 10 years old. And they are beyond annoying. Uh, I, I, I can't even watch 30 seconds of some of these guys. So it, it all depends. Everything, there's there's chicken out there for everybody. That's the way I see it. Hi, I just joined, Nikki. Hello, how are you? Um, still running a little Valentine detector, and it's uh, too chatty for me. Sometimes I'd love to still. K-band just gets annoying. Uh, you turn your K-band off, Dr. Sudsy. I have a Valentine 1 in my GTR. Turn the K-band off. At least where I live, they don't use K band. They only use KA band. And then some state troopers now are, are using laser. And some smaller towns are using laser. But for that, you'd have to have laser jammers. Um, that's a whole other topic right there because a radar detector is only going to detect that you're getting hit by laser, but it's not going to uh, warn you because a laser is instant. So they instantly know how fast you are. Um, so you'd have to have laser jammers. So, you know, pull out the ranch food. I don't think I have any. Do you? Do, do I need to go downstairs and check and see if we have any ranch stuff? If I will, I'll do it for you. Guys, give me two minutes. We'll, we'll go pull out the ranch food. Let's see what I have, okay? When's that Accord 79 detailing product life? Oh, man. I don't know. I probably I wouldn't call it Accord 79 stuff. All right, guys. Mr. Man, enjoy the PlayStation 4 and all of its white glory, and I'll be right back. Because obviously, from what they tell me, only white people eat ranch. I don't know. Hold on. Hold on, guys. We'll take ourselves a two minute break, come back, and we'll talk about this. 
My wife's probably like, why won't you talk? Answer the phone. You're probably cheating on me right now. <laughs> Oh, ranch! Ranch for Cody! Cody, we're bringing a ranch to you, buddy. We're bringing a ranch. Cody. Cody. See what we do, Cody? Cody knew. Cody knew I was going to have ranch somewhere in that house. And I was doing it. I went shopping at Walmart. Ranch Pringles and Ranch Fritos. You know it, Cody. You knew, you knew Cody. You knew I was going to have it. What's up, Daily? Ranch! Ranch! Sorry. We, Cody called me out and said, where's the ranch? So I went and bought, got some ranch. So I don't know what I'm going to have. I kind of am feeling Fritos today. Because I had I had some uh, of these earlier in the week. So I kind of like want to go somewhere else. All right. Uh, you get a ranch and Coke. Better bring something good. Of course I do, Josh. White people love ranch. See? See how white people aren't offended by that? But don't you say something about anything else. Everybody else will get offended. Just It's just a thing. Have a good one. See you next time, Ryan. Thanks so much for stopping by. Breakfast Fort Lunch. What's up? How you doing, buddy? Movie fan, I don't use ranch on anything. Well, movie fan, you must not be white then, apparently. That's what Cody says. Uh, white people love mayo. Yes, yes. I like Miracle Whip personally, but mayo is very good. Nikki, just us chat. Uh, what ranch do you uh, think he's getting? I already got it, buddy. Uh, you good, bro? I'm very good. Um, his house, his house big at fuck if it takes two minutes to get to the thing. Uh, actually, I went to the other side of the house, grabbed stuff. Then I went to, to we have a, a small, a small refrigerator by the pool. <laughs> I grabbed a Coke out of there. And then I uh, went to the uh, pantry to grab the actual stuff out of here. So my house isn't that big. It's 3,600 square foot. I don't know. I guess that's, I guess that's a bigger house than the average Joe, I guess. But after seeing some of the houses we looked at recently when we were looking to get out of Kissimmee and some of the houses on the other side of the neighborhood, this is a small house. Um, well, what's up, Daily uh, Ranch? Where is the Coca-Cola at? Coca-Cola is right here. I'm going to be the leader of today's ex expedition. I'm going to be the leader. Uh, I was hoping I was hoping we are going to get the MVP, but I didn't get the MVP award today. I only got the leader, so... Uh, guys, I'm going to be your leader for tonight, and uh, I do apologize about that. See, Joanna's laughing because Joanna is Hispanic. Joanna knows about us white boys. Us white boys in our ranch. <sighs> cool Ranch Doritos, best uh, thing. Oh, for sure. Kids' pool party got ruined. Um, well, dude, a pool party, I can imagine. I can only imagine right now with the rain. Literally, our pools are now our – so, yeah, let me describe our pool. We have a really big pool, okay? And then you have a hot tub that overflows into it. So the, the hot tub, it gets hot, and then it warms up the actual rest of the pool, right? And then it, the rest of the pool has an infinity wall. So it's an infinity pool. So it has a wall like this. and doesn't have like an edge like come, comes up here. It's just a wall. So when the water gets too high, it literally goes over and basically makes a waterfall down into a kiddie pool that's only two feet deep. It's really nuts, this house that we have. Um so, but that kiddie pool is already at the point of overflowing now. It's very close to overflowing because we've got so much rain and the sun's not drying it up. We're here two weeks ago. All we had was sun and the, the kiddie pool was down like this much water in it. But it's really cool. You turn on the uh, the pumps 
and it basically it uh, forces the water to go up and over the wall. It turns into a really nice waterfall. It's really cool, but uh, we rarely ever use it, so it's whatever. Uh, say something random. Shotgun and coke. No, I want shot. I gotta keep that. My wife's gonna think I should. Dude, I'm telling you right now, she already called. She's back on the way back from Jacksonville. So it'll be funny. She's like, "What'd you do this weekend? Who'd you see this weekend? Did you go anywhere?" I'm like, "Oh, I had all the girls over. You have no idea. It was just like it was just a huge party." And she, you know, she was like, "Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure." So you can't see the pool, Nikki, because then I'm on the the camera. Mm, so good, guys. Thank you so much, Cody, for reminding me. You live in Apollo Beach. That's where my 370Z came from. Actually, I lived in a really, really big home. I, 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 you know, I got all the papers from the original owner, and I, so of course I had to go on Google and I was like, oh, let's see where they live in Apollo Beach, and I'm like, holy shit, her house was over seven thousand square feet, seven thousand square feet. Let that sink in a few minutes. I think it was like six or seven bedroom, on the bay, the water, unbelievable. Mmm, so good. Mountain Dew is in the refrigerator. Right now I have Mountain Dew Baja Blast, as a matter of fact. Um, Coke's better. Spread is true percent. Um, I don't think she would know what it, what it was anyways. I actually asked her, as I was like, so what do you think about the JDM scent? She said, it just smells like a cleaner, a house cleaner. I'm like, really? I said, it doesn't smell like a house cleaner to me. She's like, yeah, it just smells like a house cleaner. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. What are we doing the rest of the evening, guys? It's already been two hours and now I got I'm getting, like all these comments. Now I did get a message. I got a donation. So I don't know if anybody donated, but I got a donation via PayPal. So sometimes people don't donate through here and they've donated on there. So if, if I did get one, I do apologize. I'll make sure to check on it a little bit later for you guys. I like the JDM sent too. I, I agree with you on that one. Hmm. Let me see my uh, thing real quick. Um, okay, I got a. I don't know who it's from. Uh, to her, T O U H E R. I don't know. It's a twelve dollar donation. Oh, hold on. Poo Panda here. Sorry to hear about the lighting. Uh, yep, Poo Panda donated again. So, uh, Poo, if you're still here, man, thank you so much. I really do appreciate that. So, Poo Panda donated twelve dollars last week. He donated ten dollars. Matthew donated what a dollar seventy five earlier. It's nuts all the stuff that I you know these donations I get. Some people donate through PayPal. Some day people donate through uh, YouTube itself. It's just crazy. And so I really want to say thank you so much, Pooh. If you see this later, thank you so much for donating. I really appreciate it. I like JDM better than Stripper Scent. What's the best smell you use? But I like fruit smells, like tropical smells. Um, I'm just a little fruity. It's okay. I just like the fruity smells. But that's personally what I like. What my nose likes. Like the woodsy smells and all that stuff, that's not me. I don't like that. I like the that fresh fruit smelling sweet smells. That's what I like. Yeah, Matthew. I got home from Leesburg. So I had to go an hour. I think it's an hour and five minutes to get to Leesburg, Florida, to get the PlayStation 4 in white because that was the closest store that had one in stock because I guess they they're, it was like a, a finite shipping of them. And then uh, I got back. I played like one or two games of uh, Black Ops, and I was like, you know what? Let's go ahead and have a live stream early tonight because I know, like I said, my wife's coming home right now. And once she gets home, then I'll be watching my son again because she'll be like, I'm tired. I got to be up at 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. That, that's her every day. So I'll be back to watching my son, and he'll be all over the place. And then maybe I can play some video games and I'll have to worry about streaming, being interrupted by my son or anybody else going around. So that's why I was like, let's start it up early, see if we can get anybody in here. Mm. Sorry, Cody. Yes. Yes, Cody. Yes. Can you see it? So it's squash scent. Squash scent. Later, Austin. Thanks for stopping by. Wish Turtle Wax would make a big bottle of the carmine. Ranger, I can talk to Jim about that. Jim is there. How do I, is it? He's a product development manager. Or he's some kind of, is or marketing manager, something like that. He's one of their big people up there. That's who I talk to. And, um, I could talk to him about that. But again, what I've suggested to him is 
sell things online that you can't sell. Maybe make them in smaller batches, but sell some stuff online that you might not get to sell out wide, outright. I also suggested him selling a bucket because everybody wants to know where I get my turtle wax bucket from. And turtle wax sent it to me for as a gift. And they sent me a bunch of products in it one year. And I said, a lot of people would like to do. I said, why don't you sell those like stoner car care is doing it. You could either just sell it online and then you could only, you could put it in stores for Christmas. You know what I mean? Let's say put in like four or five of your products, maybe six of them sell for 35, 40 bucks. Cause turtle wax is obviously a lot cheaper than stoner car care. And then, you know, just sell that in Walmart or sell it online. You know, like with shipping, like $45, it's turtle wax, that kind of thing. And uh, just sell it directly from your website. And then, you know, like you said, Cody, make a spray bottle version of it. They could sell there. They could sell this in a Walmart or wherever they want. But that's a good idea That's a, that you came up with. I'll be sure to pass that on to him next time I get an email out to him. Thanks for that uh, recommendation. Or I'm sorry, Ranger. My apologies, Ranger. Yes, Ricky. I'm a teamster. I, I even voted. I even voted. If you even know what I'm talking about, I did vote. Um, finals tomorrow, Nikki. Enjoy the night. What do you think of VO7 sealant? I've never tried their VO7 sealant, so I don't know. But um, if you want to spray on sealant, try that Meguiar's uh, Fast Finish. It's really, really, really good in spray on. It is really damn uh, good overall. About 10 it's about 11 to $14. Solid product. Hmm. Music. Anything from 80s music. I love 80s music. Um, some rap music. Um, some like uh, dance music slash like techno type thing. I like that kind of stuff. Some pop music. But like the last year or two, I felt like pop music has been just garbage. So I don't even listen to the pop station anymore. Uh, my Walmart has a turtle wax buckets. Oh, cool. See, our Walmart doesn't have them. So I don't know. Skyping. People Skype still? I thought Skyping is like dead, Cody. I, I never got into Skyping, so I, I don't know, but I'm just saying. I don't have a big enough butt, though, Cody. Sorry. Phil Collins? No, I'm not into Phil Collins at all. I like 80s fun music, not like the boring type music. <laughs> that stuff to me was always boring. I like that the 80s had such a a great feel to it, a great personality, let's just say, where it's upbeat. Everybody was having fun. It was a good time all across the board. 80s was a great time to be alive. I know a lot of people in here probably weren't even alive back then. It was the decade of decadence. Everybody had money. Everybody was spending money. Everything was over the top. Everything was so feel free and do what you want to do. It was a different type. Then the 90s hit. Economics changed. The world changed. It turned into more of a the grunge music and all everything changed and your hardcore rap started coming out. The fun days were over and that's the way it, everything really started to change. And now then you get to the end of the nineties and you really start getting into like the pop groups and stuff like that. It, everything has changed. It just, it's never been the same. It's never been the upbeat fun atmosphere anymore. Mm. I don't have any pets. No. Uh, favorite and least part favorite living in Florida. Um, it's always warm here for the most part. Not always. I've been through, I've seen snow in North Florida a couple times. It's usually warm here. No matter where you live, you're within a, within a couple hours of a major city. So you can go to all the theme parks anytime you want. Um, it's cheap to fly in and out of Orlando or all the major cities because there's things like Orlando is dirt cheap. I think we paid 180 something dollars a ticket round trip to uh newark new jersey for our cruise coming up here in a couple weeks um what else um like again it's always warm here so i don't have to worry about anything cruises we can take cruises out of here all the time things i don't really like about it i don't know the tourists get on my nerves after a while because they don't ever they don't know where the hell they're going or they don't know where to drive all the northerners want to keep moving here as fast as they possibly can and then they want to complain and bitch about how like New York and New Jersey is a thousand times better. And I'm like, then go back to New York, New Jersey. Nobody cares. Those are the kind of things that annoy you. But other than that, I, I really don't think, I mean, it'd be nice if we had like mountains or something like that, you know, to go skiing in. But obviously again, we're in Florida, so it wouldn't, it wouldn't be worth anything anyways, but I, I don't know. So other than that, it's not bad. No beer, no beer. 
Uh, do you go to the beach a lot? When I was a little kid, I did because my mom liked to go to the beach, but I don't really care that much about it. What are you eating, Aaron? We're eating white people, apparently. White people ranch Fritos. Is it humid there? Yes. Florida is very humid. Very humid in Florida. Florida. Uh, it's, it's, if you've never been to Florida and you're like from up north or you're from out west and it's like the desert area, you're going you're gonna to feel a world of pain when you get to Florida. It'll be 75 degrees and you'll be like, oh, it's only 75 in Florida. You get here and it feels like it's 90. And you'll be like, what? And you'll be sweating and everything. And humidity, it's the only way I can describe it. You'll be sweating and you don't you won't even be doing anything. And that's the humidity getting to you. I've been, I remember we went to Vegas, we went to California, and it's that dry heat. So even though it was like a hundred degrees, it didn't feel like it. For me, a hundred degrees, I'm dying because humidity is kicking up. I'm it sucks. A hundred degrees in Vegas or hundred degrees in California was like. Ah, this is nothing. This feels nice. It's it's a different world when you run into humidity. So yeah, you you would definitely know it. You see any alligators? Yeah, right behind my house. Right behind my house all the time. Uh, there's um, we live on a country club, and you know how you have the water traps and stuff. Well, they connected all the big man-made water traps to each other, and they connect out to the major uh, lake there. And uh, the major lake obviously has gators, so they like to swim through the big uh, tunnels that connect all the lakes, and uh, then they'll just beach themselves, and they'll just come and hang out. There's fish in those little lake back here, and they'll just sit out there and suntan themselves out there on the country club. So while you're playing golf, they just lay there, and they don't do anything. But, yeah, they only get to about five or six feet before they pull them, and then they take them out, and then uh, they call the uh, animal, animal uh, stuff, and they go from there. Mmm, the ranch, Cody. So good. Mm, it's hard to explain. What watch do you recommend? I've seen your videos from two years ago, but they're new ones. Over the counter, still going to be your gold, McGuire's Gold, Mother's, uh, Wash and Wax, Eagle One, Nano Wash and Wax, and Surf City Garage. Online, um, Masters, no, not Masters, I'm sorry. Limitless Car Care is the best, and Wax Scott is the best. If you're willing to buy online, by far the best. Are you excited for the cruise? Yeah, I'm ready for vacation again. It's been about three months since my last vacation cruise. And it's, so it's time for me to go on vacation again. You guys got to understand, I have five weeks vacation now built up every year. Plus, I have one week of option days. I've been with my company for July. will be 21 years. So I have a lot of vacation. Every five years, you get another week of vacation added to your thing. So I have five weeks vacation plus one week of option days. So... Like basically every two or three months, I go on vacation again. That's generally what I do. So yeah, I've never been to Bermuda before. I haven't been to New York City in probably 10 years. So we're going to take my son there. We're going to probably go to the Statue of Liberty, you know, do the basic stuff. Maybe go to the World Trade Tower, whatever they call it, the One World Center. I've been to the World Trade. I've been to the Twin Towers when I was like 11 years old in the early 90s. I went there. So I've been there. I've been to the Statue of Liberty. I've been to Towns, what is it, Times Square. I've been there. I've never been to the Empire State Building. But, you know, I've been to Ellis Island. I've done all that basic stuff, but I haven't been there in 20 years at least. Uh, well, I've, we've got to buy a house in Colorado first, Cody, and I don't think she's going to be in any hurry to buy anything right now. I got married in 1988, 30-year anniversary tomorrow, and you're still making it, man. You're one of the rare ones, Street, because most people don't last that long, buddy. It, me and my wife, uh, ever since my son's born, it just seems like we argue so much more. She just argues and argues and argues with me, and I'm like, oh, my God. Things definitely changed from once once we had my son. Big time. Big time. It costs a lot to keep the AC running all the time. Mm, we just replaced the AC on that side of the house earlier in the year. In January, we had to put a brand new AC unit in. The, the compressor finally blew out on it. Um, during the summer, and now I don't know about with the new AC because it's obviously much newer, so it'll, it'll draw less power. But last summer, when you'd hit like those 95, 100 degree days, our power bill with the pool included, because remember the pool motor's running. It would hit about $550 a month for an uh, electric bill. Um, have you ever had any regular Fritos with lemon juice? Or uh, No, no, that's definitely a Spanish thing, I guess. Uh, no. Uh, do you remember uh, Super Mario 3 with the sun trying to kill you? Yeah, I saw that meme a lot. Yeah, I, I have Super Mario 3. It's in a box in there. Do you play golf? I played high school golf, and I played uh, junior league golf when I was in uh, Pensacola, Florida, and then when I was in Jacksonville, Florida, when I was on the high school team. That's why I decided I'd live on a country club when I got older. I'd do whatever it took, and now we live on a country club. Uh, you sure travel a lot. Maybe uh, is your wife – what? 
you sure travel a lot. Maybe is your wife job. That's not English, Aaron. You need to speak English. Uh, damn, five hundred fifty dollars a month. Yeah, it's it's not cheap, brother. It's not cheap at all. Do you like buffalo wings? Yeah, I like wings. I like to put like honey, the honey stuff on it. I like like a lemon pepper on there. I like sweet barbecue sauce on there. Sweet barbecue. I like a lot of that stuff on there. Thanks for answering my questions. I am a detailing. Thanks, man. I mean, the good thing is you got guys like yourself that literally do this on a daily basis every single day. So you know what works really good for you, and you have your own recommendations, which is always awesome to hear as well. And uh, so you get because you get to be in it every day. I only get to do my cars, and once in a while I get to do somebody else's cars for fun because I still have to work my main job Monday through Friday. Oh, what up, Daniel? You're back, man. Just got a new pressure wash, 3100 PSI. Can you uh, – what device can you use to reduce the pressure of – more of a rinse. Um, did, did yours come with the different nozzles? Mine has like a red nozzle, a black nozzle, a white nozzle, and a green nozzle. They're usually uniform. I use the white nozzle. The white nozzle, and you keep it away from the car about, I don't know, like two feet away. It, it won't hurt your car's paint at all. Don't put it up on the paint, but that white nozzle will be fine. Even the black nozzle. The black nozzle is meant to be just for like car wash. That will have no pressure to it at all. It just kind of sprays it out everywhere. So that's one way. But mine came with it. So right above the top where you start it, there's those little, those little, they have the little holes that hold them all, and that's where they sit. So either use the black or the white one. Um, finals is cancer. Okay. So your wife likes to play fights with you. Tell her she doesn't stop in the home. Yeah, I need a house to come home to, Dalton. That's the only problem. Uh, most of my electric bill in the summer is $200 a month, and I think it's high. Yeah, you try, try living in Florida, man. Is it hot in Florida? Have you been to Texas? Yes, I've been to Texas before. I went to Austin, Texas. I was there for three days. I've been through Houston. I drove my blue car. My blue prelude went all the way from Florida all the way out there before. So, yes, I've been out there before. Um, when I was out there in Austin, Austin is more of a desert-type climate, like a, a high desert climate. It's different. You know, you have the tumbleweed-type things and stuff. And you have your trees, but it's not like Florida where it's like a tropical thing. So I don't remember it being as hot there. It was hot, but it wasn't as hot. I didn't feel like it was as hot as here. That's the way I can say it. Like, where you get into the, like, desert Californias and Nevada and stuff, that was definitely dry. Uh, dirty moolah. <laughs> have you ever, have you guys ever washed your money before? I've accidentally washed my wallet before, and then you find, like, 10 or 15 $20, like, you know, in the actual thing. You're like, oops. And I found that I've had that happen to me many times, and it doesn't do anything to it. It's pretty funny. You made me go bankrupt trying to buy so many products. I'm so sorry about that, Angelina. My apologies. We're going to have to get you a... Um, a uh, bigger bank account then. Uh, you should see if you can come ride on a UPS plane. Uh, you can't ride with anybody anymore in the company of flights. Uh, they banned all those after 9-11. 9-11 really they cracked down on a lot of security. I mean, a shit load of security came down after 9-11. As you guys know, in the airports, it became ridiculous. Um, uh, the same thing happened with the shipping industry. Everything, it changed. The shipping rules changed instantly. Uh, way more rules were put into place. Nobody's allowed into the uh, air load area anymore. It has to be like uh, chained off or have like some kind of divider in between you and the people that are getting in there where they load those big igloos that go in the plane. Nobody's allowed in them at all unless you have like a, a certified. You also you have to go through a, a government background check in order to even get that badge to go over there. It's nuts how crazy it's changed since 9-11 in the shipping industry. I mean, the fact that before anybody could go in there and load the boxes in there to now you, it has to be, they have it completely like walled off. There's literally like, um, what do you want to call it? It's not chains, but it's, um, you know, dividers where you can't go back there and uh, you're supposed to challenge anybody that you don't see their uh, badge ID. Their badge ID has to be showing it, showing at all times. And they would do random checks. They'd come in the building and do random checks and see, hey, where's your badge? That kind of thing. Or And they would literally try and get up in there, and you're supposed to tell them, hey, where's your badge? And if they didn't have it, you say, you say, uh, go, uh, you gotta go, you got to get out of here, and you have to go uh, uh, alert a supervisor or a person of management. That's the way that you are taught to do it because of 9-11. It's just gotten crazy. What I'm trying to say is you get to trip. I traveled a lot, Aaron, before I was ever married. The first time I went to Europe, I was 19 years old. I literally went every single year for the next seven years. Every single year I'd fly to Germany and then I'd go from Germany and I'd go somewhere else around Europe. Okay. And this was way before I got married, way before I got married. So that's way. No, I'm not German. 
Uh, my uh, let's see, my grandma's family is German, but I was adopted, so they told me I was Scotch Irish descent. So I don't know. Uh, so no, but I do know some German, but very little. I've been to Germany, but it hasn't been been many many years since I've been back there, and it sucks. They keep asking me when I'm going to come back, bring my son over, and I'm just worried about my son not being able to uh, handle that long of a flight because it's like twelve hour flight to Germany. Uh, brown brown packages the things i would recommend that i've tried from my business wash wise chemical guys uh wash wax super thick wash come on instant wax pretty good i came with yellow nozzle or however you spelled it dalton you can buy go to walmart near the pressure washers they actually have the different color nozzles there it's universal literally like red is the toughest and then it goes down to i think it's uh is it green? And then it goes to white and then it goes to black. So you just go buy it and they're interchangeable. Home Depot sells them as well. As long as you got like the white, even put the black nozzle on, it's not going to have any pressure on. It's just going to spray it out like a hose and you'll be good to go. Mm. Do you like waffle fries? Yes. Yes. Chick-fil-A waffle fries, Cody. Totally down with the waffle fries, brother. I like, I like Chick-fil-A a lot. I still remember when we first got Chick-fil-A. And I was just like, this place is awesome, you know, and it, it was a good times. Um, our school would sometimes have those Chick-fil-A days and they would buy like all the things. Oh, man, God, all those days. I remember when Checkers and Rallies first came out. I was like, this is great. Like their fries, their um, their seasoned fries, oh, they're so good. They're so good. I like crystals, but crystal fries are awful. Literally, they're terrible as soon as you get it. But I like crystals. But the nearest crystal is all the way down the other, towards the other side of Kissimmee. It sucks. I'm like. Why isn't there one over here towards St. Cloud, Florida or anything? They don't, I don't know. They're just not one. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's crystals? Um, have you ever heard of uh, White Castle? Essentially, it's White Castle, but it's for the South. Crystal is it's spelled with a K. And it's, it's uh, White Castle of the South. I don't know where it's based. I'm guessing it's probably like Atlanta or something like that, but it's all over the South and um, Midwest. I think it's in the part of the Midwest and they're the little small, like little burgers are like slider burgers and they're usually like, you know, 50, 75 cents a pop and you buy like a whole stack of them for like $8, like 12 of them. It's pretty good, but the, their fries are <laughs> terrible and their service is usually so slow. It's terrible service. Lex, man, uh, Lex, Greg has suggested that next time we, uh, I promise him that he has, he has a new shop opening in July. I'm going to try and fly to LA and go there for the grand opening of the shop. And then maybe go to Disneyland or something like that while I'm out there. Cause it's in Anaheim is where he's actually based his new shop that he's renovating. So he rented out like a little rental spot and there he, I seen all the pictures. He's like gutted it right now and they're really like repainting it and everything where they're going to add shelves and actually have a, a true storefront. And then in the back is going to be like their shipping area in the back. And um, I told him, I promised him, I said, I will fly out to California for you, man, and hang out with you. So we'll see. Um, what's the famous Southern chicken centers? What's the famous chicken? I, there's Zaxby's down here. Are you talking about Zaxby's? Zaxby's is chicken tenders. Um, what else? I mean, you got Popeyes, you got your typical KFC, all that stuff. I mean, but I, uh, I'm, I'm guessing you probably mean Zaxby's. Um, do you like Outback? Yes, I like Outback. I love the Bloom and Onions. One of my favorite restaurants is uh, Logan's Roadhouse. They closed a lot of them because they were going through some kind of uh, bank redo deal. They were, they were in debt pretty heavy, but they said there. I talked to, we talked to one of their managers. He's a really cool guy. He said. They're so far ahead now of uh, paying off the rest of their uh, back collected log debt that they plan to, once it's all paid off, they were fully restructured, is to start opening new stores again like they had back in the day. But there's only like a two or three in Orlando left. They closed down almost all the Logan Roadhouses, but I love Roadhouse. It's really good. Duragloss. I have not tried Duragloss. I'm so sorry about that. I made it to live stream. Thanks so much for making it, Start Strong Freak. I don't know how much longer we're going to be on because it's 2.30. We've already been on two and a half hours. I'm sorry. And uh, I've, as you can see, I've got my new PlayStation because my one got hit by lightning, so I had to get another one. And I want to play some video games. You know what I mean? 
I, I I barely got to play any bit of World War II, and of course I've been home all weekend, so I played Black Ops Three. It's been a blast. So I really want to play some more here in a bit. Church's Chicken. Are you talking about Church's Chicken? Yeah, Church's Chicken, Popeyes, KFC, all all the chicken places in the South. If you go to some of the other towns, they'll even have more local, smaller ones like um, Bojangles. We had Bojangles here, and they closed it down, bulldozed the building down, and now, now it's a half of it's a Starbucks, and the other half is a Tijuana Flats. I, I don't know. It's whatever. It's right near the hospital, so that's why they milled it. Um, Outback Marone Road is so good. What is the PS4 in the back for? Um, it's because my black one. Got hit by lightning, I guess. Wait, I didn't know. I tried turning it on over the weekend because I've been home alone. I'm like, it's raining. Well, I'm going to play some video games I haven't played in forever, and uh, the damn thing wouldn't come on. I plugged it into a different couple of places, and I was like, oh, I must have got ruined by the lightning when we got hit. So I decided I'd just buy a brand new one, and I figured, well, I'll get the PlayStation 4 Pro since might as well get the newer one anyways with the better graphics. So I went ahead and bought it today, and my black one's still sitting over there. I'm going to ship it to PlayStation to get it fixed. I don't know how much it's going to cost. But that way I can have a PlayStation on one TV and the big PS4 on the other one. That way I can have two. And I have my Xbox One over here. And then my gaming PC, obviously, is right next to me. Mm. No, I don't play Fortnite, but I do play um, PUBG once in a while. Yeah, we got hammered, Cody. We got hammered. The whole, literally, you know, all the little toe stools for the cable boxes? Every one of them in a row for, like, six or seven houses got blown out. The neighbors... uh power box fuse box literally blew off the wall um we uh, we have a giant surge protector on ours which saved a lot of our tail but um uh it blew out that surge protector which is 400 dollars to replace um obviously one of the sockets was bad in here i didn't know the playstation 4 and the playstation 4 was on another surge protector itself that's why it makes me wonder if it's actually was that or it just led to something else having a problem because somebody told me that i guess the playstation 4s have an hdmi problems so that might be what it was. It lights up, but then it turns off again. And I'm like, what the crap? So I'll just probably send it back in for repairs. Mm, what's up? Coming from Texas. How are you doing, Toby? Have you ever tried a product such as a coverall that O'Reilly? I have not. I have a lot of people asking me about coverall. So next time I go by there, Scott, I will definitely pick up some. Let's try and get rid of the rain first. Uh, if I hear one more thing about Fortnite, oh, my God. Yeah, uh, it's free. I think that's what's so big about it. PUBG is fun. But it has a lot of issues with it. But PUBG was a lot of fun. And I like the Battle Royale thing. It's just, it's, it's like a survival game. And that's kind of fun. But um, the hit detection stuff and the uh, PUBG was always driving me nuts. Where I go back and play Call of Duty and I just rape kids. And I'm like, okay. Demographic. How do you mean by demographic, Cody? Like, I don't, it doesn't tell you. Demographics on the analytics only tell you if they're male or female or where they're from. Uh, obviously, way more men watch my channel than women, obviously, because a lot of women don't care about cars. And the majority of my subscribers are from the United States, Canada, or England. And also, there are some in Australia, but that's about it, obviously, because the English-speaking uh, barrier that would go there. But it's usually it's United States 1, Canada 2, it's and then it's either England. I think England's third, and then Australia's fourth is my uh, viewers. And then I have a couple. I get actually get some views from, obviously, the Philippines. So we have the Filipino guy here. I do get some views from like Africa, South Africa and stuff, but the majority is always uh, the United States. And then, of course, I, I do get Mexico as well. I have a lot of Mexican viewers that are from like Mexico City that are bilingual, that speak fluent English. So it does help, I guess. Have I been through a hurricane? Yes, I have, Cody. Uh, the, the hurricane that I went through personally was uh, Hurricane Ivan. It was in 2004. We were living in Pensacola, Florida. It came through as a Category 4 hurricane. And... Um, when it made landfall, it made landfall in the middle of the night. Uh, my God, it was it was nuts. I mean, we had a brand new house. It was all brick house. Um, the 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 people's privacy fence from way down here was in our yard, way over here. Um, in the front of the neighborhood, part of their roof was literally ripped off like this. Um, trees, the big pine trees that are all around the neighborhood, literally snapped in half like this. I've never seen a tree snap in half like that. Um, literally snapped in half like toothpicks. They went click and they were just slitting her down like this. It was nuts. Trees were all over the road. We had, my parents had no power for over a week. Uh, the people who actually re redid the power, got the power running were from Canada. It was a ca Canadian power company that came in. So what they do is uh, they volunteer, say, Hey, we'll go down there. And then the, the local power companies literally paid double and triple. If you'll come and uh, help 
repair everything when it happens. They have hurricane funds. They literally, part of our bills are higher every year because uh, every month because they have to charge a hurricane fee fund for any future credits. So that way the money's in the bank. So when that happens, they can buy all the products to get everything running again and then um, uh, pay these guys. Because literally you're finding people from New York, New Jersey, you're finding from Texas or Missouri. And obviously my parents had Canada come down, Canada to, to work on the power lines. They're, they're from all over the country will be there. And that's generally the way it was. I was at the University of West Florida then. I was in my sophomore year of college. And um, the college was literally shut down for two and a half months. There were so many pine trees falling on top of the buildings. The pool, the indoor pool, literally the whole side of the roof was ripped off like this. Uh, boats were up in yards. I mean, it was it was nuts, man. It was literally nuts. Every house was covered in blue tarps. It was, it was pretty crazy. But that was the, the main one I went through. Now, last year, I was on a cruise ship. I was on the Carnival Vista when that Hurricane Irma came across and hit Puerto Rico and hit the Virgin Islands and stuff. We were actually on a cruise ship. And uh, when they were updating literally every couple hours, the captain would come across and everybody had TVs on in their rooms finding out what the news was. And uh, they just told us, they said, we're, we're going to stay away from the hurricane no matter what we do. We're going to stay at sea longer. So we actually went to Cozumel, stayed two days in Cozumel versus coming back. And then we stayed south of Cuba when the hur hurricane came into Florida. I think it made landfall like a hurricane category two or three. But by the time I got up to Orlando area, it was a level one. And uh, it was really no big deal. We lost like two screens and it was like the garage door opener went bad and uh, the in sync uh, thing went bad. But that was the only thing we had problems with. So Wax Gods, though, his house and all his stuff had standing water in it down there in Naples. Wax Gods is based out of like Naples, Florida area. And they got hit head on with that hurricane. What's your opinion on k &N? Eh, Put it on. Do it. If you get a couple of horsepower, fine. But don't expect you to be like thousand miles an hour suddenly. Age groups. Age groups are are the teenagers to about mid thirties is the age group for me. When will I be doing? When I hit twenty five thousand subscribers, Toby. So get the word out. Share my videos and get the word out, and I will do another one at twenty five thousand. I I hope to hit twenty three thousand subscribers here in about the next month. I'm doing pretty good. The last week has been a little slow. Like I haven't been getting those sixty subscribers every single day like I did before, but we're still getting. 30, 40 subscribers a day. So if I can, you know, another three months, we hit 25,000, then I'll do another really big giveaway where I'll spend, you know, like, you know, 50, 60 bucks in products and I'll mail it out to people. Does only detailing business make good money? Uh, yeah, for sure, Aaron, for sure. A lot of guys make money. It is raining, Jacob. Oh my God, I had no idea. Uh, so many comments talk about the rain, but uh, to me, it's right. It's definitely not. Does Wax Gods get decent income? Uh, that I don't know. You'd have to personally talk to him, and I doubt he's going to tell you about his personal financial. Let's put it this way. He started with the company when he was in college a couple years ago when he was living with his parents, and he did all the uh, shipping out of his parents' garage. That's where all his products were stored, and then he'd personally have to go to the thing, and they have the P.O. box, the, the post office come and pick him up every day. Now he has his own brand-new house. And he has a whole room devoted towards it, one of his bedrooms that he bought, a brand new house. So I'd say he's doing okay. The guy's only like 24 years old. So I'd say do having your own detailing company must pay decent. You know what I mean? I appreciate that, Aaron. I appreciate that. Yeah, we had 22,000 subscribers, obviously, a little while ago. I don't – and like I said, this last week has been pretty slow. But, um, you know, I'm willing to well, just keeping it going, keeping it going. It's all about sharing videos, telling your friends about it. I have so many people at work that come up to me and say, oh, you, my God, I, I found you on YouTube or so-and-so. You, you have a YouTube channel. I'm like, yeah, I've got one. And then they want to ask me about the YouTube channel. And then or the word of mouth got around that I owned a GTR. And then suddenly, oh, who, is, who owns the GTR? And it gets around to me. And that's what happens. Y'all is roasting the Mexicans. I'm not roasting Mexicans. What? What? Cody, jeez, Cody, so racist, Cody, racist, Cody. Ah, oh, terrible, Cody. Oh, no, I bet my wife's probably almost home by now. Jeez, it's almost eleven o'clock, guys. I'll probably, let's see, damn, we got thirty-two people on. I'll probably wrap this up in another fifteen minutes so I don't bore you guys to death. Uh, uh, what? Hillary Clinton, good old Hillary, Hill dog. Let me see what um what time my wife called me. By the way, guys, so I apologize about this. She called me at 9.30, so yeah, she should be home in uh, the next probably 45 minutes she'll be home. 
How bad is it in Florida? It's just a light rain all day long and all night long. Light rain. Um, do you ever use your foam gun? Yeah, once in a while. It's still over here. It's it's right there. But I don't use it as much as I use uh, the, the foam cannon. I use a lot more, obviously, because a lot of you guys like the foam cannon videos. So I do those every Friday now. And they actually get really good views. And it, and it helps people understand that what product they can use in there. So right now, I'm just using all the over-the-counter products. And uh, I'll, I'll probably try like Meguiar's Gold Class next or uh, something like that, a big name. And we'll put it in there and we'll give it a shot for you guys. So that way you can help you out a little bit. That's why I did Black Magic. I was like, well, it's really cloudy today and it's raining. I'm like, I'm just going to throw some garbage one in there. And sure enough, it was garbage. Black Magic threw it. It's pretty funny. Put the GTR on a thumbnail of your views. Um, the problem, what, what I've learned over the years is as a YouTuber, you, you got to show the product a lot of times versus show just like some thumbnail in the background. I'll give you an example. When I put the two foam guns against each other, it didn't get the views that I got with the actual um, foam cannon comparison. That view, that thing has like almost 70,000 views already. It's, it's insane. And it's brought in a lot of subscribers. I'm sure maybe a couple of people here found me from uh, that video already. And uh, where when I made the foam gun comparison, I was standing there with a GTR in the background. I got very little views. So I've since went back, changed the thumbnail to a picture of just both foam guns, and then I put foam gun comparison. And I've noticed views are starting to go a little bit up now from there. But I, it's as a thumbnail. If it's not catchy or you don't see it, it's like that magazine. And then when you walk by, you're like, man, it's got to have something catchy that makes you go, ooh, I want to read about that. That's the way you got to think of it as. And so you've got to put something out there that people are going to look at and be like, now – I want to check out that video, see what he's talking about. You know, do you have a maid? No, I don't have a maid. Um, my house is filthy. My wife is a pig. No, I don't have a maid. Have you used mother soap on the foam gun? Um, I have, but I can't remember. I, I tested out a long time ago. I'm all, I'm all out of mother soap right now. So I need to go buy some more for a test. Best soap and wax would be either mother's California gold wash and wax Eagle One Nano Wash and Wax or Surf City Garage Wash and Wax. I'm not a big fan of Meguiar's Wash and Wax. I'm just not a big fan. Whatever gets more views, I that, you got it. That's the thing you have to think about, Cody. You have to think about views because views is what brings in more traffic, which brings in more subscribers. And then if you ever plan on making anybody money off YouTube, obviously the views is where the money is, not the subscribers. Because I could have a hundred subscribers, but I have a couple of viral videos that have a million hits. I'm going to get bank out the ass, that kind of thing, you know. Now the new rule is you can't be monetized unless you have a 1,000 subscribers. Now they changed it recently. So all the things you got to deal with when you're a YouTuber, guys. These are the things I have to think about, like what's more catchy. So that's why I show the product immediately right on the front so everybody knows what it is and then go from there. I don't try and uh, have something else with a car in the background or just show soap on it because then people are like, eh. But then, oh, I want to see this product. I want to – they go to that one instead. Um. Also in the title, put a question because they will find it revealed. I do okay. I've done a couple of stuff where I'll put it in like questions in the actual thumbnail, but I still have the actual main product right there in the center because that's what I want people to really see. What's your thoughts on McGuire's DA power system? I have never used it personally. I have one, but I've never used it personally, Aaron. Um, just the way it is. I already have a DA polisher, so I recommend a DA polisher all day long. Damn, we got 50 thumbs up, y'all. I'm sure there's already like a couple haters that are like down thumb. Down thumb. I hate this guy, but I'm still subscribed to him. I still hate him. I, I, it's the funniest thing. I get it all the time. It, it blows the mind because you have these people that I guess I pissed off back in the day or whatever, and uh, they said something obscene or whatever, and maybe I blocked them or whatever. So they won't say anything anymore, but they might come on a different account and they'll down thumb every single video. It's usually the same amount of thumbs, down thumbs. But it's so funny. I guarantee you right now there's like, motherfucker, I hate this guy. Down thumb. Down thumb. Ah, I'll teach him down thumb. You know, it's that kind of thing. It's like, bro, you're still giving me a view. You're so you're still giving me interaction. YouTube sees that as, Hey, somebody's viewing his videos. Yay. Keep pushing it. You know, it, that's just the way YouTube works. So it is pretty funny. You know, there's, there's always going to be haters. I don't know if I've ever had a video where I've not had down thumbs. I had a video literally showing off my son when he was a brand new born and I had down, down thumbs on it. It's just, there is nothing but haters out there in the world, and you just get used to it. And you have to let it go. Even though it might drive you nuts, you have to walk away. It's like being ag agitated and you want to – this guy's trying to pick a fight with you. You have to know to walk away because it's just going to affect you later on if you try and do anything. You know, and you just got to learn to walk away. Um, let's borrow the GTR. No, 
on my screen is like 49 likes. Well, I now we're up to 55 likes. So what's going on? Maybe they are. Maybe they are, Leo. Uh, do you play Fortnite? No, I don't, Matthew. I only played PUBG for a while. Trollers. Thumbs down. Now, Victor, I, I'm telling you, you get it all the time. It, it's every YouTuber out there in the world. Thank God, you know, some of the big YouTubers, they, they put one controversial thing out there. They'll just, and they're, they start trying to change their channel from what it was. And my God, they'll have like 75% down thumbs on all their videos from now on out. It just turns into a firestorm in the, the comment section. And that's when you know the channel is going down. When you see these huge comments. It happened to Angry Joe last year. If you guys watch video game reviews, Angry Joe, he was stop, He literally stopped cold turkey putting out uh, video game reviews. And he started doing just nothing but movie reviews and just BS garbage. And people were furious because they wanted to see what you came for, what I subscribed for all these years, video games, and then they stopped. And man, just it's a firestorm. And every single video was down thumb city and – he finally had to make videos. He's like, I'm turning off all the comments. And he promised he would never do that. He turned off all the comments, all the duty. It turned into a bad thing for his channel. They were, he was bleeding subscribers by the thousands every day. It was nuts. 57 thumbs up. Drama equals more views. It, it can, but it can also hurt your channel too. You got to watch it. You can't suddenly change your channel after being this long. It will literally destroy your, it can destroy your channel. Uh, Mexico spots. Um, actually, go go to Heinzelman Road around the airport. Heinzelman Road, you can really get up to speed on Heinzelman Road. It's a straight road for like five miles. <laughs> and there's nobody out there usually unless they're cutting through to get to like Cimarron or something like that or Goldenrod. And you can really get up to speed out there. Jose, thank you so much. I really do appreciate that. Um, car soap or go-to products. Uh, car soap, uh, just go get a McGuire's Gold Class, Mother's Wash and Wax. Um, Eagle One Nano Wash and Wax or Surf City Garage. Those are over the counters, easy to find. You're never going to have a problem with those soaps. Some YouTubers in their early 20s, and when they go down and they try to do anything, they really do Poo Panda and really do. And Poo Panda, if you didn't see earlier, I saw your donation. Thank you so much. I saw your $12 donation. Thank you again for donating. I really do. It mean a lot. I appreciate that. It really does. Again, you guys, I, I've had I usually get donations every single time we're live streaming here. I've got two already tonight. Thank you so much. All it does is help pay for all these products I just keep buying. Obviously, you know, thank you, Pooh. You've just paid for my PS4. No, 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 no. It's just paying for the products. I paid for that out of my regular weekly paycheck because I was like, damn it, I want my PS4. Because my PS4 is also my Blu-ray player upstairs. <laughs> so I had no Blu-ray player. Couldn't play video games. And I was like, oh. So that's what went on. Thoughts on Fort Myers. Um, heard it's kind of ghetto down there, as a matter of fact. I don't know if it was Fort Myers. It's I've been through there a few times, but that's about it. I don't know. When is the motor speed clay? As soon as it stops raining. Oh my God. All it does is rain here. My spot is like a mini compound. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've been, I, my wife was, when that new hospital up, opened up down there, that's why we came down here from North Florida. And that's where she was at. But then uh, she got moved up to the Kissimmee office on Oak Street. And then once her contract was up, she went up to Orlando. And that's where she works now at a, at a small practice on Orange Avenue up in Orlando, closer to downtown. Because she was, it was just getting so bad down there. She hated it, absolutely hated it. And uh, I don't know, Leo, where you're from, but I'm. This is not to blank in all you Northerners, but again, it gets back to you get they get all the people from New York, New Jersey, Massachusetts, and stuff like that, and they just have that those chip on their shoulder. People from up north they have terrible attitudes, and she had to deal with it all the time. Well, my New York health healthcare is so much better, and your crap sucks down here. I'm so sick of y'all making me pay all this stuff, and she's like. Then just leave, but you know you can't tell your patients. And she said, once she went to Orlando, it's a different community, different clientele. It's just regular people from Florida. And she said they're so friendly again. It's so nice. So she was so ready to get out of Kissimmee as soon as her uh, contract was up. So she was like, "We're out, dude." And uh, so that's what happened. So now she's actually much more happy. She gets paid more, and it works out. But she's just driving a lot farther now to work. Store clay bar. Well, the clay bars usually came come in a little uh, container, so that's where I store mine. Heard that PS4 fell off the little air truck. Um, I doubt it. I doubt it. It would have been really messed up if it did. Trust me. I've seen a lot of stuff happen. I've seen a lot of stuff happen. Uh, what about your videos that are uh, short, simple, and on the point? No clickbait. Uh, oh, I appreciate that, Lex. I mean, I try and – one thing I try and do is always describe everything. Show everything step by step. Some people don't like that. Some people want a two-minute video, and I just – I won't do that. I want to show you what it looks like before – what it looks like after and the steps in between of me applying the product or using the product that is. And then you can see 
what it's going to behave you like and what you're what hopefully what yours is going to look like before and after as well if you can kind of guess so that's why i try and use it as uh am i as uh, clickbaity as some of those youtubers out there no uh do i make drama videos out there no i just if the channel does good the channel is good the channel doesn't the channel doesn't you know, that's the way i see it 60 thumbs up well, i only got 59 right now so somebody backed off as soon as you said that uh well i thought it was gonna be the opposite when i went into uh, what was it i thought it was gonna be like opposite wow. why would it be opposite um is west coast customs car soap any good yeah it's not bad at all matthew it's a, it's a solid b plus product no no issues all maybe even a minus i'm the gtr guys in the neighborhood that said you can take their car and detail them i i just need to go talk to a lot more of them um you know they're, they're mexicans cody they're mexicans for cody uh they live in Kissimmee, and as you guys know Kissimmee is uh Kissimmee is now 70 percent hispanic so uh you know they're all mexicans here no they're almost all puerto ricans actually Puerto Ricans, a little bit Dominican, a little bit of Colombian and Venezuelan, but for the most part, it's dominated by Puerto Ricans here. Um, 10 plus minutes, uh, more ads. The problem is how many people watch 10 minute long videos? How many people in here can say that they're going to watch 10 minute long video? The average, my average view on each video over all my views, it literally on analytics says three minutes. Three minutes is the average view. That's all you watch. So why am I going to make a 10 minute long video when it's only three minutes long? How's the Motovlog channel? It's doing pretty good, Lex. Um, it's up to like 52 or 5,300 subscribers. Uh, it's uh, doing a lot better. People are still obsessed with the Grom. So anytime I make Grom videos, it gets really good views. I was going to ride the Grom this weekend and make some videos. But again, rain, 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 rain. And I was like, I just don't feel like getting soaked out there riding around. Even with my rain jacket, I just I didn't want to deal with it, you know? Um, you saving money on products. I appreciate that, Aaron. You know, we, we blow a lot of money, but we have fun doing it. Um, thoughts on the GTR Godzilla tune, shoot flames. Uh, uh, I'll tell you what, Cody, when I took my GTR to get the oil changed at one of the uh, race shops here in the other side of Orlando, they actually had a customer that morning bring in a GTR's engine out of the GTR from New Jersey. They came down from Jersey. He was one of the ones that had him shoot flames and the two-step thing. And it actually cracked the engine and it, it made the rod go through the side of the wall. I mean, it's some of the worst thing you can do to it. And that's basically what he did. And so they were going to rebuild the entire engine for him. I was like, oh my God, what the hell? And they sure enough, they had to rebuild the entire engine. And I heard it was like $15,000 job. And the guy said, I'll, um, we'll be going back here and uh, Wednesday. And he said, don't worry, it'll be, it'll be rebuilt by Wednesday. Cause they had already had the order in for it. So he was just bringing in the main engine block and dude, it was rash one of the pistons was literally cracked in half like this at the top it was nasty just just trying to show off and be cool bah, this just ruins your ruins it uh can you make videos on a paint scroll mover products uh joel i have a few when you actually see me using it um there's a how to uh, polish thing i'll be using the chemical guys vss if we ever stop getting rain i'll be using that on the gtr so look forward to that. That's supposed to be a, like a light polish is what it's supposed to be. So we'll see. I have videos where I've tried. I do have videos on the Meguiar's Ultimate Polishing Compound. You'll see it. It's a short video of it. It's um, it's showing a red Honda Prelude and uh, amazing results with it. You can check out that one. So an older video, probably about three or four years ago, but it's solid. Was it a white GTR? No. There's um, I know where the white GTR lives. There's, there's one in Point Santa. No, the guy that wants the guy that said I could wash it has the one. It's called a Regal Red. It's like a maroon color GTR. What's up, David? The guy that has the GTR and the Mustang GT350 told me I can wash his cars anytime I want. Again, uh, he said just let me know and I'll uh, you can come pick it up. And he said you could take either one of them and wash it for me because I washed his car before and did all that and he liked it. So he's like, I said, dude, I'm not gonna charge you a dime. I just want a vehicle to test. And he has ceramic coating on the GTR, but he wants ceramic coating on the Mustang. He said, oh, you have it? He's like, would you do that for my car? I said, let me let me use it on my car first to get used to it, and then I will then I can use it on your Mustang. But let me get used to it on my car first because I want to practice. I don't want to put it on your $60,000 Mustang GT350 and uh, not do something right, even though it's not hard to apply. Uh, you can come get it, Adam. You can come get all that rain you want, buddy. Uh, do you have a lot of space to open up the GTR? um on some of the back roads yeah for sure like you go that way in st cloud you go out towards like melbourne florida and before you know it you're out in the middle of just farmland that's all there is either orange groves or like cows and trees that's all there is out there uh 
V line. You're talking about like chemical guys or, or you're talking about like uh, the, I have some of it left, but not all of it, buddy. I have some at all. Good drawing aid. Just a nice detailer, man. Honestly, I use the chemical guys, uh, that, that new purple pink bottle one that we tried the other day. And I use that the other day on the GTR. And it works fine. But most of the time I, I, to be real, I don't use them. I just spray it on the, I just dry it off the car. But for sure, you can definitely use that. You can even use spray waxes, that mother speed spray wax, good stuff on it. You can use that as a drying agent as well when you're actually spraying it with the car still wet and then dry your car off. That's a good way for you to dry a car and add, add protection to it as well. Oh, man, Lex, you go to any one of these car shows, you see it all the time. Even my my GTR is starting to have squirrels in it, and uh, it's been about a year and change since I've done mine, so that's why I really, really, really want to get it done, but it just rains and rains and cloudy and cloudy, and it just I, I don't want to do it on a cloudy day because you're not going to see the squirrels very good. Even though I have lights for it, you don't get to see the squirrels, and for me, I have to show you guys the results. That's the biggest thing, and I have to have quality day where I can show you good quality results if I was doing it on a cloudy day, you wouldn't be able to see the results as good. You'd be like, you could look at a paint and be like, that paint's gorgeous. But then if you see it on a sunny day, you'd be like, oh, man, look at all the squirrels in it. That's what I'm trying to do. What's up, David? How you doing, man? Um, are you going to try Adam's? Uh, I don't know, man. The, the views for my Adam's videos are not the highest. Same with Chemical Guys. Um, the biggest views I get are from over-the-counter products. By far, over-the-counter products get the most views. Ink your body? No, I don't. I don't like tattoos. Not for me. Do you think that wet uh, sanding scratch is a good idea? Uh, if you're a pro at it, you know what you're doing. You could do it. Uh, don't try opening a jar on uh, oh, maybe the road headed into the airport. I got a ticket going three miles an hour when I live there. What? There, there's there's no place here where they're gonna stop you three miles an hour. State law in Florida is you have to be going over five miles an hour over the speed limit before you can get stopped in Florida. Uh, state law. What happened to the white prelude? I'm going to rent a truck and a flatbed this week, and I'm going to tow it from that shithole shop over there and take it to Tampa where my blue one is. When I pick up my blue car this weekend, the car is basically done. He's bolted it all back together. It's all done. I just have to get back over there, so I'm going to go take a rent a U-Haul truck and a flatbed, and I'm going to drive over to Tampa, take the white car, drop it off at his house, put the blue one on the flatbed, and drive it all the way back. That's my game plan right now. Even if it'll cost me $100, $150 in rental truck, I don't care. I got to get that white car back. These people do not want to work here. There's always some lame ass excuse why they can't do it. Just screw you guys. Wait till I get my car back. I'll destroy you on Google reviews. Destroy them. Uh, if, I'll, if I could think of the name, guys, of the company, man, I would tell you guys right now, and you guys would feel like be destroying them. But wait, wait, wait. I don't want to have. <laughs> I don't want to have anybody like ever say anything bad about a company until I have my my products back. You don't want to have somebody have your stuff and then you talk bad about them and then they're like, oh, really? And I got your product still. Oops, look at that key. Oops, that window broke. Oops, happened. You know, oh, see it right there. It's liable. We're not liable for cars that broke into. You know, that kind of crap. That's all it would take. Dash cam. I have a dash cam in the GTR. Speed shine tire thing, a replacement for Dove. Always, buddy. Always, for sure, Esteban. I always do these kind of things. I love, I love testing out products when I can. Very lazy people in consuming. Kyle Johnson, what's your thoughts on Mother Speed Clay? Other competitors? Uh, uh, no, I've I've used other products that are like that before. Hold on, my wallet is like digging into my ass. It hurts so bad. There, all that money I carry around, right? Um. No, it's just like Nano Skin. I've used it. The Greer's Garage has one of the mid I love. I have one from Rev Automotive. It's not going to do anything to your stuff, man, at all. Seriously, that's it is the future. Uh, it's a synthetic clay bar, essentially. Um, uh, you have the dirty white car. Uh, there's all those people and get in back. Uh, the, the white car is probably in filthy condition. I'm going to drop it off, let him uh, remanufacture the transmission in it. Uh, and then I'm also going to, um, just have him go through the entire car, fix anything that he sees that needs to be fixed or, uh, you know, repaired and just have him say, dude, fix it all, go have fun with it. And then, uh, from there, uh, have it repainted. It might take towards the end of the year because obviously I can't with the GTR car payment stuff. I don't have a lot of money to throw around and, uh, GTR car payments first, but as long as I can get that thing fixed and back here, at least it'll be driving again, like normal. And then, um, just, you know, paint it later on down the road. Uh, you have been injured. Why? What? What? You have been injured. What do you mean by that? How did I get injured? When did I get injured? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know, man. I just don't know. 
I don't know what he's talking about. Hello, Hashvir. How you doing, buddy? Getting on a little bit late. I understand. I understand. I can't believe we have 38 people on. Seriously, guys, 38 people at 11 o'clock at night. I am very thankful for all you guys to be on right now. I will, Cody, but I'm talking to my buddies right here. These are all my buddies right here that are online right now. Without your, without you guys, I wouldn't be the channel I am today. I wouldn't have the subscribers I would. I wouldn't have all the connections from all these companies today. The fact that I have such great subscribers and they keep sharing their videos with their real life friends and on their other pages and stuff, it really helps me out. So I've got to spend time with you guys to show you guys I love you guys. And that's why we can get more. And these companies say, hey, why don't I give you some products to give away? Well, guess where those products go to? They go to the subscribers. It's just, it's just a circle that goes around. You take care of me, I take care of you. And that's the way it goes. And that's the way it goes. And as the channel gets bigger and bigger and bigger, it just it makes it a lot faster. Have I ever been injured? I was hit by a baseball on my nose. If you can see in some of my videos, my nose is not straight. And I played baseball for six years. I think I was in like fifth grade, maybe sixth grade. A ball came over, hit my glove came off my glove and hit me directly in my face. Um, and I had to have stitches all through here. My I, whole eye was swollen up for almost a week. And uh, if you'll see it on the side once in a while, you can see it. My nose is not straight. I wear glasses and I was wearing glasses at the time. And I was playing baseball and I just, I took a massive hit, guys. It hurt for so bad. It took take me to the hospital. I had stitches all through here. Um it was a good time. Let's just put it that way. I still remember there was like a hook needle. I see you not. It's a needle. There was a hook and they were right next to my eye just doing this. I mean, I could see the damn needle and I was just like not trying to think about it. And they're like right here in the skin trying to do it because the glasses came back, took the major brunt right here and all of a sudden went off this way. And when it went off, it actually cut my face through here. So they had to stitch it up. So that was the only time I've ever really been injured. Oh, and in a wreck, in a wreck. No, uh-uh. Uh, rain store. It just keeps raining. Hash here. It just keeps raining. I can't make any videos for you guys because it keeps raining and I can't get out there and make any videos. So it's like, oh, it sucks. They they just share their videos to other sites or maybe they share them to their friends or Facebook. I'm telling you guys, yeah, on the analytics, I see so many videos that get shared. Your top shared videos, those bring in more views and more subscribers because. Johnny gives gives it shares it to two of her people, which shares it to two of her people, and two you know it goes down the road. Think of it like that, like a, a pyramid scheme. It works. It literally works. That's how I get a lot of views from sharing shared videos that would have never found me, and then their buddy shared it, and they're like, "Oh, I found you through my friend. My friend told me about you." I'm like, "Oh, cool. That's the way a lot of times it works." Mm. Have a good night, Super Dave. Yeah, hopefully next weekend I'm gonna go pick it up. Executioner. Yes, I did, buddy. So I was playing with Executioner last night. Um, we were playing on Xbox One. And um, so we were owning it up there on Black Ops. So there it is. I went over there. It took me about an hour, hour, 10 minutes. I had to go to way north of Orlando to get it. But it's worth it. I called three different uh, places that said they had it online. And I called it the place. I'm like, GameStop, do you have it in stock? No, we don't have it in stock. I'm like, oh, they need to update their computers. So that's why I went all the way out there to Leesburg, Florida. Do I hate tan interiors? No, not at all. I think they look really nice, especially with most colors. Very neutral. Um, thanks for all doing all you do. Uh, it's cool. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Kyle, I learned a long time ago. You have to take care of your people, and your people will take care of you. When I was in the Army ROTC program at the University of West Florida, so I was going to be an officer in the Army after college, we had a, a three-star, we had a Lieutenant General, General retired come in. He was a retired three-star Lieutenant General come in. So this dude had made it almost all the way to the top, all like one one star away from being the, the big bad general, the, the highest one. And he gave us a speech on leadership and everything. And I still remember to this day, it's been like, what, 16 years ago now, 17 years ago, he told us, he never once worried about if he was going to make the next rank or not. All he did is make sure his his soldiers and his people were well taken care of. Anything they needed, he would do everything he could to make sure that anything they needed or wanted, that they got. And so when it came time to her, for his reviews to be promoted to the next thing, he had nothing but amazing reviews. So they would just bump him up to the next rank, bump him up to the next rank. He never had negative reviews because he would do literally anything he could, even if he had to stay late with somebody, do anything he could just to make sure that 
he'd get them what they needed. And they were suddenly happy now because they finally got somebody who would listen and take care of them. Then when the reviews came in, well, his reviews were all stellar. So they just kept pushing him up the ranks. So he retires a three-star general, which is like almost a god in the military. You see a three-star general. I mean, there's only one more rank above there, and that's a four-star. So, you know, I still remember that speech to this day that he gave us. And I was like damn dude and it's true you got to take care of your people and they will in turn take care of you so if you're a manager of your job or whatever make sure they're happy and they'll work harder for you to make your job easier in the end can you do wheelies on the ground i popped the wheelie up a few times but i i just got the wheelie bar in to protect the pr protect the motorcycle in case it were to go down but i haven't installed it yet because i got to do a little bit of fabric like a cutting to get the part in there Use the rain to take advantage of it. Do something like that product and the product holds up in the rain. Um, I have some, I have a picture, a couple of pictures of spray wax. I might be able to do that for you. Remember guys, I used the spray wax on the, the GTR's hood. From when I did the side-by-side -side competition. Yeah, it's, it's not really tight beads like a good wax job would be. So yeah, you were owning it up. I was a uh, bullet instruction. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I haven't lost it, man. Two years. I was really shocked. I went in there and played a little bit today when I first got home. Cause I was like, yeah, I'll set up the thing, but I really wanted to hit finish up to 55. Remember? Uh, I'm not going to prestige the Xbox account, but I was like, I'll just finish off the last level. And I, I tore it up all the games I went into again. And I was like, I feel like Xbox players are not near as skilled as the PlayStation players are because I think when PlayStation started getting all the contracts with all your, uh, high end video game competition, especially your call of duties, all the big hardcore players from the Xbox 360 went over to PlayStation because obviously that's where they were going to have to compete at. So they all left. So I think the, the better players are on PlayStation 4 and they give me, the, I still am good at it, but it, I feel like there's more competition on PlayStation 4 than there ever was on uh, uh, Xbox. Uh, the PS4 is just that it's white. Uh, it, it was a GameStop exclusive and it's the PlayStation Pro which uh, makes games, I guess, up them to 4K. So it gives you a lot better. Also, it has a one terabyte hard drive versus the standard 500. But you can easily update. You can easily update these uh, hard drives now. So I get I get the full 4K experience now, finally. So that'll be nice, at least until like the PlayStation 5 or next Xbox comes out that is a true 4K system. And I figured that won't be till 2019, 2020. Because even PC, uh, like my, my graphics card can do uh 4k but it's not a very high fps you're talking like 20s all day long 30s once in a while you know i'm not going to get there because i don't have the highest video card but that the highest video cards you know like six seven hundred dollars and uh, no console is six or seven hundred dollars so again we're not quite there technology wise where it's cheap enough in order to make it a full true 4k system you know what i mean so they they do produce but it's a pixelated or something the way they do that i forgot they call it what the proper word is so where uh you know a, a good pc with a good high-end video card already does 4k gaming so i figured and we're two years away from that where the video cards will be cheap enough that they can be mass produced into a ps5 or next xbox that will be a true 4k experience all day long without having to up resin or do any of that fun funky stuff best leather cleaner for uh, two years worth of dirt um mother's vlr is actually really good i like their stuff a lot McGuire's leather cleaner wasn't bad at all either, but I like really like mothers. I don't know why. I keep going back to them. Is the Gallon McGuire's last touch detailer stuff? Uh, I don't know, man. I honestly have never tried any of the big suckers like that, Levi. Um, uh, what is it? He just played the system because he knew uh, reviews uh, increase ranks, so you just make sure that he's a good one. Reviews. Uh, what's up with the mothers? They were. Uh, once on top of the Maguires, I think they're about the same for us. I think they're about head to head. I think but Mothers is a much smaller company than Maguires. I wouldn't doubt that at all, Cody. I would not doubt that at all. Recently, I had another subscriber send me a screenshot of what he got back from Chemical Guys. He gave a, a basically a fair and balanced review that he said the chemical the product was okay, it wasn't great, but it was decent. Just saying, it was decent. They flagged it and wrote back saying it wasn't, it didn't meet their guidelines. And he was like, it's just a decent product. The chemical guys definitely flags videos that flags reviews that are not in their favor. Unless you're saying it's a five star review, they automatically pull it. And that's really sad. But that's the second subscriber I've had that has literally showed me the screenshot they sent me uh, about what they got back from chemical guys and why their uh, thing wasn't able to be published.
And they didn't say it was a terrible product. They just said it was just so-so. It could be a little bit better or whatever. It was automatically flagged and done and said it didn't meet the thing. I was just like, wow, dude, really? Uh, have you tried McGuire Synthetic Express Wax? Um, uh, I have only used their uh, Ultimate Spray Wax. I like their Ultimate Spray Wax a lot. It's good stuff. Do cars get rusted in Florida? Um yeah, if you leave them out long enough and they don't have any protection, or if you're on the beach, if you're anywhere on the beach, you're getting all that like sea spray and stuff. If you have a house on the beach or something, yes, those how those cars can get rust on them, obviously, because of the uh, the salty water. Just opt in to say hi. Florida rain season is for sure. That is the truth, Kevin. That is the truth, man. It, we I haven't seen the sun in a week and a half. Every day it rains. It's always cloudy. Even if it's not raining, it's always cloudy. And then 30 minutes later, it starts drizzling, and then it starts raining again. And the thunderstorms roll in, and you're just like, I'm done. I'm done. Any wheel cleaner reputation for those gloss black wheels like the Mustangs? Uh, I, Ronnie, I used um, – uh, God, my brain dead today. Eagle 1A to Z. It's in an orange bottle. I used that when I had my raised gram lights, which were gloss black on my 370Z. Never gave me any issue. Now, with that being said – Anytime you're trying something on like a specially painted wheel or anything, try it in a small section first. Make sure it's not going to hurt it. But I've never had a problem with Eagle One A to Z. I also like uh, Meguiar's brand new Ultimate Wheel Cleaner, that wheel changing color one that uh, pulls off the uh, stuff. Another really high one I like. Uh, what would happen if you use a chrome wheel or uh, alloy wheels? I don't know. I don't think it would do anything to it. I really don't. Are you a pro or anti-gun? Um, I buy a lot of toys. That's all I'm going to say. Super. I buy a lot of toys. I uh, grew up going to uncle's houses that lived out in the country when I was like five and six. So I'll let you figure it out. Uh, what's up, Lionheart? How you doing this evening? Um, there was a guy that worked for Chemical Guys. He made videos and revealed some of their uh, as their BS. His channel is nowhere to be found. That's what I'm always worried about sometimes, Fortis. You get some of those channels, let's say, AKA like Chemical Guys, and you give them enough bad reviews, um, they could hit you and saying that it's uh, slander or something. They might threaten to take you to the court if you don't take those videos down or remove your thing. You know, I do worry about that sometimes. Uh, though it's a fair and balanced review, I, I've given them a lot of great reviews. I've also given them a lot of yeah, reviews as well. So. And to be fair, I'm not partial one way or another to them, but I want the best products possible. But yes, I have thought about that as a YouTuber. Like, are these guys going to, or is any company going to try and come after me for giving them a uh, not good review? The fact is, though, like Jet, Jet Seal, great product. I liked it a lot. Their Butter Wet Wax doesn't last that long, but it's good stuff. Uh, their Diablo Low Wheel Gel, it's a solid wheel cleaner. Not maybe not the most aggressive or the most powerful, but it's a solid one. Um, their Foam Cannon works great. Their Foam Gun works great. Uh, Mr. Pink works amazing. The foam cannon, uh, their uh, honeydew snow foams obviously work great in the foam cannon. I mean, you know, so the thing is, I don't give them all negative reviews. It's just only like their car washes. But remember, Greg worked there for years and uh, there's enough inside stories there too. But it, to me, I'm not trying to put anybody down. I just want the best products. If product A is not as good as product B. I want product A to be better. And if that, that's if I can tell you how to make it better and what I'd like to see make it better, that's all I'm going to do. I don't care one way or another because nobody pays me for it. Ah. Ah. Where the baby at? Uh, he should be home anytime now, actually, because my wife called me at 930. So she should be home in the next probably 20 or 30 minutes, which means I'll probably better start wrapping this up soon because if I want to be able to hook this bad boy up and get any bit of a gaming in tonight, um, I got to have to get off, you know, eventually. Because we've been here over three hours anyways, and I love hanging with you guys, obviously. But um, I will have to obviously deal with him. And, of course, she's going to be like, can you get the suitcases? Can you get him? I, I got to go to bed now. That's the, the typical thing I'll have to deal with. So instantly she'll come in and says, I got to go to bed now. I got to go back. I got to be up at 5 in the morning or whatever. And I'll be like, okay. You know, should have left at 930 at night then. Um, I think the one makes a new wheel cleaner for plastic coated wheels and black. Uh, I think it's yellow. Possibly Levi. I have seen a lot of new products from Eagle One. They're starting to really, uh, obviously like this one. I just picked it up last night. This is brand new. These tire swipes with the actual gel inside of it. It's, I guess it's a capsule inside of there and you kind of swish it and it breaks the capsule. I, I don't really know, but, um, again, that's brand new for 2018. So that's really cool. Um, 
And the thing is, Cody, that's true. But even these big channels, uh, example, Angry Joe, he's probably one of the biggest YouTube game reviewers. He has been hit so many times and they'll uh, try and demonetize the video. They'll try and claim all ad revenue from his videos. Um, Nintendo, if he puts out any, try to put out any Nintendo video, he won't do it anymore because Nintendo of Japan is so strict that they will flag every single uh, one of those videos, literally flag them and to be taken down every single one that he said, Nintendo, he's met Nintendo of America and they're really nice guys, but he said that, that the original Nintendo in Japan uh, are so up their butt restrictive that they block everything he does. N Nintendo America said it's not them. They want him to put out videos because they know that these re video reviews are going to get them a shitload of sales. But Nintendo Japan claims everything, even in commercials and stuff. It's just stupid how much he's had to go through. He, he, I think the one of the last ones he reviewed was the Zelda Breath of the Wild. And he had to have like 20 different things around the screen at the same time because just to – only show a little bit of the actual gameplay just to kind of take it off so that he wasn't copywriting anything. It's just, it was ridiculous. And so, yeah, you do got to worry about those stuff, but I'm not, I would never slander one company or other. I just want better products out of companies that maybe not make the best products out there. Uh, I'll check on both of them out. Good deal, Ronnie. Uh, no freedom of speech on YouTube. It's, it's getting worse, buddy. It's getting worse. If you, um, I've heard of channels that are, let's say uh, very pro conservative that are very outward for open for Trump that uh, they were getting pushed down to the search engine. They were getting like Facebook got accused of it and they got nailed by doing it. They were doing that. And uh, any, any conservative uh, post on Facebook or any uh, a Facebook group that was conservative for Trump or whatever, they got just really buried. They weren't suggested anymore. People weren't seeing those posts anymore. It was getting so bad that that's what I had to take them to court. And you guys got to see that. And uh, he, Mark Zuckerberg was in, in front of Congress because their his company wasn't doing it, knowingly doing that, burying it. So, yeah, it is kind of weird. So you really do got to work walk on eggshells about what topics you really bring up unless you want to either uh, make or break your channel. And some people will literally sell out to the devil in order to get views and get uh, money. You know, it's, it's come out that many big video game reviewers will give positive reviews for garbage games because these companies are paying them a couple thousand dollars to do it. Because they figure, okay, well, if a guy with 5 million views is going to give us a positive review, then he, and he's asking $10,000 in revenue. Well, we're easily going to make that up with sales so here's ten thousand dollars under the table you give us a positive review you know it, it just it's coming out left and right that's happening and they're selling their soul to the devil and then once that happens well all his credibility is gone with his uh, viewers because now they're like are you if you're lying about this are you lying about everything else so that's bad i think the channel is a writer co he used to work with camel guys uh man I need to, wait a minute. Get you a wifey that's your D. I don't understand what that means. Japan, Japan is their own world. They are really back. Uh, Sean, detail guys back. Trump 2020. Enjoy the channel. Thanks for good work. Chris, thanks so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. Uh, would you be interested in op opening your own product line? Not at this time. I just think uh, it's too much of a headache for me to deal with right now. Um, maybe down the road, but I just don't know at this point because I see so many people trying to start. I mean, God, you've got Jay Leno. Jay Leno doesn't even do in detail his own cars. He pays people to do it. Yeah, he wants that cha cha ching. Um, you know, obviously, it's so many smaller companies are popping up now. Even the YouTube guy started his own. I mean, cha ching cha ching. You know, I mean, and uh, it's just that's the way I see it now. If there's too much competition out there, and it would be hard pressed to get out there. Uh, I talked to Greg personally on the phone, and he let me know how bad things are, how how much he's having to work just to get sales and try to get his name out there. It's ridiculous. Uh, I, I don't know if I want to deal with all that, honestly. I don't financially need the money, so it's just kind of like, you know, do I really want to get into it? I'd probably be somewhere small like Wax Gods and only carry – start with like four or five products, and that's it, and only carry maybe 10 total over the end of my lifetime because that way you can concentrate only these 10, and that's it. If you don't like these 10, go somewhere else, you know, because I'm going to give you the best of every single thing that I can find. That's personally my best, and that's what I would do. do. Uh, they work in good hearts and hard swipes. They will uh, leak a lot of liquid. Definitely wear gloves. <laughs> Levi, I, the funny thing is when I went, when I picked up the first box, that was in the front. I guess it leaked and all that jelly stuff was all over the top. And I was like, eh, so I had to like dig way back here to one of the ones way back here to pull out one that hadn't been, the bottom hadn't been covered in entire gel. I was like, ew, that's nasty. Good night, Aaron. I gotta go love my feet. Grandmother, my sham. So take care of Cody. Take care. Um, how did you deal with rejection? Whether 
Oh, you get your mind off of whatever you have to do for us. Get your mind off of whatever you have to do. Once you put that ring on her finger, that's just going to be cut off real quick, son. I was warned that by other men that were older than me and uh, very true. When you're dating, it's all fun and games and all a good thing. As soon as you put that ring on, it all dies. You want to talk about getting rejected? Put put the ring on. Put the ring on, Fortis. You'll see what I mean. You hear the random stories about this girl, that girl, but for the average, you hear most of these women are like that. So you've got to get your mind off it, whether it's a girl, it's something else, at work, it didn't happen. I was so devastated when the, when the Army thing fell through. I thought I was going to be in the Army for the rest of my life. And... Um, when uh, they they so for six months first six months of my junior year I I did my physical I went down to the Navy base had my physical done you know if you join the military you have to go through MEPS so I forgot what that stands for anyways it's your physical and I had it all done I, I had my contract all done I, I they so they got all the juniors contracts so it was about twenty of us and they sent them off to uh, where they really go in Virginia for where all ROTC's department is and then they you know they uh, finalized it all send it back for your final signature right so I did all that. And uh, it came down to Christmas and everybody else had already had their contract back, already signed for six years in the army. And uh, they're like, and the Colonel called me in. He told me, sat down. He said, Hey man, I just want you to let you know what's going on. They lost your paperwork. I don't know how, because it was with the rest of them. So we've resubmitted all your paperwork. And so when we got back from Christmas, they called me in and said, Hey, you uh, were a contact. We want you to have a different type of eye exam. I said, fine. So twice I went down to the Navy base. Twice I got to the Navy base, the the eye doctor wasn't even there that day. So I'm like, who the fuck is scheduling these damn appointments? The third time I went down to the Navy hospital, they were there. I got the eye test. By now, we're talking it's late February, guys. And um, and I and I remember I did my stuff back in August. I did my military physical in August. And now it's late February, getting ready to be March. And I had my eye exam done. Two weeks later, they come back and said, you went to the wrong type of eye doctor. I was like, who the fuck? does this shit. I mean, who is that bad that screws up this bad? They like, you need to go to a different eye doctor. I said, then schedule me the eye doctor. Then let's get this done. I'm like, this is ridiculous. Now we're into March, almost on my junior year of college. And I still don't have my contract. done. when everybody else had their contract back in September and October, they're already signed over others. And I'm like, what the crap? They never scheduled it. By the time we got to right at May at the end of my semester, you know, uh, they still didn't have my eye exam. And so they called me and well, what was your future plans here? I said, well, Guys, I gave you an entire school year. You didn't get it done. So I'm just going to go back to working to stay with my company here, the shipping company, because it pays good. It has great benefits. There's no reason for me to leave. And that's generally what happened to me. I got screwed. But it, it was such a down, down bummer for me because that's all I wanted to do my whole life was be in the military. And I got just dicked around hard. And I'm like, dude, if it's like this, I don't ever want to be with a company like that or, you know, a, a place like that. And that's basically what happened because I thought I was going to be in the Army 20, 25 years, whatever it was going to be. However well I did in the military and moving up rank wise and then, you know, retire and then maybe do something else. I don't know. And it just didn't work out. And it kind of really bummed me out. I have a lot of friends that are still in the Army. They're all majors. So I see their pictures and stuff. It makes me jealous. But, you know, what's it, what's, what was I supposed to do? You know, I, I can't help it. Six months later. My wife found me on the internet. We knew each other from years ago. She found me, I think it was on MySpace or Facebook and contacted me. And we started talking through the internet again. And eventually she was in Miami. So I flew to Miami and I visited her and the rest is history. Six years later, we got, we got married. So we've been married for, it'll be six years this August or I'm sorry, this six months, six years, this September. I apologize guys. Uh, just me, dude. I appreciate that, man. Thanks so much. Yeah, I try and what I try and do is pick up every product that I've never tried before, especially in the January, February, when all the new products start hitting the shelves. February into March, all the products really start hitting the new shelves. And I go in there and buy everything I possibly can. And then I try and make videos of it every week. I try and put out a couple more videos of these reviews. And that's what I concentrate on. Then during the rest of the year where it's slow, I'll concentrate on more uh, online order products and stuff like that. So I do appreciate that. Uh, dude, blue products are okay. According to my friend, uh, I, I, so I was watching a YouTuber called do it with Dan. He has like a million subscribers. Now he's a moto vlogger. He had, he just bought a GTR used and, uh, that dude in blue, he went over to that dude in blue's house. Cause they, I guess they're all in Georgia somewhere or wherever in the area. And, um, he washed the car and I was just like, there's no suds. It didn't look good at all. Like the soap that he's used. I was like, Oh, and he was using literally like, like a rag. To clean his GTR, I was like, oh, my God. When I saw him, I'm like, 
I, I don't know. I haven't tried the products, but I was just like, wow, this is terrible. This is your own company you're doing it with. And you're going to get, you know, possibly a million views, if not more. And it looks terrible. And I was just like, wow, you know, you think it would be better, but I don't know. Maybe he's just living off his name on his YouTube name, like Jay Leno does, you know, making that quick money, you know, making that quick extra buck. If you go back and not get married, uh, I don't know if I would do that because there's so many good things that have happened. Yes, we've had a lot of bumps in the last couple of years, but would I go back and change things? I don't know. I mean, I had a lot of good experiences. Obviously, I have my son now that you can't ever go back and take that back. That would be just too hard, buddy. Uh, don't take marriage away from Cody. No. Cody called respect <laughs> and devotion. Um, Kyle called the first if you don't like it. <laughs> okay. You guys are going back and forth. What did you go to school for? I was a history major. Uh, shout out to MySpace. I thought you said shootout. I was like, shootout? I was like, what? Things happen for a reason. Don't trip. And that's what that's what you have to realize. Again, um, I did three years in the ROTC department uh, from my freshman through my whole uh, junior year. I would say I was one of the better cadets there, so I was really going to excel. I was given like a lot more, let's just say, leadership roles, even though I didn't want them. Like uh, when I was with uh, um, a junior, they gave me a lot of leadership roles of the entire group. And he, and I told him, I like, I like, really, I don't want it. I was like, give it to somebody else. And they were like, no, the colonel picked you and you're going to do it. And I'm like, okay. And, uh, and I made sure to always take care of my guys, you know, like granted, it's not like being in the real thing, but it's pretty close to it. And you had to go to like Camp Shelby, Mississippi on the weekend things and do all that. And I always made sure to take care of everybody, make sure I talked to each one of them. They have everything. One thing I always try and do is make sure they were all taken care of and everybody was good to go. And it wasn't going to be like, do you understand everything or do you not understand everything? So I enjoyed it. I wasn't one of the guys that was going to yell at you. You know how I... I still remember there was a girl. Um, she was prior army. She was like a specialist, decided to leave the army, go to college and do ROTC and go back as an officer. They gave her to me as my, let's just say, we'll call it first sergeant or sergeant major. Okay. That was her like uh, cadet title. Oh my God. I still remember her screaming and yelling at these people. And I was just like, and I, I, I had to pull her aside. I'm like, I'm telling you right now. I said, you yelling and screaming at these people is just going to turn them off. They're going to turn you off and they're not going to listen to what you say. You've got to tone it down a little bit or all you're going to do is piss them off. I said, there, there's got to be a, a, a nice tone there where they know you're serious, but you can't be screaming, yelling at them because they're going to turn you off immediately. OK, so I said, just take it down a few notches. And I still remember that. And that's just the way I am now is the way I actually treated all the people. And even at my job, I'm an inside guy, but I've been there for almost 21 years. I've so I have so many years with the company compared to a lot of these young kids now. So. They kind of look up to me once in a while. I try and treat them like this, like this is what you need to do this is what you're expected to do. And just, you know, take it easy. You're going to be fine here. Don't quit on me and now you'll be good. So you just got to take care of everybody. Dropped a flight to go visit her. You know, yeah, she was in Miami at the time. She when she first uh, was done with med school, so she had to do her clinicals. She was down there in uh, Miami and Kendall. Kratz on six years. Yeah, so it'll be six years in September. Hmm. Uh, any mods you would want to make on the GTR? Um, probably cold air intakes, maybe a uh, full header kit all the way back to meet up with the exhaust. Maybe E85 convert, E85 flex fuel kit to be put on there. But, you know, it's so hard to want to mod the GTR because the damn thing is so fast. It's just, it's really hard for you, me, to want to say, oh, I need to mod it. It needs to be faster. You already are beating 99% of the cars that are on the road today. So why do I need to be any faster? Think of it like that. 99% of the cars on the road today are not going to be a GTR. I don't care what they are. How many are, you might say, oh, this one Ferrari or McLaren's faster. How many McLarens are sold in the United States? Maybe a, a couple hundred <laughs> a year. I mean, it's just where you're selling what, like 5,000 GTRs a year, maybe less than that, a couple thousand. I mean, the rarity of some of those cars are just so rare. That, you know, it's hard to say when 99% of the cars on the road, you're just smashing all day long. It's really no big deal. Extremely dirty cloth interior. Um, Let's see, cloth. I have had great luck with Turtle Wax's interior cleaner. Very good luck, as a matter of fact. I, it has a little bristle brushes on it. Really good uh, luck with that. Try some of that. If not, I know Tough Stuff works really good on it. 
you can get that in there as well. I tried Meguiar's. I think that's pretty good as well. But definitely go with the um, Turtle Wax stuff. I'm, uh, you will be pleasantly surprised. They do a really good job with their interior products. Uh, I'm just going to throw everybody's stuff. Oh, we're definitely going to take me. We're definitely taking advice from Cody. Cody, I will tell my wife about that and let her see what she says then. My wife is a hothead, okay? A very hothead woman. And she gets fired up over the littlest things. I bet this would be an interesting thing. You tell Cody's not married. Uh, nothing, Carlos. Nothing. You didn't miss anything. Uh, no, right now, GTR is pretty good right now. Uh, again, I uh, don't think marriage. <laughs> oh, we're doing marriage is now the new counselor. Marriage counselor of the day is Cody, for sure. Uh, headed out, man. Levi, enjoy the night, buddy. Uh, what about modifying your blue Accord? I don't own an Honda Accord, Cody. Or I'm sorry, Gustavo. I don't own a Honda Accord. I I haven't had a Honda Accord in – hold on. Let me go back. About 12 years, I've not owned a Honda Accord. I had two Honda Accords back in the day, but I don't own a Honda Accord anymore. How's the motorcycle going? Uh, love it, man. Love them both. I took – um, I like to drive the Grom all the time. It's a great little slow toy bike. Uh, my ZX6R is a great sport bike. I thought about getting a BMW S1000 double R sport bike, but I'm waiting because supposedly the new uh, model with a new design is coming out this year, uh, later on this year for a 2019 model. So I'd like to see that. But then again, it gets back to the point. Do I really need that motorcycle? Do I really, when I already have a paid off motorcycle now, and I'd rather be out of debt so that I can, uh, potentially buy a four door car here in the next couple of years. Cause I know I'm going to need one. I absolutely know I'm going to, you know, um, getting in and out of the GTR and the preludes having to like barely get them in there. It, it's not easy. It'd be a lot easier with a four door car. So that's my, that's my now long-term goal is to looking at, um, uh, four door sedans. Uh, what's up Ferris? How you doing buddy? Um, Cody is teaching us the facts, everybody. I hope everybody understands this. Cody, I want you to start your own YouTube channel about smashing girls, GTL, Jim Tan Laundry. If you're not down to pound and all that stuff, I can't wait to hear that off YouTube. Oh, by the way, obviously, since I'm going to Jersey, can I act like an utter douchebag now? I'll be in New York and New Jersey, uh, obviously, because we're going on the cruise in Bermuda out of New York in a couple weeks. Um, I'm allowed to act like an utter douchebag now that I'll be in Jersey, right? Like a complete douchebag, you know, like GTL, Jersey Shore douchebag. I think I think that's allowed too, right? I think I think that's allowed. He's like, yo, man, you can have me yo, son, yo, you want to go build, son? And I got to get a lot of tan. I mean, uh, I mean, I got to get a lot of tan going on here. Like, in lots of, like, gel, like, really stick it up. I got to do that. I've got to. Uh. Mm. I can see me in a Ford wrapper. The only problem is I don't think I would need anything that big. Um, and, and, and also, um. I like, I'm really heavily, I'm starting to be heavily influenced by like big luxury cars, like nice big luxury cars. Uh, I've driven the the Genesis G80 twice now, and that thing has got so much room in it. It's flipping ridiculous and it's so damn comfortable. I'm thinking about like that, something like that. Uh, the new, uh, the new, what is it, G70 they're coming out with to America? The G70 looks nice. Uh, but then again, I, I've, I've liked stuff like, um, the Civic Type R, that would be a lot cheaper than all those cars. And obviously, it would be a Honda, and it would really hold its money. Luxury cars do not hold their value for shit. They are terrible investments. Luxury cars, within the first year or two, they lose twenty and $30,000 for those big $70,000 cars. Resell value on is like fifty five grand. They lose money so fast where a solid Civic Type R is. Those things even used, they're, they're selling for over $34,000, $35,000, $36,000, the MSRP was only thirty four thousand. Now prices are coming down on them. They're starting to cool off now. But the fact is that you can't find a Civic Type R under MSRP, even if it's used. They do not sell them under MSRP. <sighs> Hit me up when you come to New York. Um, yeah, I, I don't know if you live in New York City, but I will be in. Um, obviously, we're staying in Secaucus and uh, at what is the Marriott somewhere around there. It's right near the the Lincoln Tunnel. And that's where we'll be staying at. And then we'll be going, um, obviously, going to do a little bit of New York touring, a New York City touring on all that whole Saturday when we get up there. And then we sail out on a Sunday afternoon. And since the Lincoln Tunnel is right near the um, the pier there, you know, uh, it's Pier 88, that the, where the cruise ship terminals go out by the Intrepid, USS Intrepid. 
uh, it's really close. So we'll be going to a couple places. I like to really go on the USSN trip, but I think they'd be a lot of fun. Uh oh, just me, just me. Lincoln Continental again. That would probably be a terrible resale value. I mean, those are sweet cars. They Lincoln is coming back with a vengeance. I love Lincoln that's coming back now. But again, those things are like what eighty thousand dollars. It's stupid now. Uh <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. The way I've always seen it is uh, upstate New York. They're very polite people, but I don't know what it is about the boroughs. The five boroughs in New York, they're God, they're assholes. They have the worst attitudes, man. I just I can't stand the attitude, that typical New York attitude. You know, it's just like, oh, you know, like the, you know, New York, New York, New York. I got my New York Yankees hat on and I'm in Orlando, New York, New York. And all. I got to stop, stop. I hate that attitude. And I'm better than you. My New York's so much better than go back to New York. We hate that. We, true Floridians can't stand that stuff. We can't stand it. I was born and raised in Florida. So, uh, but when you go to upstate New York, my mom was uh, born in Rochester, New York. It's a different world. It's like normal down to earth state. It's like no big deal. Everybody's general, generally very polite. You know, I don't know what it is about like that area though. Uh, yeah, I don't know, Sean, where you live, but I, I've been, my blue prelude came from Syracuse, New York. Uh, my aunt lives in Rochester, New York. Well, right outside of Rochester. I've been to Buffalo. I've been to Niagara Falls many, many times. I've been to Albany, New York. Uh, all that stuff. Yeah, Ferris. That's just, just, just what this is. This is a Floridian acting like a New Yorker. So please, guys, take it with a grain of salt. If you're from New York, New Jersey, that's just the way we see it. We see it all the time. New York, everything's better. New York, everything New York, New York, Bronx, man, Bronx, Brooklyn, Brooklyn. Oh, Jeter, Jeter, Jeter. And I'm just like, oh my God, go back, please, dear God, go back. I mean, that's the way real Floridians are. They're, we get sick of them. We, they're they're all very loud. You go into a restaurant, hey yo, Diddy, Diddy, go around. And you're screaming. You're like, God, I just want to have a quiet dinner. You can always, you can, as a Floridian person, you can truly see who's not from Florida because you'll see the Northerners. Now, Midwestern people and everything, California people, they don't act like that. I don't know what it is. It's Jersey and the New York boroughs. I don't know what it is, but a lot of them like to come down to Florida. Uh. What kinds of jobs were you working in your early 20s? Uh, the same job I'm working now, brother. I work in the shipping industry. I worked, started working there at 17 years old. I'm 38 years old now. Uh, July will be 21 years with the same company. There's no point to leave. I have full pension. I have health care. I have a good paying job. There is no reason for me to leave. You know what I mean? See, there you go, Cody. Cody's Bronx. There you go. Born and raised in the Bronx. I know what you mean. Well, there you go, Sean. That's exactly what I'm talking about. And when they bring that attitude down here to Florida and they just, just push it everywhere and everybody, you're just like, oh, God, go back home, please, dear God. Like Chicago people don't come down here and act like that. You know, you don't hear it. You don't hear people from L.A. come over here and act like that. It's just it's whatever reason it is. It's New York, New Jersey, Boston, not so much. We don't have a lot of Boston people here because Massachusetts is so small. But, um, you know, they have a little bit of an attitude in Boston as well. You guys all I'm sure all know about that as well. Uh, just, it, that's just my, that's my thoughts on it, guys. You can take it with a grain of salt. There's nothing towards you guys. It's just the ones that act like that. You know what I mean? Oh man. I uh, see. I've been to Boston. We went on a cruise. So we had to fly into Boston and we went from Boston up to Maine and then went from Maine up to, uh, St. John, Nova Scotia. We went to uh, Halifax, Nova Scotia. No, I'm sorry. St. John in New Brunswick, yeah, and then went over to uh, Halifax, Nova Scotia, and then went over to Sydney, Nova Scotia. And uh, we were in Boston for a whole day or two before we went on the cruise, and um, people were generally really nice to us. We heard the accent once in a while, but it wasn't – I guess it wasn't that bad. And we were in downtown. We had a big – we were at the Residence Inn or something like that, one of the big fancy ones right there in downtown – uh, near the cruise pier, and we walked downtown and went to all that old shopping plaza and all that stuff where everybody's famous for in Boston. And um, I, I don't know, people didn't act like that there. Uh, you heard the accent once in a while, like the really heavy Boston. Yo, from Boston, we got the Red Sox. Yo, we got the Red Sox. We're gonna whoop your ass, Yankees. Whoop your ass, you know. But you heard that accent, but you was, I didn't hear it all the time like I thought I was going to. That really uh, harsh a accent. You didn't hear it that much. One thing we did like about that we learned about up in New England in the Maritimes was um, uh, lobster rolls, lobster, lobster rolls, lobster. Those are pretty cool. Those are really good. Uh, would you prefer digital or physical games? 
I personally like the physical copies. I don't know what it is. I'm old school. I like to touch it. I like to feel it. That's me. The also good thing about that is, is let's say 20 years from now, let's say you decide to start the PS4 and you have the CD. Now, granted, uh, some of the games, uh, you could at least load the base game on there because obviously the, the, the internet, the base for this that connects and updates the games will be long gone by then. We get that. But the thing is, I can go back to my 1985 Nissan, or uh, God, NAS and uh, Nintendo and still plug the games in and they work perfectly fine. And that's what I'm trying to say. The same with the PlayStation 1, same with the Sega Genesis. You can do it with all that stuff. It doesn't be effect, it's not affected. Digital is the future. I get it. I have downloaded a bunch of digital games for my PC, but for the consoles, I'm still stuck on. I want the physical copy. Um, I, I already pre-ordered Black Ops 3. I'll probably get the, the big high-end one because the good thing about the high-end ones, if you play those video games, is they come with all the free map packs. So to me, it's cheaper to just go ahead and buy the more expensive one now for 100 bucks. I get the free map packs then pay $25 for every damn map pack. I hate that. So it's cheaper for me just to buy the, the hardened or whatever you want to call it, prestige edition right away. Uh, do you live? Do you like New York pizza? Uh, I don't See, the thing is, there's a crap load of New York pizza places. Seriously, guys. Take two minutes, go to google.com, type in New York pizza, Kissimmee, Florida. I bet you'll find 50 or 60 places because it's nothing but New Yorkers and New Jersey people here. So there you go. Destiny doesn't allow uh, – Destin doesn't allow New Yorkers. Jesus. I'm telling you, Kevin, you have no idea. I never saw them in the panhandle of Florida. I never saw them in Jacksonville, Florida. I never saw them when I was in Clearwater, Florida. It's whatever it is about Central Florida that pulls them down. I don't know, man, but they're everywhere here. Everywhere. Uh, you know, I, I would never want to offend my subscribers. It's just what the way – there's typical uh, characteristics, traits that – certain parts of the country have you know what i mean and uh like the really southern people the really southern people y'all how y'all doing i was out here fishing we're out there you get the really southern people they're usually very friendly though like if you need anything they'll be there for you that's the good thing about the southerners like literally if, if a tree fell in your yard you probably have four people come over hey y'all need us to bring the chainsaws out we'll go ahead and cut it all up for you and we'll make some good firewood and we'll clean up your yard for you You guys all right and literally that's the difference or, you know, you know, you get to more northern states and stuff or more around here where it's kind of the north. People probably wouldn't talk to you that much about that. They'd be like, oh, well, your tree fell in your yard. What to do? Or your tree fell against your house. Oh, well. And it's just a different thing, you know. Or, yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. That's a southern thing. Being very polite. It's, you don't get that up north. I never have seen that up north. Matter of fact, if I say yes, sir, yes, ma'am, to people around here, they usually say, oh, are you in the military? And all the time they'll be like, oh, you're military? Oh, I'm like, uh, I was in RC, but I was in the army or whatever. It's just being in North Florida for so long, you got used to that. <sighs> Pull up El Tapito. Uh, Tapatio. Um, I've been there before. Uh, have you ever had eat alligator? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Uh, you should do it in uh, – no, no, Ferris, no. But, yeah, you guys want to see that. I got physical copies for days, guys. Like Literally, they're stacked in here. They're all over here. From because I kept all my Xbox 360 stuff, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, everything. Like, oh, I only have probably a few games in here. Like, you know, like Xbox here, uh, Black Ops 2, e epic game, guys. This was an epic game. This is this is when you throw down the only other game that was better, the best, Modern Warfare 2. I probably have 36 to 40 days played. It shows on it. Pfft, just wrecked kids back in the day. All I would do is literally run around. With a throwing knife and just kill people with a throwing knife. That's all I would ever do. It was it was the game to play. Black Ops 2, we would literally have like those sky things up in the sky within five minutes. It was nuts. I mean, that these were the games that I just every day I'd rush home from work and I would just turn on the systems and just play all night long with the guys because we had a certain crew we ran with every night. Before that, it was World of Warcraft. I played World of Warcraft for probably about four or five solid years. That was a real hardcore of that game. Uh, best game ever for sure. Halo. I have Halo three. It's, it's somewhere in here. Uh, my Xbox, uh, I think I put the Xbox up my, I have two Xbox 360. I bought one used. It's R2 D2 star Wars edition. It's downstairs. And then I have a regular Xbox. Maybe it's over there somewhere. I don't know. I knew I, I took it apart, and I think I put it away already. But it was the regular – it was a black edition Elite. I had a white one, but it had the red ring of death. So I had to get another one. So I got the Elite version, the, the gloss black one. So there you go. 
uh, I don't know if they'll be worth anything in future Ferris because they, they made millions of copies of them. So I doubt they'll be worth anything. It's not like a Civic Type R that they only made you know a couple thousand of them a year. Those will be worth something more like the NSX. Those things are how many of those are they making now? The new NSXs are ugly and they're not selling, but the old ones are going up in value. Same with the same with the Supras and the RX7s and all. Oh my God, this sky's the limit. R32 GTRs from Japan imported. Average price on those now is thirty thousand dollars. Just skyrocketing. Synthetic wax the same as a paint sealant. It is different. It is both created in the lab, but a sealant is definitely create is definitely different, and it will outlast the living crap out of a, a wax. Modern Warfare is awesome. My favorite game. I do have uh, what was the newer one? This one right here that came. The only reason I bought this one, Infinite Warfare, was <laughs> just to get the Modern Warfare, the Call of Duty Four again. <laughs> That's the only reason I bought this one right here. That's pretty funny that I was like that. But you're going to see, guys, I have Black Ops 3, obviously, on PS4 as well. I was playing it on Xbox. If you guys don't know, I have. I was on Twitch, obviously, and I was just wrecking kids. But, you know, these. Uh, this was the game, good game. This, the only reason I bought this was for Call of Duty 4. It's just the way it was, you know. So it is. Oh, oh, no, 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 you don't want that one. I know what you guys were looking for, but I can't find it. Uh, Tomb Raider. I got I got a couple games in here. I don't know. Oh, there we go. Here's the original one right here. Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Played the crap out of this. I played on PC most of the time, and then that's when I started transferring over to Xbox because a lot of guys at work were playing on Xbox, so that's when I started playing there. But uh, still old school gamer, guys. Still old school. I'm a, I'm nerdy as they come when it comes to games. I still like playing video games. Now I'm not the kid that goes in the game stuff that's never taken a shower in two weeks. I'm not that kind of nerd, and I obviously have a, a wife and a kid, but I, I still enjoy video games. Um, R32 last week. Uh, yeah, I, the thing. Uh, some of the new Call of Duty's aren't as good. That's the truth, Pooh Panda. Again, I was playing Black Ops 3 on my Xbox because I, 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 I load my stuff onto my hard drive once I get it so that way I don't have to keep popping the game in and out. And uh, that's why I was playing Black Ops 3 on there, and uh, it was fun wrecking kids. It had been over two years since I played that game, and it was a blast. Oh man, I love getting the 2JZ best engine tandem made. Yo, they're solid. And they were, you know, the 2JZ and all the like the 1JZs were even putting four door sedans. I mean, th th that's how cool it was. Legendary cars will always be replaced with worth. Oh, dude. J JDM legends are going up in value so fast. It's ridiculous how much money they're gaining now. I remember when I was looking at a used R32 to import it over a year, what, about a year and a half ago before I bought my GTR? They were in good condition. They were selling for about twenty, twenty-two thousand dollars. Now they're selling for thirty to thirty-two, thirty-three thousand dollars in good condition. Unbelievable! How many cars do you guys know that own that go up in value and not down in value? If you and they actually have people that are buying these cars and literally holding on to them a year, buying like two or three, buying on to them, holding for a year or two, and then selling one of them and then making ten thousand dollar profit, and then they'll sell another one and make another ten thousand. I mean, they're just buying these GTRs and just flipping them and getting a newer model and then flipping them again. I just, they're buying, I was just like, Oh my God. And they said, it's better than the stock market right now because how fast they're making money off them. So they just import one, pay all the import fees, register it. And then they hold on to it for six months to a year, turn around and sell it to a Joe blow here for $30,000. And they paid 20,000 a year and a half ago. They made money and they got to have a nice toy car. And then they upgrade to the next newer model. It's just, if you got the money, play the game. You know what I mean? Do you have GTA 5? Yes, sir, I do. Yes, sir, I do. This is the PC version, but yes, sir, I do. Um, again, PC is what I play a lot of the higher the higher end games on. Do you have any C? Uh, yes, as a matter of fact, um, the owner of Rivsu Imports, who I was going to import my R32 with, owns one. He owns one. Uh, there is uh, another person somewhere around here that uh, in the Central Florida area that has one, but definitely the owner of Riv Suit Imports owned one. Uh, what do you think of the Mitsubishi? Did that? Oh, they were great. Do I still remember those? When I was a kid. The first time I ever saw one, we were on a bus trip. We were going to SeaWorld, and I lived in Jacksonville, Florida. I was probably ninth grade. Oh, my 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 family's home, so I'm going to have to go here. Sorry, guys. But we were in ninth grade. I remember we were on Interstate 4 coming to downtown Orlando, and one passed our bus, and I was like, oh, my God, that's amazing. Guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. I don't know if you can hear my son screaming in the background. Um, I haven't even installed it yet, Bama fan. But I've got to go, guys. My son's already home. Uh, that means they're going to need help. Thanks so much for stopping.
time here. I'll see you guys at the very next live stream, and I'll hopefully I'll have something for you tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching and being with me. Take care, y'all.